I'm late. <clears throat> That's what you think. This is Greek time. <laughs> Give me a sec here to actually make the screen up here. Greeks get the joke. Non-Greeks, I don't know. Depends on how uh, how much of a uh, how much of the meme it is in outside of Greece. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Oh no. Where's the chat? Here it is. <clears throat> when will you face reveal? Um, um, I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking about doing a, a big, a huge poll about the fact uh, how my... How my, uh, what is it called? My haircut should be for when I do the, hair li the live reveal. Because I don't really care about my hairstyle, so I was thinking about what it should look like on the first face reveal. Right now I have going like a, I guess a Viking-esque style. But uh, maybe people want to see something else, I don't know. Hey buddy, hey everybody. I'm here since it started, I'm glad. Let's, uh, let's continue the run. If, uh, if nothing bad happened. Okay, we're still at floor 160 something. This is the layout we have. Yep, let's uh, let's continue the run. So, uh, this is the layout, as always. I'm gonna explain here what's actually happening. So we send people at the start of the live stream for people who want to, you know, know and understand what's happening because I don't want to explain everything every single time. So, <clears throat> we have the Emerald Bracelet combo here. Uh, this thing gives us plus two plus energy for however many curses are adjacent to it at the start of the turn. There is no other than first turn. Like it's, a what happened to my life? What happened to my life? No, 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 no. What happened to my life? Excuse me. Hello. That that is not what we. That that was not the deal. How did I lose my max life? It's a bug. The bug will fix itself. Okay, okay. It's glitched. Okay. So let's uh, let's explain then throughout this. Okay, I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain then on move. So is it gonna like? Okay, I wanna explain here the build. So as I said, to send people here in the beginning. Um, yeah, triple emerald bracelet plus one energy at the start of the turn for every curse adjacent. That means that uh, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven energy for six spots. That is efficient, more efficient, maybe not even possible. There is no second turn, like my first attack does about 200,000 damage already, so it doesn't matter, there is no second turn ever. Okay, my left did get fixed, you were correct. And then the rest of the build is pretty much the fact that I have a bunch of cleavers all connected to the, you know, these duct tapes. Everything is connected over here, and then uh, we got all our lucky rings, because we're still searching for a few more chef's hats, a few more, like, uh, a few more duct tapes, you know, here and there. I think chef's hats is like the only thing we actually care about. I don't think we care about anything else. Because honestly speaking, if I get another duct tape, yes, I will get more room to put more uh, cleavers around. But uh, that means I will also need to get new cleavers. Which then means that if, for example, I only get one more duct tape, that already means I have to get one more cleaver. And that's like two in one, right? Um, it is obviously higher DPS, but it also means that we will be uh, attacking less. Energy charm plus one more curse. And nah, I don't want... An I, I don't need more energy. Like, we have already seen that the difference between having one more duct tape and one more cleaver is uh, immense. Like, one more duct tape adds about 50,000 DPS, while one more energy and um, one more curse would add about two or three more energy. We never get to that point. Like, it, it doesn't even matter. We don't need more energy. Uh, we have tested a few things. Let's test again. If uh, We have already tested this. If my mouse is exactly here, it should be the third one, I think. We have to. I have to learn. So if my mouse is exactly covering this exclamation mark, it should always be the same. But I don't remember what the same quote-unquote is, is the main problem. Well, it's the fourth one now. I guess exclamation mark is the fourth one. That, that's what we're going to target. Exclamation mark being the fourth one. Not sure if anybody remembers. Duct tape, U-shape. Yeah, I read like a huge comment explaining how the duct tape should be. Uh, and it said that it should be in a U-shape. Well, the problem is that the curses cannot move. And I don't really care about reorganizing the curses. Like, people are pointing out some, um, you know, min maxi ways of min-maxing more. Which I do accept. I do understand that they are correct. Okay? Even if they're not correct, though. 
it doesn't matter because i don't need to change anything like people are telling me do this do that you could do more damage this way you could do more damage that way guys it does not matter it is the it is the peglin argument again like if i do 200,000 damage or 300,000 damage or 500,000 damage or 100,000 damage uh, i mean th that's less uh, or uh, a million damage turn one it doesn't matter because we are already one-shotting them like you will not see the difference the only the only time you see the difference in number is at the final boss like everything else gets one shot anyway like you will never see that and i'm not attacking even more than one time in every single fight so nothing it, it doesn't matter we do not need to care about reorganizing anymore uh, the only thing we will care about is if i find three chef's hats we're gonna put them in these spots and that's it we don't need to care about anything anymore actually four chef spots by the way four chefs co uh, three three more of these i want three more of these i want to throw this away the gemstone heart the lucky ring and the other lucky ring that's it we don't need to care about anything else anymore okay i think it's very simple maybe when we reach floor 500 yeah if we reach floor 500 then yeah we can discuss about things to become better and stuff but right now uh, who cares the only thing we actually want is a uh, plus uh, plus haste on the shield which is irrelevant and plus rage on the cleaver and that's it and you know what i, I also want to see for a moment here how many times the the these cleavers trigger because if they trigger like i don't know one time per attack then uh, i don't even need to uh, have this secondary gemstone heart which i'm pretty sure that is the case let's see two stomp patches okay that's two and that's uh, one stopwatch, so that's three. And that's uh, one more stopwatch, so that's four. So every time we attack an opponent with spikes, if I did not have this gemstone heart, theoretically, I should get hit for four damage. <laughs> like, literally, because everything else is connected to a heart anyway. So, yeah, that means that uh, we should just straight up not care about this gemstone heart anymore either. Hello, I'm new here. Hello, everybody. Do you need extra energy? I mean, not actually. Honestly speaking, not actually, but uh, still, I mean, that energy is there for safety reasons, you know, when when this run gets to uh, floor a thousand or something, I decided to make this run a permanent thing in the channel, like, this is the, Sif doesn't have to do it, Sif doesn't have anything to actually do, might as well uh, run this run and, you know, get higher and higher and higher, and uh, whenever I do have something to do, like, whenever I find a game that I want to stream, or whenever I want to do a weird run or something, or when a new patch drops in this game or something, I can just uh, put the save file on the side and just straight up do the runs, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, I decided to have a secondary save file, as I said, so I will have this save file somewhere else saved, and then I will do my own runs on my own free time. At least that's how I decided to do this. So, for example, if you want to see a different new run, like an archery build, or if you want to see a door run, or a house run, or a build run, or I don't know what, it will most likely be me doing it on my own time, on a secondary file, and when I live stream back back here, it's gonna be the meme, I guess. Uh, at least that's what I was thinking about. I'm not exactly sure if that's a good idea. Uh, because on the one hand, I do enjoy the meme. On the other hand, I'm not sure, you know, if people will get tired of just sitting around and talking with Sift and just, uh, you know, hearing opinions and seeing the crazy run that does that does a 3,000 damage, 350, 370, 4,000. <laughs> one cleaver, 4,000 damage. <laughs> Look at this. 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. All of these do 3,000. And they get triggered more than 150. <laughs> this is insane. This is completely busted insane. I mean, look at this. 5,700 damage. Bye-bye. <laughs> he got destroyed. And now we're going to wait for this to go through. Maybe try Moss. Would... Guys, no. not not. Uh, it's not going to change. That's why we're here, Sift. I'm glad you are. This is so for memes. Just chatting thing could... Yeah, it's a just chatting thing. I'm, I'm a bit more chill. And uh, it's not going to last that long. I decided, you know, I, I, I decided to, you know, if, if the community wants to talk to me en masse, I'm going to do these live streams. It's going to last like two or three hours. It's not going to be real. Because there are like two choices, okay? The one choice is I'm going to be live streaming games and runs that then later I will edit and upload on the channel. You know, because that's two birds with one stone. Although it's not exactly two birds with one stone. It's one and a half bird. I mean, it's two birds with one and a half stone because I will also have to edit the video later right we're gonna pavis actually that's a little bakla 
Um, so yeah, if I do, if I, if the videos I shoot, uh, if the live stream I do is a game that I want to later upload on, as a video, as I said, it's two birds with one and a half stone because of the editing that has to happen. So I decided, you know what, instead of doing that, why don't you just reduce the duration of the live stream and just continue your normal video recording that you do? Because if I'm, if it's gonna take me like one hour to um, edit a video, might as well just do another run another game, right? I think that's more logical. So instead of doing a live stream that lasts five and six and seven and eight hours. I might as well do a live stream that lasts three hours, is a bit more chill, I talk a bit with the community, I do the meme run, I continue this whole thing, and then uh, and then just, you know, do my normal runs in the back line, just, just get my runs going, have my fun. I want to play a bit more, I, I want to do a, two, a couple of videos in Rogue Legacy, uh, not, not really gameplay related. Uh, a few people told me about all the estuaries run, prime estuaries, a few other people told me about, uh, you know, classes. There are a few ideas over at Rogue Legacy 2 that I am in a in a good position to showcase because I have a secondary save file that's at New Game Plus 9 or something, so I can just go ahead and start showcasing the game, late game, that I think is more fun running around and being screwed. That is, <laughs> and it's still Rookie Numbers, exactly. It's lagging? Is the, what, what is lagging? Do you mean the game is lagging or, uh, what happened? Rev stream? It crashed? F? Wait, what? This computer finally went on strike? Back? Laggy? F? I was gonna crap your internet? What are you guys talking about? Guys, I'm I'm uh, on my side. I'm still here. Back, back, back. Now we're back. Now we're back. Still lagging. Back. The stream was lagging. Back. It's back. It's back. It's back. Guys, I don't know what's happening. I I didn't I didn't do anything on my side. I'm not sure if like somebody's stealing internet from me, man. We're getting hijacked. Stream heavy buffered. Died. 144p. Okay, that that's not good. Maybe it was a drop of Wi-Fi. If it was a drop of Wi-Fi, you would see literally nothing. Hmm. I'm 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 watching. I think everything. I think it was a YouTube thing, most likely. I wonder if health is capped at 999. I have seen a picture that is not, so it's most likely not. Guys, turn off auto quality and brand quality. What the hell? 144 is basically the same. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> YouTube trying to stop me. <laughs> We're gonna fight him. Is this backward normal size? It seems oddly huge. Nope, it's not normal size. I have a patch, 17A, because I have the game on Steam. I think Kickstarter supporters also have the this version right now. Although I have to say, it feels a bit, in my opinion, okay? It feels a bit unfair, just a bit, a bit, just, just a bit, not actually unfair. That, um, you know, the game exists, but you have to be a Kickstarter, which the Kickstarter stopped existing for a while now. To get it. So, for example... Oof. Here we go. <laughs> uh, this is a very big oof moment. What will I do with this? I mean, it's not an oof moment. It's a yo, let's go, but... Okay, first of all, we're gonna throw this away. And we're gonna put this here and put this up and put this here. I think. And then we're gonna get two queen cleavers. Or a king cleaver or something. We did it! Yay! You don't need it. More, more. U shape duct tape time, I guess. Yep, it's gonna be a UL shape or whatever. Uh, okay, I also don't need this at all. Now all, all everything is connected. So let's keep the lucky. Let's keep the luck. So now the plan is we get two more queen cleavers. And we put them like here and here, like in these two spots. And the shield is gonna be here then, and it's gonna trigger everything in reverse order. Uh, so that's the plan right now. Uh, yeah, as simple as that. Let's have this here. Let's have the chain reaction happen. Actually, just have it in the corner. Same difference. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's continue. Still need like a few. Never mind, it's plus 7 energy mouse. Sorry, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, this healing is not needed, right? How many of these are triggered? Okay, like only two are not healing. Let's go. Let's go. Never mind, it's plus 7 energy. Yep. You can't push and turn and then stop attack glitch. Doesn't work. Yep, it doesn't. You, uh, it, it just goes. Remember stack lands? <laughs> yeah, did it change? Did it change something? You should try modding backpack hero. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they are gonna continue patching the game pretty often. So, um, I don't think I need to. I feel like it needs no modding. Yeah, it doesn't need modding. It does not need modding. Let's continue. Let's go onwards. <laughs> we got another golden redstone. Uh, I'm gonna take that. We're gonna find the ring later. 
Uh, also put this here for a moment just to do the buff. Let's go next. Very nice. One shot. What's the run you want to do? Switch gold with duct tape for fun. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to read anything that has to do with um, reorganizing things and making things better min maxi. It, because none of these matter. It doesn't matter if something is faster or slower. Use the bug you discovered last stream to stop the attack. That does not work. <clears throat> I gotta explain everything every time. <laughs> the attacks only stop if uh, if there is an opponent. If there is no opponent, then the attacks do not stop. Duct tape. <laughs> the best snack. Duct tape. Oh, the build changed a bit since yesterday. Ah, eh, not really. We just got another duct tape. Give me a sec here to see what got used the most with the... the um, what is it called? Stopwatch. 18 times over here. 17 times over here. 17. 18 times over here. Okay. 17. 17. 17. 17. Okay, so these two are 18ers. So this thing gives us a rage. So theoretically, I should have it there. Stopwatch 17. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't need to care. I don't need to care. Min max does not matter. You heal through anything. Yeah, exactly. Like nothing matters. We we can just continue. The the run is just the, the the run at this point has become me talking to you. Okay, we don't need to care about this whole thing. Nothing really matters. We want to pick up two queen cleavers here. The only thing that matters is going up to the final boss and seeing how much damage we do. I can't help but imagine a moss wielding. Can you explain how this works? Uh, at the start of the video, the first two or three minutes, I'm explaining how this works. Like, uh, YouTube, you are allowed to go at the start of the beginning of a run, a uh, video recording. So, at the very, very start, like, it's three minutes, about three minutes, four minutes, I'm explaining exactly how this works. Can you speed it up by temporarily reducing duct tape? Uh, theoretically, yes. Theoretically, I can throw away one duct tape to speed this thing up. But does it really matter? Like the, but can you get 1% more damage this way? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have you become a one punch man? Yes, indeed. I mean, it's not a one punch man. It's um, it's it's a lot of attack speed. You're talking, you talk to us in a really good run. Not gonna lie, talking to us is a really good run. Ah, yeah, I'm happy you enjoy. In reality, the duct tape merged all the cleavers into giant cleaver. Is it though? Is it though? Or is it like a huge, um, you know, a huge cleaver machine? Is it like, a, is it a well made job or is it a bad made job? Can you do sword run next, please? When you say next, you mean uh, in a live recording, because in a non-live recording, or uh, because this run is never gonna, not gonna end today. No, just swap and break that. No, literally death by a thousand cuts. Uh, he says just swap them and break duct tape this way. If I you want me to remove one duct tape? I understand what you mean. I understood from the first time. You you say that I should place this duct tape over here, for example, so that all of these don't trigger. And what will happen if this is not enough damage? We will just lose the run? I don't I, I really don't care about it. Okay? If if you guys want this to go faster, then um I don't know man. If anything, I think the way to do to make this faster would be to go over to the devs and tell them to make it so that if like they should remove this. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. Today's video today's live stream is gonna be two or three hours, okay? It's not gonna be like a huge live stream. Today I'm gonna do a, a bit more chill live stream because I want to do some real life things. Uh, I want to get some real life things in order, uh, not actually in order, like uh, I, I want to go out in a few days, you know, go out with friends and stuff. And uh, yeah, for that to happen, I will need to have free time. So today I'm going to do like a live stream of two, and three, two or three hours, and then I'm going to be recording a bunch of videos after that to prepare for tomorrow and the day after. So um, yeah, uh, this run is not going to last that long. I don't know if we're going to reach floor 200. I hope we're going to reach 200. But, um, yeah, it also doesn't matter to me. Like, I'm here more to, ch to talk. And if anything, if I don't do a live stream tomorrow, and if I don't do a live stream the day after tomorrow, then uh, the whole idea here is that uh, I hope that the devs make this thing stop being this slow. So, yeah, I'm gonna talk about them in the Discord. And hopefully, after two or three days, then I come back to this. This is gonna be a bit different. It's gonna go faster. Hopefully. Longer animation, longer time with the series. Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I mean, if the series is supposed to die at the floor a thousand plus, then, um, well, uh, then it's not good that the animation lasts this long. <laughs> you can't get a backpack for the case you mentioned. Remove the honey crew. Okay, I don't care. Um, what run you want to do? Indeed. Hello. To be a... 
To be honest, I don't care if you go on break for a few days. You post three times a day every day. Yeah, exactly. I want to maintain the three posts per day. Uh, like the live stream. If, if, I, if I would choose one of the two to cut, I would change. I, I would say the live stream. Like if you would ask me, do you... I mean, it's either going to be two videos per day plus the live stream or it's going to be three videos per day. And honestly, I enjoy the three videos per day a bit more because I can manage my time better. Nelson Castro joined us Dragonling. Oh, I also forgot to mention another person joined us Dragonling. Uh, well, the chat does not show it anymore. I'm sorry. He was spamming like a few emojis here and there the moment he became a Dragonling, but I didn't read it. I wasn't here online then at that point. Do you have a wife? No. Uh, but Sift. I don't know what the Sift goes to. <laughs> Red Leshy. Red Leshy. Leshy? Lechy? Leechy? Can go break until the animation finishes. <laughs> yes, you can chill. Ah, yeah, it's Aiden Bro. Yes, exactly. It was me. It was you. I'm sorry I didn't mention it. Thanks for joining us at Dragonling. Let's go onwards. Let's open up. Not a mistake. We delay even more the stream. Let's go fight. I'm the new one. Yes, you are. Glad you join. Will you ever get rid of your coins? No. I explained this also. I have also explained why the coins are there. Uh, the coins will get removed as the very, very, very final thing. The last thing, like the last, uh, the last chef's hat, or uh, actually, yeah, the last chef's hat is going to be the coin removal, because the coins are used to buy chef's hats pretty much, <laughs> to buy cleavers, to buy, um, to buy duct tape, to buy the one, the other, the over other thing, you know. So right now the plan is we get two queen cleavers, we put them here and here, and the little buckler where the lucky ring is, and uh, that's it. Like, that's the build. Then we're done. Then I just need one very last hat, and the run is done. Like, uh, that, then we have achieved peak power. 95 bottle bish off the ball, 95 bottle bish on the wall, can't give max HP to, toss bottles, baka. That wasn't going well. <laughs> Take one down, pass it around. 96 water. <laughs> Why are the curses there? I explained it at the start of the live stream. Uh, the first three minutes, you can go back and watch them. Yeah, YouTube allows you going back into the whole uh, live stream you're watching. Energy, though. Energy is the answer. Curses are energy, exactly. Does the blacksmith that adds rage to your weapon cost coins? Nope. Uh, uh, max life costs coins. And, uh, and the shop costs coins. You should have a FAQ for the left hand side. <laughs> um, ah, we're here. Yeah, that's a good idea. The different items, same rarity, useless. Let's go. I could have an FAQ over here. <laughs> I need coins to keep adding. But uh, you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. If people want to join the chat and ask the question, then go ahead and join the chat and ask the question. I think the, the, the speed that the chat moves helps out with the algorithm, so I, I I don't care if people repeat the same thing. At the end of the day, it's just a discussion stream, so if you want to talk about something... Uh, by the way, I was thinking about doing a, a video on the bot problem on Lost Ark. That's something that Asmogul touched upon, and uh, there is like some math missing that I realized, so I decided to do that. Would people watch that? Do you guys think people would watch that? Uh, it's completely out of my league, and also has nothing to do with the channel. But uh, as an idea, I was like, ah, oh, you know what, I could do that. I could explain some things to a few people that might want to care about math on in bots and how to calculate some things. Chat for algorithm, take one down faster. What is the most OP build right now? Is this like a serious question? Or are you not watching the stream? Or are you not watching the screen? Or are you not watching the floor level we are at? Or like, what do you mean? What is the best possible build right now? Like, can, can, can you um, like... What? <laughs> this. <laughs> this. The answer is this. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Will you ever do an or or orc socks axe run? The one that costs one coin instead of one energy. I was thinking about it. Uh, but you need to find like two or three piggy banks. At least that's my opinion on it. Like you can obviously try it without the piggy banks and be like, yeah, we're gonna just YOLO it until the money runs out. But if I would do something like that, it would definitely be, you know, well made. And for me to do a well made build on that, you definitely need at least, at least two piggy banks. One piggy bank maybe works, but I think two piggy banks are a must. 
Let's continue. By the way, I found that axe like in this run once. Okay, let's see. Now that I don't have the, the extra heart, how much life will I lose here? I think I won't lose anything. Maybe a bit. And wait for Sif to have like a thousand HP. Oh yeah, that's gonna take a while. I'm maybe at floor uh, 450. And wait for Sif. Yeah, I read that. Uh, you probably need to keep coins to keep increasing max health actually. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Although, honestly speaking, nothing will ever attack me. Like, uh, max health is not really needed. The only time max health is actually needed is if, specifically, I the opponents have so much life that my cleavers don't do enough damage to them fast enough and I die from spikes because of those one, two cleavers that are in the sides. Because opponents will never strike us. Like, this guy will never ever attack us. For this guy to attack us, he has to have about 5 million HP. So we are very far away from that. Like, they don't do anything to us. Deadly tap dance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How far do you realistically think this build will, build will reach? There will eventually be a point where the enemy scaling will beat the build since there is very little room to grow, literally. Um, yes, you are right about that. But, oh, you meant this, by the way. The Oak Strong Axe. Uh, so if I use this right now, for each adjacent item, the side gets plus one damage. So if I use this right now, it would be like, I don't know, 15 damage times 400 something. That's like kitty numbers. That's rookie numbers in comparison to what we're doing. Uh, by the way, the moment we find uh, our build, we will stop trying to fight every single fight. Right now we're fighting every single fight because we hope that the two lucky ranks are gonna give us two chef's hats. Actually, two queen cleavers. Or king cleavers, for that matter. As uh, this queen cleaver can go up, and this cleaver can also go up. So I just need two king or queen cleavers. And uh, then we will stop doing every single fight. Or, or two chef's hats, you know. Or two chef's hats. Or a combination of those, honestly speaking. Like, any of these help. I'd say. And I, uh, realistically, though... See the nine third floor, divisible mana. I don't know. Realistically, I think I'm gonna die on floor... 2,000? I would say... 3,000. I mean, you, you might say it's not realistic. I mean, I, I don't know how exactly these guys scale. If it is a flat amount or if it's a... Uh, or if it's like exponential or something. If it's exponential, I would assume that at around floor 800 to 1,000 we should die. If it's not actually exponential or if it's very slowly exponential, then we should go even higher. Like in general, if the opponents, as I said, if the opponents do not have a million life each, like, I think my maximum damage might be about 5 million, maybe even more. I might even be able to do 10 million. I'm not exactly sure. So, until opponents uh, aggregate... Aggregate? Is that the correct use of the word? Aggregate a, a, a 10 million life between them? I don't think they... Um, is that how aggregate is used? Like, if uh, until the opponent aggregates 10,000 million HP between them? Or did I, like, butcher completely how that is uh, used? Muhammad Imran uh, donated... Uh, 1.9 Mir. I don't know what Mir is, but thank you very much for the donation. It is very much appreciated. Helps out. A thousand. Bye. See you in 10 hours. <laughs> New. <laughs> we have 420 viewers. By the way, I don't think that music is the 420 music. <laughs> that is definitely John Cena, but for, for some reason in my mind, John Cena music and the 420 is the same. I wish. That's what would. Katalava Bibroforam. Uh, accumulate. How old are you? Ah, accumulate. Yeah, aggregate is wrong. Accumulate, accumulate, accurate. Okay, thanks for the explanation. Let's just remember for the comparison. Oh, and the next floor currently dodge rabbits have 16.5. Ah, okay. Good thing. Uh, figure, figure is gonna remember. Rotate chef's hat and put it on the left. Yes, that's gonna help. That's gonna definitely make a difference. Uh, th that suggestion is like saying, yo, if you do this little trick, you can increase your damage by a thousand. And uh, the joke being that we do uh, 200 million, <laughs> 200,000. Tap dance, tap dance, dun, 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 dun. stop monster abuse, nope. What are your plans for the channel? <laughs> cool, 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 cool. The plans for the channel are... Okay, if, like, my, my super future, 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 future plans, like, uh, when I get to a point that I have, I don't know, let's say 2,000 people in the chat consistently, no matter what, like, if I get to that point, which in my opinion is, like, I don't need to go further than that, the plan would be to hire a mo an editor so that he edits all my videos that I upload. And then I just um, do a live stream for five or six hours. Uh, play in the live stream two or three different games. I'm not gonna only play one. And then just be done. 
that's my plan. 99 bucks. Uh, Aiden Royas. Roy Royas. 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 Royas or Royas. Something of these two. Uh, send me a devil sticker. Thanks for the devil sticker. <laughs> Let's continue. So, yeah, that, that, and that is the plan. The plan. Oh, we found a uh, three health. I'm gonna take it. We can find out like curing later. That's not that much of an issue. So, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Um, so, uh, about what Asmogold is doing. That's what I mean, okay? About what Asmogold is doing. If I can somehow achieve that, you know, in the very, very far future, but with playing a bit more games and less reacting to content, right? I, I don't want to deal with the whole copyright thing. I don't want to deal with, uh, you know, having to deal with that. But, uh, yeah, I would enjoy doing just... I play whatever game I want. I discuss with the people that I want to discuss, you know. I open up discussions about different topics, and then some kind of editor comes in and just makes everything uh, nice and clean and ensure that it's fun and stuff, you know. Chef Sand affect all the cleavers because of Duck Yep, exactly. <clears throat> How is the base damage of all of them so high? Uh, because... Ah, uh, yeah, that's something I didn't explain in the beginning. The whole base combo damage uh, is happening because uh, the Belt of Knives says that on use, adjacent weapons get plus three. Okay, and guess what? Uh, this happens with the duct tape too. So when something hits here, the duct tape just passes the buffs to all of them. So that's why you see numbers like 310 times belt of knives, you know, 331 times belt of knives, 338 times, because all of these things give belt of knives to each other through the duct tapes. So all of the when this thing gets the belt of knives, all of them get the belt of knives, and therefore it's madness. That's what's happening. Color blindness test went again. Again, we did it yesterday. We did a colorblind test yesterday. Okay, I have mild dyschromatopsy. Actually, it was mild, mild defterant. That's 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 how it was called. The bottle of beer memes continue. It's a bit too much. By the way, I think I forgot to mention my. Uh, is there any mod here? I think I forgot to mention to my mods that there is going to be a live stream today. Is animation speed at max? Yes, it is. Remember to hydrate. That's a good idea. And let me also remember to send my mods that I'm doing a live stream right now. Give me a sec. That's gonna be a good old pause over here. Okay, I, I did the announcement. Well, theoretically speaking, the... What is it called? Theoretically speaking, the, uh, the night bot now also targets uh, bot names. So if a bot comes in and has any name that is even remotely weird, it's, it should get shadow banned right away. So theoretically, we should not have any bots in any way. Add, add, add. Stop saying. <laughs> um, there's rage on the jack and one king cleaver. Yeah, there is rage on this jack and then I think this king cleaver. Yeah, this. I, I think it's this one. It doesn't really matter either. Like, rage gaining also doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, we found a cool cleaver. Pretty useless, I would say. I don't have a key for that. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Let's maybe get rage. Okay, maybe not. Let's go wherever. Shop and then event two. You got this different, similar layouts every time. We're about to fight uh, accumulate aggregate. Okay, that's pretty... <laughs> Goodbye, chat. Keep drinking beer. What? No... Chef Sad gave a multiplicative bonus, adding a cleaver to a duct tape is exponential damage as it gives another hit from every cleaver. Yes. Yes, I do agree. But it also is plus 50% damage. Mm, yeah, yeah, okay, more cleavers. I mean, at the end of the day, we are going for the, the, the double queen cleaver build anyway. I'm not going for another Chef's hat. That, that wasn't even the plan anyway, so... Where's the nine energy coming from? Energy here, over here, this 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 system here. The emerald bracelet. You can read it until I'm done. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. Let's see if we find something. I don't see anything. Continue. We could have had like fifty thousand. What is it called? Rooftops, if we wanted to. Good night from Japan. Keep up the good run. I'm curious to see the max floor reach. Uh, if they don't kill the run, man. The best thing that could happen is if they made the animations go faster. Not even the animations go faster, like straight up skip it. Straight up be like, done. Straight up, speed it up. Like imagine if the maximum animation speed would be instant, like instant PC speed, you know? If it would be like no animation whatsoever, all the triggers happen in the back and just go out right away. Like you, you press the button, you wait, 
I mean, for the first half second, one second, you see animations because it's still calculating, but the moment the PC realizes that, the game realizes that, okay, I calculated the damage and the healing and everything, it just goes, whoop, done. Within three seconds, just the whole attack is launched. Different items in rarity, useless. I mean, this guy is in general useless. For 169, let's go. Yeah, let's go, 170 now. Mm, uh, living Shadow for the boss, whatever. Same thing. Or after all enemies are killed, skip them. What happens when you click and turn after killing the enemies? Nothing. Nothing happens. Have you ever had a thousand plus viewers? Yes, the first the first day of this madness. The first day of this madness, we had a thousand plus viewers. Shift. Why not get rid of the healing? It's not like you need it. <laughs> Why not get rid of... Yeah. Please answer, Chris. Please, everybody, answer, Chris. First damage is over 203k. Yeah, I, I remember that. Sift red lizards at floor 160 have 30k HP. Now nine floors later, the HP grow nearly 34. 2k HP per nine floors. It may be yeah, the the game is spike spikes exactly. <laughs> spikes spikes exactly. Let's go. Oh, we got another ring. Oh, we got vampirism though, but we're not gonna take it. I have been told that vampirism is most likely gonna kill us. Uh, that's useless. Over here. Spikes are a thing. <laughs> okay, I hope you got your answer. Canon healing to deal with spikes. To negate <laughs> Thanks, everybody. What happens when you click and turn? Oh, sorry, I forgot to showcase. I'm gonna showcase it here. Uh, nothing, by the way. The answer is nothing. Under weapons and other big items in the game. Ah, they are. Look at this. Do you see? And, and turn does not work. It doesn't do anything. And theoretically poison. <laughs> poison. <laughs> I laugh every time. <laughs> poison. If, if poison is gonna kill us, then before that happens, a random attack of 400 is gonna kill us. <laughs> like, poison is never gonna hit us. Bomb prison makes it hit twice. And that's very dangerous, though. What items are you looking for now? Uh, I'm looking for two more king or queen cleavers. Any of the two will work, because I can just push the Queen Cleavers up and put the King Cleavers in their place. Like, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, either two more Queen and King Cleavers, or uh, or, or a couple of Rocky Rings. And, uh, and we're pretty much done. Like, two or three more King Cleavers slash Queen Cleavers, and uh, a bunch of uh, Chef's Hats, and that's it. I start believing that these Queen Cleavers in the side are not actually as insane as people uh, make them be. Because they are getting used, like, two or three times. Like, they, don't, they, they do 250 damage. I started believing that, the, the, for example, this Queen Cleaver, okay? This Queen Cleaver. The, these two Queen Cleavers, so the corner pieces, I think they are not as good as people say they are. Because they get used, like, only, as I said, one or two times per fight. And uh, I could have just had one more Chef's Hat that's going to multiply the damage of all the rest. So I start believing people are actually wrong. Unbelievable. Let's go with Rage. Let's put it on the Jack. Continue. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to mention. Max HP, max HP. This has the feeling of Black Ops Zombies eye level. What do you mean? True Queen Cleavers are better on the middle, but still good if you win. I don't think so. I don't think the Queen Cleavers are better. Somebody did the math and said that the Queen Cleavers do not actually... Um, do not actually hit the thing more times. Gavin Murray, uh, 299, I guess, Australian dollars. Make sure you don't go out path. Boss will kill you. Yeah, I know. I know. I have been told. The the boss, one of the... By the way, I went two times alternate path, and both of the times I did not get the boss that would kill me. I was really lucky that uh, <laughs> we avoided death. I never realized. So the boss in the alternate path has a passive that says every time you attack it, it gets dodge. So, that means that only your very, very, very first attack actually hits it. The rest of the attacks all miss, because uh, it dodges every single attack after the first one. Wait a minute, why do I have two energy? What happened? Excuse me? Oh, now I have nine? Okay, black magic. Sorcery, I'm telling you. This is God Backpack, exactly, the frog boss. Yeah, we're gonna avoid the, that area. If Gordon Ramsay was smiting people... <laughs> Yo, what's this build? This build is madness. This build is uh, the free win. This build is uh, everything triggers the duct tapes, and the trigger the duct tapes will trigger the cleavers. This build is uh, insanity incarnate. This build is... <laughs> Doesn't matter what this build is. Well, we got a Pavis, pretty useless though. Let's uh, continue. I don't need to chase fights. I don't need to chase fights. 
Is it gonna be here? Is it gonna be next area? Like, the only thing I'm chasing is shops and events. I don't need to chase fights because at the end of the day, we will get the items eventually. So might as well try to rush through a few more rooms faster. So this guy have, has 293,000 life. Do we do 293,000 damage? Do we do 293,000 damage is the question here. A Vs doesn't work. It does work, but it doesn't chain into each other. So it does, I, I don't care it. Let's see. 2,933 life, and uh, so we do definitely more than 2,093, uh, 2,000, no, 293, we do more than two 300,000 damage, okay, we do more or about 300,000 damage with the first attack, and this is exponential damage, I do not need to fight by the way, kitty numbers, yep, exactly, 293,000 kitty numbers, easy 300k, exactly, OTK, yep, yeah, the Pavis, but the Bakla gets the same effect and shields. Yeah, the, the little Bakla gives me more armor, first of all. It gives me two armor, so it's something. Also, it gives me haste, so once again, it's something. And uh, also, we had him from the get-go with us. Like, we're gonna keep him. There's more than two or three damage. I definitely do more. The belt of knives, it makes every weapon give adjacent weapons plus three damage. And you see, yep. It's quadratic damage, not exponential, but okay. It is what you want it to be, okay? If you're better at me at using correct uh, math terms, then uh, I will uh, surrender to your correct math terms. It, it, really doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Like, the first attack is 300,000, and we have no idea how much the second attack is. And we have 10 attacks to go through. Like, <laughs> we have no idea at all. World record? Definitely not. I have seen somebody be at, like, uh, floor 400-something. First energy, 300k. The last one will be... Pff, who knows how much the last one will be. Most likely more than more than two million. More than two million. Let's go with weapon. It might be a queen cleaver. Well, it was a cleaver though. Let's continue. Close enough. It's macaroni. Facts if this cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can you show the damage of one cleaver after the first, second, and third attack? Can we calculate and estimate? I mean, yeah, but you're not gonna be able to see the stopwatch. Just so you know. But uh, yeah, might as well try. Okay, after the first attack, 302. 3,470 something. Uh, the rest though do at 2,000. Like all of them do 2,000. Okay, all of these do 2,000. And uh, now, well, now they're gonna rise. I'm gonna go through these while my damage is still rising. But uh, the stopwatch buff is gonna fall off the moment the rise stops. So, yeah, let's hope I get a good snapshot here. 4,000 most likely. 4,000 each. Maybe a bit more. 1,000 still. And now the stopwatch will drop off and we're gonna lose like about, yeah, about 200. So yeah, I hope this helps. You can go ahead and calculate what you want. Let's continue. Go on. I'm pretty sure the damage should be seemingly exponential because the first attack starts with the cleavers doing nothing and builds up to the point where the cleavers are 2,000, right? And then the second attack starts at 2,000 and uh, it multiplies them to a point where they do 4,000. And then the third attack starts at 4,000 and goes to 6,000. So, I mean, it doesn't feel exponential. It really feels like just a line. But uh, it's a very steep line. <laughs> Stream title is false advertising. You said it was 200 damage and we're at 300 damage. Disappointed. Okay, let me... Give, give me a sec here to... Uh, give me a sec to uh, edit the, the title then. Here. Happy. Done. Done. Let's continue. Would you would using a cleaver instead of little bakla or would save time go through the animation you want shot everything? So no. Uh nothing would change. If I use a cleaver, it's gonna be the same thing. 2k to 4.5k. Stream title is full. Yeah, I read that. It's going to take several days or even weeks to reach a point where you will fail. I know, I know. This is, as I said, this is more of a... I, I mentioned this in my Discord, by the way. Uh, if you join the Discord, there should be a link in the live stream itself. And the description. So, I was thinking, just change it to 500k damage. No, I don't want to shit. <laughs> I can just change it to millions of damage. <laughs> because the second hit is most likely a million. <laughs> Almost definitely. That'd be needed two hits, and we do like a couple hundreds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
So yeah, this this live stream is most likely going to be um, a just chatting, chill, talk with people, and in general, you know, a vibing live stream. I don't know because the main problem is that the game pauses. The game pauses when um, uh, the main problem is that the game pauses when I do anything. Like if I try to go over here to you know the recording thing, boom, the game stops, and there is no option to change that. Like the game even plays when you're on the option menu. But it pauses when you're not on the option menu. I think that's a Unity thing. They decided to have uh, the auto pause built in instead of actually opt out of it. I think they should opt out of it. At the end of the day, this game does not really have reason to pause out of screen. Like, what is going to happen? You're going to either cl click a button and then go off screen or you're going to press enter and go off screen and the opponents are going to attack. Like, there is literally no reason for this game to freeze off screen. It's, uh, it's an oversight, in my opinion. I guess the only thing that could happen is bugs, but I don't think, like, what bugs would happen if, if this calculation happens in the background? I don't think that bugs would happen. Maybe change idea, but change the build to have less damage for faster run. Change one tape with the gold, stop the chain. Do I want to do that, though? Do I want to do that? I mean, yeah, I get the whole faster run aspect. What is this? Uh, gold cleaver, useless. I do get the faster run aspect, but is it really that important? Let's uh, let's try a bug I saw. Let's try this. Okay, the bug does not exist. Let's go. Okay, here we can see my third attack. I'm thinking making the enemy weak on hits. So far, no enemies have been able to retaliate. Cook meals and do laundry while waiting for cleavers. Yeah, exactly. You can do a bunch of things. 300k times 1 times 2 times 3. Times 10 is 10, 15 million. Is this correct though? Is it 300k times 1 times 2 times 3? Because do we actually just add another 3k? I'm not sure we add another 3k because we we, ha we know for a fact... We know for a fact that we don't only add 2000k. Uh, we don't multiply the same damage. Because we when we were doing like a run of... Uh, when we were doing like 9k damage, the first hit was like 9k and then the second was about 3d. You know, and when we were doing like uh, about 98k, the first hit was about 98k and then the second was like 300 or something like that. So it seems a bit exponential or, or something is like from the first attack to the second attack, the number is a lot higher than what the first attack is. Okay, so if, if for example, the first attack is 10 damage, the second attack is not going to be 20. The second attack is going to be 25 or 30. And then the third attack is going to be the same differential. Like, so the first attack is, for example, 10. The second attack is 30. And then the third attack would be 50, you know, 70, 90, if it increases 20. But from the first to the second attack, the numbers are definitely not one by one. Or at least that's what I remember. I don't remember us doing uh, 9k damage and then 18k damage the second attack. No, I definitely remember we did 9k first attack and second attack was like 40, 50, 80. Like, it was a huge difference. 15 mil is without all the added rage. We do more than 15 mil, most likely. It scaled 20 to 50. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It, it, the scaling is not uh, as much as the first attack is. It's definitely millions of damage. Uh, let's skip fights once again. <laughs> if somebody could make a mod to increase the speed of the game. <laughs> that, that would be also a good solution. If this game has mods, although I don't even know if modders have access to the Steam version of the game, so I think we're pretty far away from mods being a thing. But I found an awesome mod for Peglin. So if you care about Peglin, uh, there will be a video after this that uh, I will play the awesome mod. And honestly speaking, I think that mod is maybe the best mod in the game right now. 520 people pog. First day we were 1,200. Uh, Let's see how much... Oh, kitty numbers. 46k, bye bye. Let's talk to the chat until this is dead. I remember it scaling 9, 20, 20. Yeah, something like that. Sort of answered by 10, how 10 energy. Um, This. Do push two push-ups every energy. Yeah, okay, die. Uh, <laughs> do do a million push-ups. I will buy this for $10. Is this 10 bucks? I don't know how much this game is. I think remove the curses, Sift. Yes, council. Yes, exactly. Sift, remove the curses. Hey, Sift, why don't you on purpose make your run worse? Why don't you just have everything be fun and stuff? Let's continue. I want the chicken boss to touch me. <laughs> Lifts are hydrated. That's a good idea. Let's drink water. Oh, 
water has been drunk. Oh, five council. Hmm, is that Dr. <laughs> Just replace duct tape with the duct tape. Ah, that's a good idea. That's one of the good, better ideas. Do one push up per damage point. Yeah, you found. Yesterday, somebody said how much they would pay me to uh, stop the stream, and I was like, however much damage we do. <laughs> At that point, the damage was 98k. <laughs> At this point, it's like more than... We don't know how much damage we do. More than 300, that's for sure. What do those curses do? They uh, they give us minus... Uh, they, they do this. They they add slow to us. Oh, I just realized something. They they fixed the analysis problem. Uh, not analysis. What is it called? They, they fixed the resolution problem where you were not seeing your buffs down here. They made sure that now you see them. Very nice. That was a very quick... They, it took them, what, two days? Within two or three days, they instantly fixed it. Man, that's what I want to see. I have really, 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 really high hopes for the devs of this game. Like, I have really high hopes for the devs of, devs of this game. I believe they are one of the better devs, uh, my opinion. I I think they are doing a very good job. They also... Uh, I, I, the, I'm also seeing, like, the, the competition. They have, like, a competition for what item they should add the game. And, like, all the items are very weird and wonky. And I really enjoy that. Instead of going the path of, yo, we don't have some simple things in the game. No, they're going like, you know what? We already have a few things in the game. Let's make the game even more wonky, even more crazy. I think you do more damn. Okay. Uh, you can speed up the game with cheat engine. It has a game speed up feature. Should I add cheat engine to this to make this faster? Better devs than who? Did I say better? I just said I have very high hopes to, the, uh, to these devs. I don't think I said better. Animation remained the same without, without healing. Yeah, we tested that. They didn't fix it entirely. They should remove the border completely, in my opinion. Yeah, that... Um, on, although I do agree that the border should get removed. Oh, we got another Jack Cleaver. That's useless. I mean, it's not useless, but... Uh, I want King and Queen Cleavers. I don't want to have Jack Cleavers. I don't want to deal with it. Let's go. Although Jack Cleavers... The, the complete min-max way, by the way, are the Jack Cleavers, in case you don't know. Because the Jack Cleavers do 7 base damage, while the King and Queen do 6. But uh, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. We swap Queen Cleavers for King Cleavers. Yes, please. Nah, I don't care about it. Like the stream. Let's go. Silver Cat is here. Hey, joining. 1k again. Yeah, if we, if we spam the like button and also people are chatting. Lucas is healing because of the heart. Okay, that's an answer to someone else. Sift will have enough patience and that energy will come handy at some around 1,000. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm going to keep all that. Like, I'm not going to throw away anything that has to do with this build. Don't forget to hit the like button. We. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A way they could nerf the cleavers, which they should not do. The shield spirit makes shield reduce energy cost of nearby weapons by one for the next use and max one reduction no more. What? In general, they should just straight up, straight up not do anything to these things. Do not change anything. I I was mentioned. I was talking about this fact yesterday. Okay. Uh, the only thing you need to do to make a broken build less busted are three things: make the opponents be more durable. Make the game have more items in it, because the more variety you add, the less of a chance a character can actually find them. And the third thing is... What was the third thing? I don't even remember, man. But these two are already enough. <laughs> I definitely don't remember what the third thing was. I guess you have to scour yesterday's livestream to go and see what the third thing was. But definitely with just adding more... Oh, 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 I found the third thing. And the third thing is to just make the inventory space weirder. Which they already said that they're gonna do. So, for example, if, if I didn't have access to such a bag, I would not be able to do... Like, imagine if this bag was... This line is missing, this line is missing, and this line is missing. Like, imagine if we had a bag that is... Um, that has uh, holes in it. We would not be able to do this build. It's as simple as that. Instead of making it straight up, we're gonna nerf this. No, just make another character have a different bag, which they said that they're gonna do. So this build is most likely only gonna be viable for this specific character. When other characters get launched and they have different backpacks, there is a good chance that things that have to do with chaining things to each other and making sure that things are next to each other and things like of that nature. Uh, we found a King Cleaver, which I want to pick up. Let's take it. Uh, will pretty much be non-existent anymore. Spin again, King Cleaver, Queen Cleaver. Okay, we got this one. Let's spin again. Okay, let's see. Okay, that is pretty much irrelevant. Let's go again. Oh, we got a curse. We're gonna lose 180 life and we're gonna leave. Actually, I can take one more curse, so let's go one again. 189, I think, was how much damage it did to us. Go again. If it somehow does 200 now, we're dead. Let's roll again. 
Let's go again. Until we get it. Nothing. Let's go again. Okay, we got our curse. The time has come to stop. 190. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 190. Gonna run. <laughs> Your healing is OP. Let's go. Throw it up. Challenge. Alright. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> Oh, when your healing is so OP, that taking 100 point damage cruises. Ah, whatever. Yeah, it is a whatever. I mean, look at this. <laughs> oh, by the way, through the through this, we can also see how much damage, uh, how much, how many attacks we do every turn. Oh, the game is speeding down. Okay. Okay, this is starting to lag again. You know what? I think the numbers are a bit too big for the game to be able to handle them. Also, do you see the slowdown happen? It feels like, it feels like if the animation is somewhere else, it goes faster. <laughs> the, the heart. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know with this animation thing. I have no idea. I'm trying to have it as fast as possible. He can't fully heal. That was almost 290 hits. Let's go again. And now we're gonna wait. 182 attacks, 274 healing in one turn. <laughs> 274 attacks, let's go. Uh, plus the corner pieces, that's 246. Aha! Uh -huh. You are all wrong! <laughs> 246 attacks. 240, 276 attacks, 274 healing. But why? Why doesn't the end turn? Because uh, it's still calculating the healing and uh, the attack in general. What does the day to connect everything as if they're next to each other? So all of these are supposed to be next to each other. That's why this madness is happening. <clears throat> if you keep just one gold cleaver next to the duct tape, won't that increase the damage of the cleavers by a bunch? When by a bunch you mean by about by one each, then yes, it would increase them by one each. Now, if that is a bunch in your mind, I get I guess it is a bunch uh, based on the game's normal standards, but uh, with our standards, that's not a bunch. Like, uh, definitely not a bunch. I mean, plus one damage on all the cleavers is a joke. A kiddie numbers, rookie numbers. Attack, single button push, exactly. Sift. I did my thing and used calculator. Basically, HP gain is exponential. It's 5% per floor. Honestly, currently, it's not relevant. You start to feel that after floor 476. Okay, we found our target. The target is 476. I guess five. I guess at, at floor 500, we should start ha having maybe some problems here and there. I mean, not problems. We still need to find like 15,000. Uh, we still need to have 50,000, uh, not 50,000, uh, 15 million uh, HP opponents to have some kind of problem. Oh, you lost so much money? What do you mean so much money? I was gambling just a minute ago. And that isn't even... Th these are also rookie numbers. Like, who cares about money? <laughs> Let's go on. Money doesn't matter. As long as I have more than 50, just to make sure that I'm able to buy any legendary or rare that might pop up in the shop, as long as I have more than 50, I'm good. I'm good. Is there still a way to get the game? Um, I don't think so. That's also what I was mentioning previously about the fact that it feels a bit unfair. Just a bit. Uh, the fact that the Kickstarter ended... You should be able to have access to the game because the game exists in Steam. And I think Kickstarter supporters do have the game. But, um, I mean, it is fair because, yo, I'm a Kickstarter. I would like to get the game faster because I am the person that paid the money. Uh, by the way, I'm I'm representing a Kickstarter right now. Uh, I'm the person that paid the money while the game did not exist. So because I did that, I should have access to the game first. Yeah, I do get that. But, uh, like, it's also stifling its own... It's also stifling its own progress because they could just say, yo, the game is now out on Steam, you can go and buy it. And I think the game has so much hype right now that the moment they would do that, everybody would instantly buy it on Steam. Especially when they see streamers and people with Kickstarter access uh, play with a bigger bag. Or uh, if a new character gets added, like imagine the following. Imagine a new character gets added in this Kickstarter version right now. Wouldn't it be insane? Wouldn't everybody be like, oh, yo, I want to play this right now. How can I play this? How can I play this? How can I play this? You know, and then you just would say you either would say you can buy it on Steam right now. It's out on Steam right now. Or you would say you do have to have Kickstarter access, which you don't have. So, and you can also not get it anymore. So, uh, well, tough luck. I think it's that that's like the only unfair thing. I think they should just make the the, ba the, the secondary backers program 
I think some people have like a delayed backing or you know something like that. But uh, yeah, I mean that that's it. Because the game is already in Steam, right? But it's not on the Steam store. At least that's why I, what I understand. Because I'm playing on Steam right now, so that theoretically means that they have a version that works on Steam, which then in turn also means that theoretically they could also sell it, right? You can just press launch game and sell it, I guess, I would assume, I would assume. How much does a single cleaver scale per head? Uh, a bunch. Two, three thousand, maybe. Uh, two thousand, about two thousand, about two thousand. A strike. You start only accepted credit cards, which I don't have. Yeah, exactly. That's also something that would be pretty negative. That if you want to buy the game with PayPal, or um, if if you don't want to deal with creating an account on Kickstarter and you know giving your mail and blah 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 blah, like you might not want to deal with Kickstarter at all. So you don't have a choice right now. If you wanted to have access to this bigger bank, then you have to have a Kickstarter. I mean, as I said, it is fair enough to say that whoever supports us while the game does not exist will get the game first when the game actually will exist. Okay, that, that is fair, I do get it. But it's a bit unfair to, after the game gets created, to then not sell it. Like, I, I think, in my opinion, in about, in, in the next week, I believe in the next week, they should make the game purchasable by the audience, even though it's early access. Or, or at least give access to the demo or, or, or something, you know. Um, because, I mean, I think a week is on for online content because this is like an online game right uh for online content i mean it's not a physical copy that's what i mean uh for online content i think a week is enough for people to have early access like after that just just give it to everybody other than when you're doing like alpha testing beta testing you know if you only want to have a thousand people play it so that you are more easily getting your feedback back if you don't want to deal with a bunch of people coming in and being like negative about things that they don't like or about crying for nerves and you know if you only want to have feedback and you know the game being played by people that actually care about the game then yeah okay then you you're i guess if you want you you're, you're not supposed to upload uh um, make it purchasable on Steam. You're not forced to, but still, I don't know. Feels weird. If do you have him? Do you have Matthew? If not, press M on the start screen. <laughs> imagine if this. If, if imagine if I pressed M on the start screen. Like imagine if I literally pressed M. <laughs> Developers don't want to share not completed game. What happens if you attended the quickly? Not none of these matters. Um, yeah, I mean that. That is true. That is true. That is true. Um, it is true that uh, developers might not want to ship the game to their- Oh, we got another chef's hat, let's go, let's go, let's go! We got the chef's hat, ding 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 Copyright stream. Copyright claim. Let's go! Let's go. Let's see how much damage now we do after an attack. Let's see if- let's see if people that said that chef's hats will not add that much damage are correct. Let's see how much damage. So it was about 2,000 after the first attack. 1,060 something. If it's 2,200 something, then I would say it's good enough. If it's 2,200 something on the cleavers now. 200, 500. Wow, 2,500. Well. Well. Well, that means the chef's hat is actually the way to go. Because it's at, it adds 500 to all of these. Like all of these get 500 more. And if I get another chef set, it's gonna be all of these get the 500 on top of that. Uh, the buffs all. We don't even know how much damage we do, yet we... <laughs> and already it has gone up, yeah. <laughs> we still don't know how much damage we do. <laughs> we still don't know how much damage we do, we have no idea. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I wanted to read the arrow, I wanted to read the arrow. People were telling me that I was reading that arrow wrong. That's a 25% increase. Yeah, which is a lot. We were doing 300% damage, uh, 300,000 damage, more than 300,000 damage, so that means now we're doing more than 350, I, I guess 25% would be uh, 900 something, so 390 something, 375, I don't know. Uh, would you mind checking the difference between the top left king and the bottom row cleaver since it, no. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It does not matter, guys. Don't get stuck up on the fact what could be even better. Okay? I am a person that does love min-max, but you have to choose your battles. You should not min-max when you press one button and everything dies, okay? 
You should not waste your real life time. When you play games, you have to keep in mind that you are having fun, yes, but you're also using your real life time to play a game. So, yes, min-max if you want to win. But if you're already winning, don't spend even more time to min-max even further. Like, for example, if you have a... Let's say you have a build that is... Uh, not in this game, in a, another game. You play a random game and you have something like you do 10 damage every second, okay? And uh, the opponents have, let's say, 50 life. You will have to min-max to think if getting plus 5 damage is better or getting plus 20% attack speed is better, okay? But if in the same game you do 1 million damage uh, every 0.01 second and the opponent has a 1000 life, it doesn't matter if your next uh, your next upgrade is gonna be attack speed or movement speed or max HP or damage done. Like nothing matters. If, if nothing really survives in a hit, you don't need to think about your decisions. Like just just go on, just beat the game. Okay, that's my opinion. Now, if you wanna do a huge, uh, you know, I don't know, a high score attack or you know a huge damage thing, and then be like, oh, I did one million damage. Yeah, okay, obviously. But the problem right now in this specific run is that I cannot see how much damage I do because, as you already see, uh, no opponent survives, so we cannot actually calculate the damage we do. <laughs> so um, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter. Let us first get to a point where at least one opponent survives a single hit, and then we will think about min maxing further. <laughs> True, unnecessary min-max could drain your interest. Exactly. That's why I decided to make this into a chat stream and not care about this anymore. Because, I mean, let's be honest, this is super over. The only the only main thing we care about is the final boss of the floor, just in case it survives. Because we want that very final boss on the floor to survive so that we understand how much damage we do. Right? <laughs> but if... <laughs> Every Polybridge player has left the chat. <laughs> but no, that's wrong. That's wrong because Polybridge is a time attack, right? If you try to min-max something that has a point of getting min-maxed, then yes, then do it. If 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 you have like, if your plan is to get a high a time score attack, like if if you want to improve your time from five seconds into four seconds and ninety-eight milliseconds, then yes, min-max for it. But if um, yeah, but, but if you're like, give me a sec, what is there, what's happening? Yeah, but if we're talking about things that don't have high scores, then it doesn't matter. And it really doesn't matter. Libras broke the from the fix, okay. Uh, Sift, you're my favorite YouTuber right now because you live stream this game. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm glad. I like the stream, we have an opportunity to know you a bit more. I'm glad you guys enjoy. I'm glad you guys enjoy. Having fun. I'm, I'm chilling over here. The live stream might not last this long today. I also decided, you know, to speed up through the fights a bit faster. I, I want to make this like a chill experience and talk with people. And, you know, once in a while, get a get, get a prospect, like get, get an aspect of a discussion and just go on a rave. And uh, everybody in the chat be like, true, true, right, true. <laughs> or the opposite. No, bro, this is the opinion, actually. And then we can uh, go into further discussions about whatever. Is this build still countered by the spiky thing? Is this like a serious question or uh, like, do you see what floor we are at? <laughs> Literally, do you think I'm dodging spikes? Here we go. King, 258,000 life. Yeah, that's not enough. That's definitely not enough. This guy's dead. Let's see. But this guy's gonna be able to showcase how many attacks we do because he gains range for every attack we do. He gets rage for every attack we do. So if this thing hits like 250 something, then we will know. Sift, you're my favorite. Oh yeah, I read that. Uh, but eh, some people here have been watching you since the Nova Drift. What? Who? Since which Nova Drift? The very, very, very first one? Like the very first one? Like when I was doing, uh, what is it called? When I was doing Ro um, Lost, I don't know, what? Legend of from Terror Runs? That, that, back that, that day? Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. He's not gonna survive. We're not even halfway there, by the way. Until our cleavers do 2,500 damage, we're not even remotely close. And we're still not doing 2,500 damage, we're doing still thousands. Yeah, this guy's dead. <laughs> uh, we, we won't even know how many attacks we do through this because of the fact that he's gonna die before the attacks are done. 258k is actually kidding numbers, no joke. And this guy's dead. And uh, we will still continue going for the attacks by the way. And now the fight is over. Nope, now the fight is over. <laughs> Uh, this is madness. This is madness. New game. Everybody in the chat leaves. Let's continue. Whoop. Let's also drop an ad. Whoop. Let's also change the title of the live stream because honestly speaking, I don't think the title is representative at this point anymore.
Okay. Done. I fixed the livestream name. Let's continue. Madness. 25k. That was not 25k, that was 250k. 250k is actually rookie numbers, yes. Is the same run... Is this the same run that had three Archangel Arms in the beginning? <laughs> yes. Yes, that is the same run. <laughs> it is still the same run, exactly. This is the three the three Archangel Arms almost, almost died at some fight. Run, yes. The Nova. Drift, will you play the game anymore? It has a big enemy update. Um, I think I played the new enemy update. I, I don't remember. I mean, do you even... Uh, I, do, I know that, like... I played Nova Drift and I found it fun. Okay, when I was playing it, I um, I had fun. I played it on my own too. Like in general, before I started YouTubing, you know, I was playing Nova Drift. I was having fun. The game was exciting and stuff. But uh, now that I am actually doing YouTube, man, when I upload a video and it doesn't go well, it feels like it's a bit of a waste of a time. On the one hand, yes, you sh I should have just fun. But uh, I also don't want to put myself through the, you know, the feeling of, man... I could have played Backpack Hero and it would have gone better. And I would also still have fun, right? Because I'm not playing anything that I don't have fun with, ever. Like, if some, if I don't like something, like, if I see a video that is... If I see a game that's very popular and I don't care about it, I'm straight up like, I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> like, I just don't care. I, I delete it from my mind and that's that. I, I never look back. But, um, like, when I have fun with a the game, then I'm trying to find what is, you know, what people enjoy and not. Because I can play whatever. Because think about it like this way. I enjoy Backpack Hero, I enjoy Peglin, I enjoy Vampire Survivors, I enjoy Nomad uh, Survivors, I enjoy 10 Minutes to Dawn, I also enjoy Nova Drift, I also enjoy Legends of Runeterra, I enjoy a bunch of games, like I can play whatever I want, but the thing is, that the only big difference is that I'm doing it for the channel, right, it's not like changing anything for me, it's it's not burning me out to play Loop Hero instead of playing, uh, instead of playing, I don't know, Vampire Survivors, you know, or whatever, when that happens, when that happens, which did happen with Peglin, I just dropped the game. Like, regardless if it's actually, if actually people care about it or not, if I don't care, if I feel that the game is not for me or I get frustrated with it, I just drop it. Like, there is no issue for, with that, so... I, I'm just going with whatever people actually do enjoy watching. How exactly do the cleavers chain? I'm a bit confused. Is it duct taped? Okay, and we read this a, bit of a bunch of times. Um, yeah, the, the duct tapes make everything be a king cleaver pretty much. If you like Nova Drift, you should play Neon Abyss. I played Neon Abyss and it didn't go well. In general, games that are like Neon Abyss and uh, Gungeon and, and any game that has skill, like that you need to avoid things and also target and jump and do. Um, and I or like uh, Death de Death Apart. What, what was that game called? Uh, Last Death. I, I don't remember. Death's Door. Papers. I, I don't remember what that game was called. Like these games that are quote-unquote skill games, uh, need need experience because yeah skill issue ha 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 you're not good at the game but honestly speaking you just need to play the game like 50 hours it isn't something at the end of the day that's true for like all the games that have to do with tight controls and stuff right <laughs> still didn't miss a stream says red <laughs> hey red how are you doing uh, <laughs> pineapple pizza seems wrong to what <laughs> the discussion is uh, thanks for the explaining so red just to stream ah it's okay uh, I don't remember what I was talking about, though. Hmm. Yeah, the skill games. So, yeah. I mean, I, I just don't want to go through that. A and it's like a double-edged sword. On the one hand, <laughs> let's uh, let's see if my theory is correct. So, theoretically, if I put it on exclamation mark, it should drop to the fourth spot. Okay? Let's see. Exclamation mark. So, the moment I completely cover the exclamation mark with my mouse, which should be here, it should go down to this one. At least, that is theoretically the plan. Okay, theoretically and practical once again, completely off. Okay, like, I have no idea, man. We need to find some better pointers. Because this is not happening. <laughs> we need to find better pointers. <laughs> Do you play any of the retro games, Sift? Oh, oh, you know what game I wanted to play? Uh, I'm gonna spoil here a game I wanted to play for the channel. Because you said retro games. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about playing old games that I'm pretty sure a bunch of people played, but they forgot it. And, and nobody ever covered it, because back in the day, YouTube was not that prevalent. So I did... Um, I want to build a boat. 
and the one one million one million coins 10 million coins something like that that those games are like extremely old and i played those and they went really well because people remember that they played them and then they also you know enjoy the stream because you know surf stream and people enjoy it once in a while so yeah it's not stream uh, like videos and i also did the what was the other one called the something nevermore uh, something something nevermore uh the souls was it even Nevermore? I don't remember. That, that was also something a bunch of people enjoyed. Like, uh, the good old games that uh, people definitely have seen, uh, definitely played like 10 to 15 years ago, but nobody was YouTubing, so they never became like a bit, big hit success, right? I th so, what was that called? Um, Souls? Something Souls? Nevermore. I don't remember. Uh, I really don't, but people enjoy that. And now I also was thinking about playing the castle defense thing. Which I also... Uh, Kingdom Defense, I think it's called. Because that's also a game that a bunch of people played back in the day. Uh, in the day and um, they don't remember, like, seeing somebody play. At least that's what I believe. I'm not sure if people would like to enjoy that. But uh, maybe. I mean, maybe. What is adding rage? A few cleavers have a plus rage buff. A few cleavers have buff, buff, bu plus rage buff from uh, events. Uh, nothing to find here. Let's continue. Finding... Use confidence, but it's over 300k. Tower defense. Kingdom defense. Rogue Soul Nevermore. No, it, was it Rogue Soul Nevermore? Was that actually the name? I think that was the name. Kingdom Rush? Yeah, Kingdom Rush, exactly. Exactly, Kingdom Rush. I I, I was thinking about playing Kingdom Rush uh, for the channel. Because I don't think like any indie game YouTuber has covered it. I mean, may, maybe Retro Wonder did, but I never realized. Because, you know, I'm not watching every single one of the videos. I am watching a lot, but still not everyone. Everyone, everything. So I was like, you know what? Kingdom Rush is a nice game that nobody played, uh, like, recently. And it's like a five videos game. Like, within five videos, maybe maybe ten, maybe ten, the game should be pretty much beaten. And uh, that's like a little thing I could do. Never heard of any of those games. Can you explain one? Uh, the Rogue Soul Nevermore thing is... Um, is you farm up it's an rpg you just farm up your character with mini games that are skill based like you have to click some things on the screen or you have to block some things that are coming in once again with mouse and keyboard and stuff and then when you power up your stats you just go ahead and just destroy everybody it's a turn-based combat game so you just click buttons and it attacks and then opponents also attack you on their turn and that's that game uh, i have played in the channel it's like I have a playlist of five videos, six videos. It's just me playing the game and then beating it. You can just go and watch that. Uh, Kingdom uh, Kingdom Rush is a tower defense, straight up. It's one of the most prominent tower defenses that shaped up a bunch of games. If you have seen a game, if you have seen any game, a tower defense game, where you can place your towers in only specific spots. Like, when I mean specific spots, I mean there are only like five or six spots on the map. Instead of being, uh, you know, instead of the whole map being uh, spots that you could put the towers on, it's only five or six very specific spots. And you also, like, put out units that defend the road and stuff. If the game you play is anything related to that, then it's a copy from Kingdom Rush. Like, Kingdom Rush is the game that made that be a, a tower defense mechanic. Uh, like, just, there is a wave here, and you can put a tower here, here, and here, and that's it. Like, these type of tower defenses are from that game. Hey, Sift, how old are you? Um, I think I'm 30. This might sound a meme, and it is a meme, and it's also what I'm saying to my real human uh, friends, too. I think I'm 30, but because my, uh, because my birthday cake uh, last year did not have candles on it, I'm not exactly sure if I am 30 or not. <laughs> do you think you're going to try any VR games? For the channel, I'm not exactly sure. I do have VR, I could do that, but I'm not sure if I want to do VR for the channel. And I also don't know how to record, and how to do a good recording on them, and then also how to do a bunch of things with VR, so uh, not really. Also, the games I'm playing on VR are definitely more, um, what is it called? I guess exercise oriented. I'm playing like the, cli climb, cl the climb 2, I'm playing uh, the dance game where the, the, the beat, not the beat saber, the other one. And the box, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter really. Although it might take 50 floors or 200 floors, we have no idea. I don't know what you're answering, PVZ is one I think. Uh, PVZ is not a tower defense. It is a tower defense, but uh, it's like a lane defense. Uh, PVZ is lane defense, I think. And also, uh, no, PVZ is not uh, has not to do with Kingdom Rush. I played Kingdom Rush exactly. Play balloons tower defense. I, I don't like balloons. Balloons for some reason it's the aesthetics. It's the theming. I I don't enjoy the theming. I don't know. I don't know what it is. People are swearing for it. People are saying it's awesome. Play the game. Play the game. Balloons is insane. Everybody loves it, but. 
I don't know. Uh, the theme puts me off. It's not like I believe the game is bad or anything. Just I'm seeing it and I'm like, I could play Kingdom Rush. If I'm going to play balloons, might as well play something I enjoy more, you know. Uh, do you have a wife? I said that. No, uh, I'm not married. In general, I, I'm not even sure if I'm ever going to marry. It's uh, it doesn't really matter, honestly speaking. And now everybody's be like, what? Sif thinks about not marrying? What? We're going we're, we're gonna to stop watching Sif now. <laughs> Let's go on. I never got into roguelike games till I started to watch your channel. Now I find myself interested, invested too many hours into them. Man, honestly, that's the case for me too. Like, I was not playing roguelike games either. I was only always like, you know, back in the day I was a person that was like, I, I don't know. I think, I think around when Witcher 3 launched, I think around there was the point where I stopped caring about AAA games and became more of a roguelike game. Because I remember definitely listening to everybody say that Witcher 3 is insane and awesome and all that, which it might be, right? I have never played it. But um, I remember uh, I remember thinking that that was like the time period in my life where I was like, I, I don't want to play a game in the last 50 hours that has... Uh, the whole story behind it and you have to go and grind and you go and have to read the what the enemies do and you have to you know brew and you have a million mechanics no i want just a simple game that i can finish in an hour just have my fun that child just have my run just enjoy what i'm doing and then just just close the game and be done with it i don't want something that's gonna hook my life obviously these things obviously hook your life too because you can obviously play this thing for 50 hours too but i mean i don't want something that for me to get the full experience, I have to invest 50 hours. Because let's be honest, if you play Witcher 3 for 3 hours and then never ever ever play it again, there is a good chance that that 3 hours is not going to be an awesome experience. And that number might even be 5 hours, right? You might play the game 5 hours or 10 hours and still, because you didn't get all the game, like because you didn't actually play the game for enough time, you have not seen the game, right? That's the problem with AAA games in my mind. I want to play a game, have fun, and then if I get burned out, I stop. If I have more fun, I just have more fun. Because at the end of the day, Yes, you might enjoy the story. Yes, you might enjoy mechanics. Yes, you might enjoy A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever you want to join in a AAA game. Yes, I do agree with that. But I just want to have fun. Like, I'm playing games to have fun. I don't need to have a million systems uh, in the back. By the way, we got King Cle Queen Cleaver. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Although I still believe that uh, Chef Sats more. So now we're gonna go ahead and see if the king, the queen cleaver adds a bunch. So, two bucks, uh, two euros from Kyle Liner say, whoop, 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 female sift simp rejoice. Female sift simps rejoice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> because I might not get married? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's a... Uh, is that a thing? Is a sift simps a thing? Female sift simps a thing? Like, analytics say that I have like 3%... Wait a minute. Yeah, if I put the numbers down, then yeah, that is a... Nah, that, whatever, it does not matter. I'm not going to touch upon that. If it is a thing, it's going to be in the back in the back of my mind. I'm not going to really think about it. <laughs> Rejoice, everybody. We tried it. doesn't work. The animations of the clean... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to read whatever I can see, plus whatever members read, because... I'm sorry for the non-members, but to be a bit fair to the members, I'm trying to read what they're saying, you know, if it's gonna be a chat stream. But still, I'm trying to also read whatever else I see. Picked up my first somewhat normal single-player game yesterday for the first time in a long time. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. It's one that you do like a few hours at a time and have fun. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the thing, that's the thing. Because people might think like indie games. Ah, it's gonna be Backpack Hero and Vampire Survivors and Peglin. No, man. You can also play Stanley Parable. Like, I'm just saying that... The AAA games, the huge games, the, 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 what is it called? The God of War and Assassin's Creed and, uh, you know, everything that is definitely 50 hours, you know, of playtime. Maybe not 50 hours, you know, 20 hours plus, okay? All these games, I say they are awesome for people that do enjoy them and play them, but for people that want to play for two or three hours and then also have a very high possibility of literally dropping the game forever, those games are not for them. Like, those games are not for me. I'm a person that might actually play a game for 10 hours and then just never, ever, ever play them again because I am more excited about seeing new things and new mechanics and awesome ideas and unique stuff than just getting through a story. Like, I don't care about the story. I really don't care about the story. If I want to see a game, like, do you know how I've played which 
Witcher 1 and Witcher 2. I have just watched uh, jo jo Joan Anderson or something. There is like a YouTuber that uh, uploads like four and six hour videos that just goes through the whole game from start to finish. That's how I quote unquote play Witcher. I can't, I, I, I don't want to invest all my time into that. And the, and the, and the worst part is because I'm a min maxer, it's um, it's even worse because when you want to min max, you always have to keep in mind what's the best item, what's the best build, what's the best this, what's the best that. I'm gonna use this spell. Am I gonna use this? What challenge? What quest should I complete? What? Uh, where should I go? Like what else is missing? Like do you know how bad it was when I was playing Skyrim? Man, I on Skyrim I was like, oh man, I gotta go over there to do those quest lines, and then oh man, I gotta go over here now, and then I got the DLC and I was like, poo, now I gotta go to these quests, and like it was so much job because my min maxing goes above my uh, normal reasoning of you don't need to do that anymore. So it, it's like it's not for me, man. It's really not for me. But I, I had fun being an archer and sniping people from fifty thousand miles away. Nothing changes, Angus. The top queen doesn't get activated. Ah, yeah, sorry. Whoopsie. Let's go here. Now it does get activated. <laughs> let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay, let's see the difference in damage this time correctly. And let's go. So we're gonna wait for one attack and we're gonna read here. If did you play Elden Ring? No, I did not. Triple A can be a movie and a roguelike is a podcast. Eh, not exactly. Not exactly. Tri you know what Triple A is? Triple A is a movie. Triple A is the trilogy of Lord of the Rings. But with the risk of you not only watching only the first movie, no, no, no. With the risk of you only watching... Oh, by the way, this Queen Cleaver added about 130 damage. So that means the another Chef's Hat's gonna be more, because the Chef's Hat's gonna add about 500 more damage. So we have proof, definitive proof, that one more Queen, Cle Queen Cleaver does not add more than one more Chef's Hat. So let's continue. Um, so yeah, uh, AAA games are not uh, watching a movie instead of watching, you know... You know what? The difference is not that. It's AAA games is watching a trilogy of movies and it might be awesome. Yes, Lord of the Rings, if you watch it from start to finish, awesome. Star Wars, start to finish, awesome. If, if you like, uh, I mean like the first trilogies and stuff. Uh, you know, you, you can do these. Or even if you like Twilight, okay? I, I mean, I don't care. I don't judge anybody. Uh, you watch it from start to finish, awesome. But there is the risk that if you watch, do you think it's gonna be awesome if you're gonna watch the Lord of the Rings, not only the first movie, but only the first hour? Like, do you think it's gonna be awesome if you're gonna watch only one or two hours from Lord of the Rings and then not not ever, ever, ever watching the rest of it? Like, you're just, I don't have time for this and I'm just not watching it? Well, guess what? AAA games do the same thing, but instead of taking nine hours for you to complete it, they're gonna take you like 30. So there is a good chance you're gonna play for five hours and then you're never, ever, ever gonna play it again. Unless you are invested into the story and stuff, which I am never. While uh, while the, the rogue, like the, what are they called, the indie games, they're like a series. They're as if you're watching an anime episode, 20 minutes. You can watch it, and if you don't enjoy it after the first episode or the second episode, well, you got a good feeling for what the anime actually is. And then you can stop it because you didn't like it. But those two episodes, you saw them, they are like complete in your mind, right? Um, or um, or you can watch like two or three, just two or three, you know, episodes of something, you know, a series on Netflix or whatever. You know, th that is a big difference. It's it's more logical to me to uh, play something for two or three hours, but get a complete experience, right? I prefer doing a full run, uh, two or three full runs of Backpack Hero and then never ever playing it again because I didn't like it or because I don't have time, than playing three or four hours of... Um, oy, 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 oy. Uh, let's, uh, let's not take the curse. It's gonna be like 300 damage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Uh, then, uh, you know, then playing five hours of Elden Ring or, you know, I don't know, anything that is a AAA game. And then, like, being, you know what? I don't enjoy Elden Ring because I was playing for five hours and it, it wasn't really for me. And then they're like, five hours? Man, so you didn't beat the game? Or, man... You didn't even get a full build going. What do you mean five hours? You didn't play the game. You, bro, I didn't like the game for five hours. I'm not going to play for another 20, you know? That's the thing with all the AAA games. Uh, especially when you don't care about the story. Man, maybe I should play a AAA game one day and this is going to change like my whole aspect and opinion on this whole thing. <laughs> you shouldn't activate your setup with a bad placement random fight. Yeah, no. Um, can you move duct tape to make you do... No. Uh, why does everybody want things to go faster? Guys, chill. Chill chill by moving the duct tapes around and making everything go faster there is a risk that i will just straight up die at some point i, I don't want to risk it and i don't really care about it either like guys we're gonna request from the devs to make the animations faster we don't need to do anything <laughs> and ring was so good i love it I, 
I do believe it, okay? People that enjoy AAA games, I, I never say that the games are bad. I'm just saying that the games are not for me. That, that's what I'm saying. That's like my whole uh, crux of the argument here. Uh, have you ever played Undertale? No, for the same reason. I swear to God, I swear to God, I played Undertale because I was like, you know what, everybody's playing it, let's play it and see what it is, okay? That was on my free time without, before I had the YouTube channel. I played Undertale, okay? I went up to the skeleton area, the frost area or whatever, and um, yeah, I just stopped playing. I, I closed the game because I was done for the day, you know? I was uh, okay, man, that's enough. I played already for two hours. And then I was like, I never opened the game again, ever. Like, I, it, it, it didn't excite me. It, it didn't have the I want to play this again feeling. Like, I, I never felt that, okay, I want to continue what I was doing. No, it, it was just like, what, that's it? That's the game. And then obviously I do realize that, Yosef, are you stupid? Undertale is an awesome game because you have to play it from start to finish to see the story, to see the characters, to see the interactions, to see the weird fights, to see the mechanics that are interchangeable, you know, to get the feeling for the game. That's the awesome part of Undertale. And then the whole aspect of, you know, saving the game and, you know, all, all that weird mechanics that it has. Yeah, yeah, I do get it. But I, it doesn't pull me in. Those are not things that I care about. Like the story and quirky characters and all that, I don't care about that. I care about that when I'm watching a series or a movie or something, but I don't care about that when I'm playing a game. When I'm playing a game, because I'm a min-maxer first and everything sync second, I only care about the mechanics. And if the game is like, choose one of the four buttons, press the button, it does damage, press the other button and it uh, it makes the opponent uh, actually be happy and uh, it ends the fight in a, in a pacifist way. Like, I don't care about that. that, that that's unimportant to me. The game is a very simple bullet dodger slash uh, turn-based combat game. Like, I don't care about a game like that. Wow, you're still going? Sorry for the slow animations. Yeah, it's very slow. I feel like I'm being enlightened when I listen to you. <laughs> Sif genocide or survival? Honestly, I would go genocide. But the reason is not because I'm mad or something like that. The only reason, like, everything ties back to min-maxing. I do not want to go ahead and uh, read every single aspect of how exactly to uh, get the pacifism run because you have to pet this dog and then you have to give this guy a bow and then that. You have to do this and then you have to do that and then you have to do that. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to deal with it. That's, like, the only reason why I would go genocide because I don't want to read up a guide. I don't want to read up a thing and I also don't want to experiment. I don't want to try to use this and this and this to see if it works no i just i no it's just straight that's not me especially when it's like when there is an easier way whoop and uh the bot yep night bot is killing the other bots yep night bot is actually combating the other bots although on the live stream that is not a thing but on the on in the chat it is a thing <laughs> let's read what you guys are saying for the people who played Undertale, it's made a very good counterpoint to genocide. He's made. <laughs> um, let's read. Min Maxers United South. <laughs> Sif, did you play or know about Hollow Knight? Yeah, Hollow Knight is uh, once again one of those games that uh, has a whole story behind it, and it's a bit too much for me. I forgot where that's my problem. <laughs> Sift out of context. <laughs> Peace for a thousand, take the bomb relic and go out with a bang. No, no, no. We're gonna die from opponents surviving. We will never... I will never suicide this run on, on purpose. Rising Dusk X joins as a dragonling. Hello. Dragon! Actually joins as a dragon. Let's go. That's the third tier. Right? Isn't it dragonling? Uh, we're not... Dragonling, wyvern. And then it's dragon... Elder dragon and silver elder dragon. Welcome as a dragon, Rising Dusk X. Let's go. I'm a bot, do something. <laughs> Epic bot battle. Sift, you have 10 energy. How will you lose if you move duct tape? <laughs> chill, chill. I just turned in. What's the one turn damage now? The one turn damage is more than 300,000, but we don't know the exact number because uh, because nothing has more than 3,000 life and we have not seen something survive. So we, we don't know. <laughs> we do not know what the one turn damage is. I love dragons. I've worked with the dragon theme marks. Uh, by the way, like silver fly, like <laughs> sift means the, the D of sift means dragon. So um, yeah, my, my, my icon is. My, my icon is completely relevant to my name. Like, the icon I'm using, I don't know how it got stuck, but now it is what it is. Now, now the icon it is what it is, and it's never gonna change, but the, 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 the name is uh, dragon-related. I would love a test dummy just to see how true the max damage... Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. 
That would actually imagine if there was like an event that says that said test dummy. It has like infinite life, and uh, you just go to the event and it's like, do you want to attack the test dummy uh, and see how much damage you can do? Something like that. And if you go yes and then just attack it, then it gives you rewards based on how much damage you did with a cap, right? With a cap, it would be something like if you somehow do a thousand damage to it, it gives you hundred gold, you know, and that's it. S something like that. Because in the normal game, you don't really easily do a thousand damage with in one turn. You do that damage, don't get me wrong, maybe it gives you 50 gold. Maybe it could be at 10,000 damage, it gives you 100 gold. Yeah, for, for like every 100 damage you can do to it, it gives you 1 gold or something like that. Although 100 damage is also not easy in the vanilla game, so... Ah, I don't know. They could do an event like that, though. The D out of context. <laughs> they have Silver Flying Dragon, yeah, exactly. That is actually right. Sift predictions from Loop Hero, chat come true. People asking what Sift means. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm black. Oh, I'm black magic is back. I remember you. <laughs> I remember I'm black magic, man. Back good old loop hero days. I remember you uh, <laughs> with a happy face. Yeah, but back in the day, I was. Uh, do you remember that I was saying that I should make Sift a meme and I should always explain like Grand Pooh Bear? I should also always uh, make a meme how I got the Sift name and I could be like, uh, Sift means. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sadness is uh, forever drowning or something like that, you know, because back in the day when I was 15 I thought that uh, the sadness I had in my soul was uh, drowning me and uh, Therefore I just put like those numbers together and uh, those letters together and decided that that's my name You know something like that I, I was thinking about trying to do a meme out of it and all this try to find a different meaning for those four letters but um, Somewhere along the line that plan got completely abandoned and uh, just like that, now we actually everybody knows the name. Europe <laughs> V, how is your day? My name is fine as always. Now that you said how's your day, let's also drink some water. Everybody, let's go, let's go water drinking. Does the S mean silver? The C means silver. <laughs> the C is silver. Because otherwise the name would be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. I also, in some games, I had like a friend of me change his nickname into Goft or uh, just so we have like the whole uh, arsenal of colors in the run. But the, the, the joke is that it was only an inside joke because no, like, imagine we are like, ho ho ho, our names are Sift for Silver Flying Dragon, Goft for Golden Flying Dragon, Brift for Bronze Flying Dragon. And the, the opponents are like, Sift, Goft, Brift. Uh, guys, I think we're playing with bots. <laughs> I think the opponents are bots. <laughs> like, cheers, toast. Water check. Let's go. Water check. I'm drinking water right now. Let's go, everybody. Drink water. Uh, does the uh, yeah doesn't test yesterday? First time I'm catching you live. Nice to see you, Kappa. Why Kappa though? <laughs> it's I'm, I'm fine though. I'm fine. <laughs> Silver, Ilver, Flag <laughs> So, oh, edgy. Oh, yeah, super edgy. Actually, let's change the chat into top uh, live chat because I had it into top chat. I don't know how exactly top chat even works, but now we are back to live chat, so I should be able to read everything faster, I guess. Is this the rare item of the same type? Yep, that's pretty useless. Let's continue. He counts as water, right? I think it does. I think it does. I'm not sure though. Is there anybody here that actually has factual data on this? Like, uh, does tea count as water for the prospects of actually hydrating? We found another queen cleaver. Did we say that we're gonna throw anything away? I think we said we're gonna throw away the money, but uh, no, actually we decided that the money is useful for max health. No, we only care about more uh, chef's hats. Yeah, we don't care about the queen cleaver. Let's continue. Maybe Sift is not human and we would save it. Maybe. My uh, my uh, six months old my six months old uh, plan of getting a huge YouTube channel and controlling a bunch of people throughout uh, robotics and stuff is actually working out. Mm, ah, 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 ah. Actually, let me make the laugh better. Let's continue. This game has one more broken. Yeah. What the time at Greek right now? Time at Greece is 8 p.m. Silver Fire Dragon. Ah, fair enough. I could have been Silver Fire Dragon, but it's Flying Dragon. Yes. He is Leaf Water, so yes, it's water. Yeah, but it, does it actually work for specifically the human, uh, like, does the, does the effect, does the fact that you're adding a substance to the water make it so that it hydrates you less? That is the question. 
Of course it does. Have you tried making tea with orange juice, man? <laughs> no, no, obviously not. But, uh, you know, Coke is also uh, a liquid and, uh, you know, but it still is not exactly for making your hydration better, you know? Because, like, if, if the leaf you are using adds sugar and stuff to the water, then it might not be good for it, you know? Silver Flying Dragon, just a meme name. <laughs> it is a meme name. Yeah, everything is related to memes in this channel. Internet domination. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, don't throw away the money. You need to get max HP. Exactly. Caffeine is tea dehydrates. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. That's what I meant. You see? That's what I meant. Saddam coming in here with the data. I told you, just because it's water plus a substance does not mean that it's water plus a substance. No, that is not that is not how things work. It might be true, but the substance itself might be counterproductive to what you want to achieve with the water. Favorite item back right hero. Uh, I would say the little bakla. I mean, I don't know. Favorite item. I, I like the archery. Mm, uh, until more items gets added, I, I don't know. Coke is also still water. Yep, also not true. <laughs> Just watch the YouTube video. Wow and wow. I'm glad you did. And uh, yeah, we, we have gotten to a crazy point. It's decaf the same as water. If it's decaf... I don't know. Just watch the... Okay, I'm reading the same thing again again. Let's attack, please. What up, dead? Uh, guys, water is water. Yes, it is, but... Like, let me say it in a different way so that everybody gets it with one very, very simple example. First of all, let me read the super chat. I'll be playing AU Senki Gold while I have your stream on my phone playing in the background. Ask the culture chat what the game it, what game it is. I yeah, I already read it, and so theoretically the question has been asked sideways by you. There's still there's still the caffeinated tea. They never specified. Okay, let me let me say uh, let me explain to you with a very very simple example why adding water plus a substance that you don't exactly know what's behind it. Uh, might not actually uh, hydrate you just because it's water, okay? Do you think that if you add a t two tablespoons of sal salt into water, it's gonna dehydrate you? Like, d d it's gonna hydrate you? Like, do you think just just because it's water plus salt? Oh, it's still water though. Salt doesn't matter. No, ho -ho, it's still gonna hydrate you. No. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? So that's why I asked, does the tea, you know, and every substance that the tea has inside of it, Maybe it's dehydrates you, right? That's why you, you 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 don't you don't have to get stuck on the, upon the fact that it's water. You have to realize that the fact that you're adding something to it might change it. It's it's chemistry. It's not simple logic. It is chemistry. Chemistry does not work like water plus X is water plus X. No, water plus X might become Z, and Z might be deadly. You know, <laughs> like it's it's not the same thing. Very cool subject. I'm happy you enjoy it. Let's continue. Yes, water plus bleach. Exactly, exactly. Like, oh, it's still water plus bleach. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. There's so many examples. Continue. Let's go and see. Whoop. He has 325k. Let's go. This guy is gonna test. Are you gonna survive? Do we do more than 325k damage? I think it's rookie numbers, by the way. Rookie numbers, man. 325k. Is it gonna be more than enough? He's like, I'm, I'm glitching! I'm glitching! Shift! Shift! What are you doing to me? Oh, he's dead. Ta -da 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 -da. And we still are going. So we're doing more than 230 damage. <laughs> 230,000. Whoops! Right, let's go continue on this. Let's go. <laughs> we need more chefs at. It's technically physics between. Is it? Is it physics? Is, is chemistry physics? Is it like... It might be. I don't think it is. Like th this is like a really practical question. This is like a real question that has a, a, a yes or no answer. Like there is no in between. So is mixing uh, water with salt physics or chemistry? I think it's chemistry. <laughs> you added damage since the last time. Still won't be able to. Check. We will never know. 325 rookie numbers exactly. So if, do you want to cook? No. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, if you live in a country that is above the Pacific Ocean and uh, there are no rules there and, uh, like, it's literally not illegal, I mean, still no, because it's extremely deadly and, like, not even once. So, yeah, I, I would still stick to no. <laughs> Chemistry is just physics on a molecular scale. That 
um, is not how you should differentiate things that are different between them. <laughs> because uh, if you start this chain reaction, then you could also say, well, chemistry is, m well, physics is maths, but applied on real world, wor in the real world uh, circumstances. Like, <laughs> you can just spin this around however you want. Therefore, chemistry is math. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> everything is technically physics, yeah, or everything is technically maths, or everything's technically whatever. It has both a bit of chemistry and physics. Is this the final build? 15% physics, 85% chemistry. Ah, maybe. Everything is technically... It's next band. Oh, Cloud Vox, the mod is here. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why I'm doing the... I guess I'm doing John Cena just because the opening, like somebody joined. My sister wants to date you. Well, she hasn't even seen me, so... I'm definitely not happening. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen her either. So, What's exactly... Wait, that's exactly what it is, Sift. That's exactly what physics is, Sift. Do you want to... Be? Yeah, but... Okay. Okay. So, I'm saying... L let me let me explain how this argument went. Because, yes, obviously physics is math-based... Uh, math... Uh, math applied to real-life uh, circumstances. Yes, but let me... Let me actually... You, you have to get the context behind how that sentence got formed by my mouth. Okay? So, I said... If... I said that chemistry... Uh, like mixing water is chemistry and then somebody came along and said it's physics and then I s and then the explanation for why that is is because chemistry is physics and then I said yeah but physics is math well then that means that if you say for example um I don't know uh, th th the new th Newton's third law is physics and I'm gonna come along and say basically it's math like, no, it's it's straight up no, man, you're missing the point. You know, obviously physics is math based on the real life, but that's why we use the word physics. You can't use the word math for something that has a word that means something, right? Like, you can't say that physics is actually math on the real world and then therefore say that physics is math because it's not. It's physics. Physics does include the fact of the real life aspect. King Cleaver. Mm, mm, I don't need it. I don't, I really don't need it. 409, I don't think I need it. Like, in general, I need more chef's hats. So, we already have proof that we need something else. Let's go. Is water wet? <laughs> don't ask a question. Is water wet? Math is math. See, you went, by the way, maybe I should have, should I have gotten the cleaver? I don't know, man. I could, I mean, I don't want to throw away the chef's hat. If anything, I want to throw away the clean cleaver, the queen cleaver. Well, the main problem is we still do not know exactly how many attacks we do. Or is not wet. You didn't need it. C went to your hose, so can tell everyone your address. C went to your house, so she can tell everyone your address. What? I don't think anybody. I'm not gonna say what I was about to say. Do you want to build a snowman? Da -da 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 -da. Snowman, man. I really love skiing. Honestly speaking, I'm I'm really waiting for the next. Um, for the next... Oh, let's see what we got. Golden redstone. Dun, 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 dun. Let's continue. No, but... What? No! I thought very right is always right. No! <laughs> Math come first. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying ski, by the way. That's something we could do all together. We could, uh, next, next the winter, we can all go join Greece for skiing. By the way, I realize that skiing in Greece is extremely cheap, but we also have very small, um, like, pis pistas? Pistes? Pistes? I, I don't know how exactly it's called. Snow? Snow is pist? I'm not exactly sure how it's called in English, like how it's, um, you know, uh, the accent on the word. But, at the same time, the ghost of Rachel lands of... <laughs> Cloud Vox, please don't um, Cloud Vox, please don't make the chat go into specific directions of what they are supposed to do. Slopes, peace slopes. Yeah, sleeps or peace. Yeah, exactly. Peace resort slopes. Yeah, we don't have big peace slopes, but skiing with Sif new series. Let's go. I mean, if you guys want to join me in about seven months, eight months, I guess, and if you happen to be in Greece, but still, I don't think we have like insanely big peace slopes, like. I think most of our slopes have uh, six, seven slopes, like eight, maybe eight. You know, uh, it has like one black, maybe two blacks, then uh, two, two or three blues, one or two reds, 
one green, and that's it pretty much. Like, that's almost all of our ski resorts. How does the setup work? Um, you hit the you hit the buckler, the buckler hits the cleavers, the cleavers hit the the duct tape, the duct tape hit everything. Add it two hours. I'm gonna do an ad after the boss, I guess. How many chairlifts? How many chairlifts? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, one chairlift and two uh, of those that draw draw you from below, like the the little plate thingies, you know, the plates. So it's one one lift. The one I'm going at, right, is one big lift that lasts about 10 minutes so that it brings you to the very top. And then there are two uh, little platelets. They each last about five minutes to bring you to their respective top. So that's literally three lifts, okay? Uh, that's it. That's the whole piece. You, there are no others. Like, it's literally three. And uh, if you go down the full length of the black one, it should take you about... I mean, it doesn't start with a black one. It starts, like, with a blue one, a red one, actually, and then you go to the black one. That would last about, I don't know, if you are skiing fast, five minutes. M maybe seven, maybe, if you do the whole stage. Now, if you do the green stage, because the green stage, like, zigzags through the whole uh, mountain, it's like... It takes you like 15 to 20 minutes to go down the slope and then it takes you like another 20 minutes to go very to the very top again so it's very it's very slow it's it's a very small piece so uh, i mean if you're a skier and actually want to see what i'm exactly explaining the the one i'm going at is called elatohori so El Ilatohori, I guess, or Elatohori, whatever you read, and you can go and see the, the the piece. By the way, I think either YouTube bugged out or about 200 people left, I guess because of whatever random thing. I, oh no, the, the YouTube bugged out. Okay, I got it, I got it. YouTube bugged out. Man, it's really, it's, it's really anxious inducing when you look over at the metrics and it's like 150 people in chat and I'm like, what? How did that happen? But no, it's actually 450 something. So, yeah. But suppose I'll go have 3D attempts to rebuild. Have a fun time. Yeah, but let's continue. Um, one or two black sounds like golden dawn implement the pride point. But, 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 but. I'm gonna end the ski discussion here until the, you know, until something else comes. Um, the But it costs very cheap. It's very, 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 very cheap to go skiing on Greece. You know how much a daily pass costs? 15 bucks. 15 bucks for a daily pass okay and if you're with family friends and family you just go over there to the to the cashier and if you're four people you just say uh, I, I we are a family of four and they uh, then you, they give you four tickets for 35 bucks so it's less than 10 less than 10 bucks if you are four people it's less than 10 bucks per person to buy a day pass for everything like the whole stage renting uh, renting skis plus the boots is 15 bucks renting snowboards plus the boots is 20 bucks it's extremely cheap to go skiing in greece i mean for greek people it's not extremely cheap just so you guys know it's not very cheap for us because i mean giving uh, 35 to 40 bucks and if you even eat at the salet and drink like a hot cocoa or you know a coffee or something it's gonna be like 50 bucks you're gonna go to a ski resort and you're gonna give 50 bucks it's not very cheap for greece okay with the minimum wage being about 650 to 700 50 bucks for a ski thing is is not cheap but for anybody else in the world it's pretty cheap <laughs> and you can keep on ranting lol what you just said you were going to drop it are you what? In no Austria, it's fixed. What? Chill, man. You're talking about. Are you talking to me, Oscar? Are you talking to me? I'm not ranting. Ranting. I'm just talking about skiing. I'm just chilling, talking about whatever. Bro, the ski resort. My family goes to California. 181 take. Exactly. Exactly. When when I, I I was like I wanted to go skiing. By the way, what happened? How did this guy survive with a bit? What happened? How did that guy survive? What did I click? How did that guy survive? Bond this guy. Or did the attack does not go through? The right cost like 3D for just the pass, if not more. Yeah, exactly. I was I was searching up to go to Germany or uh, France or I was searching like like in Google uh, best ski resorts to go to or something like that. You know, I wanted to go somewhere in Europe to go to a big huge ski resort that has like 20 lifts. You take a lift, it takes you. It's like closed up. It takes it takes 20 or 30 minutes to bring you up to the mountain, and then uh, you know you go down the piece, and it takes you like 30 minutes to go down. I wanted to go to like a ski resort like that. And uh, I went up and saw the prices, and it's like 120 bucks just for a daily pass. Uh, rent renting skis, 100 bucks per ski pair. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> are you serious? Over here in Greece, it's like, uh, with 50 bucks, I can get the daily pass, rent ski, rent boots, and on top of all that, also eat and drink with only 50 bucks. And you're like 130 just to get the pass. 
Like, no, thank I mean, I'm gonna go do it at some point, but not right now. Four valets is like 250 bucks. What? <laughs> 250 bucks? <laughs> Listen up, like, you go to the ski resort and the first thing they tell you is, you want a daily pass? Okay, 250. What? <laughs> like, no way, man. No, like, if that was in Greece, it would be dead. Like, nobody would ever go to that. Like, 250 just to enter the... just to start skiing, you know? I, I can tell you something. When you say over here in Greece that you can buy, uh, like, people here in Greece are searching for cheap... Uh, what is it called? Like, when we want to buy, for example, um, what is it called? Uh, a pant, you know, ski pants. Or when we want to buy, I don't know, ski boots. I'm telling them that the ski boots that I bought costed like 250 and they're like, oh man, they cost a lot. And now you're telling me 250 to get a daily ticket? <laughs> like, all, of, no, none of my friends have boots, none of my friends have skis, none of my friends have uh, helmets, like, and they, they just have the pants and the, the jacket. Like, the two most useful things, the pants and the jacket. And they, they paid like 100 for those two, and it's like... Man, it's expensive. Now, I, I need to gather money to get those 250 boots. And you're talking to me about <laughs> tickets costing 200. Like, imagine. imagine. I'm imagining, like, everybody outside of Greece has uh, has bought their own uh, ski pairs and boots and everything. Because, like, if you're gonna pay 250 to go to a ski resort, might as well pay another 250 to get your skis and have them. The resort I work at is, like, 75 a day. We'll let you eat and drink and ski. But in Aspen, right down the road, it's 200 a day for a pass only. Wow. Are you a free rider? No, I'm a, I'm, I'm doing everything the way I'm also being in real life. I'm a chill person. You know how I am skiing? I'm skiing, in my opinion, the, I, I, th this is the style I like. First of all, I obviously have some times where I want to do like real skiing and go over to the blue and red stage. By the way, I'm not going black stage. I'm not that good. I have gone to a ski resort like about 10 times in my life. I just am full on invested in it. I'm full super hyped on it. So how I am skiing is... Once in a while, yes, I do go to the blue stay array. Uh, I go to the, to the red one. Yeah, I, I try doing skiing. Yeah, I dabble in it. But what I actually do most of the time is I, me, and my friends, we all go to the green one and we chill, right? In Elatohori specifically, the place where I'm going, the green one is like a zigzag stage that goes through the whole uh, mountain. And it takes you about 20 minutes to go through the whole stage. Uh, and you don't need to slow down, you don't need to um, try to, like, the, the stage goes very slowly no matter what you do. If anything, you should never ever slow down that stage because you will just get stuck. So we just go there, we are in, with the same speed, we move with, I don't know, 5 miles per hour, 2 miles per hour, we almost are borderline not moving. And then we're just straight up, okay, we're gonna just talk. And we just chill, you know? We are sliding slowly down the slope and just talking, you know? Just discussing about opinions, just just, just talking. We don't even care about the ski. We just have everything around us. The air is hitting us in the face. We are, you know, a company of three friends, four friends, two friends, you know, depending on where the others are. And you just talk, you know? You just discuss about things. You, you just have a time out. You're like, do you wanna go and dr uh, have a cup of coffee? To talk, I ha it has been a few days to talk, man. What, what, do you want to do anything? Yeah, let's go skiing. And then you go skiing, and for three or four hours, you just talk with your friend. You know, you go the skiing down with two miles per hour. You just discuss about opinions. Once in a while, you take the lift. You continue talking on the lift. And then you go down again. And then you just repeat, rinse and repeat. Just chill. Chill the whole discussion, like all the time chill. Who cares about actually learning to ski? Just having fun. Never went skiing, so I'm just kind of vibing with the explanations. I'm happy. I'm happy, I hope you guys do vibe, but it's very, like, the way I'm skiing, like, this is also how I'm bringing everybody into skiing, like, I'm always explaining, it's gonna take you about one to two hours to learn the very basics, like, how to turn and how to stop, and that's pretty much it, and we will never ever go to a hard stage, we're just gonna go to the green stage, we're gonna just slide down slowly, and we're gonna just talk with each other, and that's it, and that's how everybody has gone with me skiing and had fun, like, everybody's like, oh man, I, I feel like I've learned skiing, and I'm like, no, you didn't actually learn how to ski exactly, but you can slide down the green stage, and just talk with us and have fun you know it's just a nice experience and up to this point nobody has ever been like i did not enjoy the experience everybody has been like yeah that is actually very chill and nice i really enjoy it it's uh it's it's a very nice thing uh, let's see dead tool dropped a 20 bucks super chat let's see if the sift mute for one minute works mid story
Okay, this time I was watching the timer. Oh, we got one. This time I was, I was watching the timer, but I think this time I did it fairly because the last time I think I skipped the timer a bit. Sorry for everybody that was uh, that just joined. <laughs> but I'm going to heal sound effect. Let's go. <laughs> this is still going. Uh, silent moment. I hope I didn't uh, destroy your ears in case you increase the, the game speaking. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> I just put up. Did you do this legit or did you mod this? No, this is legit. Uh, other than, other than, I have repeated this a bunch of times. Other than the fact that in the very, very first three boss fights, I decided which relics I'm gonna pick, which once again is pretty much irrelevant because at the end of the day I have fought like a thousand bosses, so I I could have gotten the relics at the end of the day. But yeah, other than the first two three fights where I made sure that I pick up the you know the cleansing flame so that I don't die, and also made sure that I pick up the belt of knife so my damage skyrockets. Other than that, two times after that it was pretty legit. I might also have done it for the shield thing, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's it's legit. It's legit. Like literally, other than the two two three four bosses that I just rerolled. It's legit. Stopwatch too good. Everything's too good. No worries. Just funny making streamers do things. <laughs> yeah. Same kiddo. I mean, the power of money, right? I have said this like a million times. I'm, I'm telling this to all my people and all my friends and everybody. Like, when, when they're like, I would never do this. And the never do this is something simple. Like, for example, man, a, a, a person, let's say somebody comes along and, and just tells you, man, how do people go to... How do people go and work for 20 hours per day uh, for, uh, for a whole month? How do people go to season work and, and work like 15 hours and then don't sleep and just all the time work, 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 work? And I'm just asking them, would you do it for 2,000 bucks? They're like, no. Would you do it for 4,000 bucks? No. Would you do it for 10,000 bucks? Uh, yes. Would you do it for 15,000 bucks? Like, you just have to raise the number. At some point, it's just gonna be a yes. Like, okay, there are some things that you will never, ever, ever do, okay? I do get that. Like, um, I don't know, may maybe... Pfft. Okay, I'm not gonna say what you're not ever, ever gonna do because most of the things are illegal. But, uh, I mean, yeah, you might not do illegal things for money. But if something is legal and, like, the only thing that you think is a problem... Like, like for example, you could be a, a, a garbage truck um, helper or something, you know? Uh, that, by the way, is also a job and is whoever is, it's fit. it's a job, you know, you need to live, you need to do a job, it is a job, okay? But you might say, you, on an average person, an average person, let's be real here, would say that they would not do that job, right? But, but, if that job gave you like 20,000k per month, or if it gave you 30,000k per month, or if it gave you 50,000 or 100,000k per month, oh yeah, you would do it, oh yeah, you would do it, you definitely would do it. So don't tell me that the job is a problem, it's always the money, like, people do things for money. It's not really that hard of a concept to grasp, and I don't think it's weird. Like, that is how reality works, that, that's how, how it goes, there, there is nothing weird about it, and we should just, you know, realize that. Won't milk a bull, but no matter the price. Yeah, exactly. I won't milk a bull, no matter the price. <laughs> I do illegal things for the right price. <laughs> you see, you see, that's exactly. There, there, therein comes the the whole aspect of um, what is it called? Uh, when you are okay with doing legal things. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Like maybe some people would. There's always a yes price. Exactly. There's always a yes price. Maybe some things, you know, maybe some things are not a yes price. You know, maybe somebody tells you, uh, would you break your uh, mother's uh, ankle for uh, a million dollars? You know, there would be different people that say yes. There would be different people that say no. Okay. But the number still can rise, right? The number can always rise. Would you break your mother's ankle for $20,000, $20 million? Would you break your mother's uh, ankle for $100 million? You know what? At some point, you will say yes, and then you will just get her and bring her to a hospital. You're just going to break the ankle, and then you're like, yo, mama, don't, uh, don't fret. I'm going to bring you to a hospital. I'm also going to give you like 10 million because I just made 50 million with what I did. Uh, and now you're going to get a house. I'm, I'm going to give you a house. I'm also going to buy you a car. You know, no matter what happens, at some point, the number of the money is going to be enough and more than what the downside of doing the job is. Jesus, 170 rage on first grade. <laughs> well, then sounds... Look. What? How does the duct tape make all cleavers activate more? Uh, because it makes all the cleavers connected and whatever hits the duct tape makes everything hit. True that, exactly. Well, it sounds like exactly everything. How's the damage? How does the uh, we read that garbage disposal work makes more money in Switzerland as teachers as well? Between, yeah, that's okay. Although teachers, I have to say, although teachers should get paid more, gar garbage disposal should also get paid more, honestly. Like, who's gonna do it? It's it's one of those jobs that uh, there was one of the two ways to, for it to happen. It, it would either be 
uh, nobody wants to do it. Therefore, the pay has to be very high. Or it would be uh, nobody's hiring these people. So only garbage disposal hires them. And uh, and obviously the second thing is happening. But in my opinion, it would mo be more fair that the first thing would happen, right? Like nobody wants to do the job. Therefore, it pays a lot. Uh, but that's like, I, I don't think that's what's actually happening. And because garbage disposal most of the time is like, um, what is it called? Is a... Uh, um, what is it called when the job is when the job is put out from the uh, from from the city? I guess it's a it's a city job. I, I I don't know from the government the government job. Yeah, it's a it's like it's a government job. So the government's not gonna be like nobody wants to do garbage disposal. Therefore, we're gonna give them a fifty k monthly income. No, like no, the government does not work like that. Love videos, my guy, and Jesus Christ, you run went in the same direction. Yep. Every duct tape is a king, queen, jack, chef, and hair gem at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Everything that is connected is connected to everything. Do you know how many things are connected to these, like... Uh, these duct tapes, right now, are connecting life regen, 200% uh, damage boost, and uh, belt of knives. Like, all of these things are connected. Like, belt of knives change into each other, this change into each other, this, these, everything change into each other. Completely read the wrong Nicholas Myers. Agreed, but that's sadly not how it works. Yeah, exactly. Teachers get benefits too, though. Like, whole summer so often. Yeah, exactly, that is true. Like, teachers have the best... Uh, I, a bunch of people over here in Greece say that becoming a teacher is one of the best jobs. Although it doesn't pay that much, um, you always know that you're gonna work for about six to eight hours. And then you also know that you always have like three months of vacation. Uh, um, three or two months of vacation, depending on exactly what you're teaching, right? If you're teaching, for example, um, universities, it might be even more vacation. If you are teaching, uh, I don't know, um, smaller children, it might be less. I, I, I have no idea, I, I, I have no idea. But in general, like, yes, teachers is always a, a job that is very sought after because of how the whole thing... Like, I think teachers don't even burn out. I'm not sure if teachers do burn out, but I think the way that the teacher work is happening, you might only burn out because of how bad or good the children are. So if the children are extremely bad and not easily handled, you might burn out. But if your class is good and behaved, if you're lucky, that is. Or if you just go into the seminar, you're like, if, if you're like a university teacher, you just go in there, you're like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk for about an hour and then I'm gonna just leave and I don't care about what they do. Then yeah, you're not gonna burn out, man. You're just gonna be like, I, I, I'm that, that's my life. I go there, I talk for two hours and then I go away and I take a, I, I take a big check and that's it. That's my life. I have a garbage collector job around me for 55k a year. 55k a year. That's, uh, I mean, I have no idea how much that is for, uh, for your salaries. They have summer off, some paid. Unpaid? No, it's, it's paid. Here in Greece, summer's off is paid. Uh, if, if, if you are, uh, if you are hired by the city, uh, by the, the government. If you are, if you are, like, uh, off on job, then maybe it's not paid. At least stateside, below college level. I don't know what that means. Can you check? Can you check how many stopwatch procs attack happen in the corners? It's one, it's one, it's one. Look at this, it's two right now. Uh, it's always one. It's always one. The corners always get one stopwatch hidden. I think the co the, the, co the corners should become these things. Chef sets. It just hits this one more time, which has about 100. About, it's add, it adds about 200 damage. 55k is low middle class, I believe. Okay, over here in Greece, 50k is uh, insane. 50k is uh, a lot. 50k is is uh, three 3k per month, right? Actually, no. Uh, it's 5k per month. Uh, let's say 4k per month if you if it's brutal. So 4k per month in Greece is a lot. By the way, it's easier to me to calculate things with monthly than uh, yearly salary because um, I I have not gotten used to calculating yearly salary. Get paid 60k a year at 16 for video editing. And teachers would only get paid like half. 60k a year for video editing. 60k a year for video editing. What is that? How much video editors get? Man, I'm gonna hire a Greek video editor. 60k a year for editing? Are you serious? I'm, I'm, I don't even know if I'm gonna make that much this year. I mean, I'm, I might, but I'm not sure if I will. It, it, it doesn't look like that. That's the problem. That's why I'm saying that it's hard to. I need to edit an editor, but I need to hire an editor. But where am I gonna find one? Uh, let's continue. Ah, makes sense. Is there a Grubhub for DoorDash in Greece? 
Is there a Grubhub or DoorDash? If you explain to me what those are, then I can explain to you if they exist or not. Love your content, buddy. Infinite Cleaver is awesome. Yep. Glad you enjoy. Canada to get fit. With the 25% damage relic, wouldn't be better to replace uh, Cleaver. It's not 25 damage, it's 50 damage, but still, it's... Uh, each chef hat adds 500 damage to all the cleavers. And uh, this queen added... Uh, this, the, the queen added uh, 200 damage to all the cleavers, so the chef's hat by definition is better. Food delivery services. Uh, yes, we have, like, it's called eFood. <laughs> I don't know how every other country missed the easy naming of eFood. I, I, I don't know how that happened. So... <laughs> Yeah, we had it. Let's continue gaining rage. But uh, yes, we do have eFood. And there are like two or three others. We have also one that is called The Box. Food delivery services. Yeah, we do. We do have. We do have. Uh, analytic ain't physical nor mass stench. What? People who pick up food at grocery stores or restaurants and deliver it to you. Ah, this does not exist. I think this does not exist. It does not exist. There isn't a system where you say somebody to, uh, I want to buy from that, uh, I guess, supermarket bring me two two packs of uh, cigars and uh, you know something like that no that that does not exist as far as i know and even if it exists it's not really that you know i don't think a lot of people use it now if they use it in the city and i'm not aware of i would not know but as far as i know and from the friends i know i don't think anybody buys anything online like groceries and stuff maybe some people that are you know 20 to 30 years of age and live alone maybe they do grocery stuff but I think nobody does grocery stuff. Fast food delivery died. Fast food delivery died? What? It's still very alive over here in Greece. It's very alive in Greece. Like everybody's buying fast food. God damn it, my audio broke, so now I can't watch the stream like normal. Bruh. Uh, you're watching the version where I'm muted for uh, the rest of the run. <laughs> I make about 2k a month as a teacher. I start at 7 and leave at 5.5. 5 days a week and do two hours of making and planning at night. I give myself Saturday off, but work most on Sundays. Okay. But how uh, how long have you been teaching? Because if you're teaching, for example, for 10 years, I'm pretty sure those two hours are every night and do two hours of marketing and planning at night. Yeah, those two hours every night uh, is most likely going to become one hour or half an hour every night. Or maybe two hours every three nights or something like that, you know? When, when you start becoming, I think the, when you start becoming a, when you start getting used to being a teacher, I, I feel like, right? I, I'm not exactly sure about this because I'm not a teacher. I feel like you start realizing that you don't need to do a million tests. You don't want to do a million houseworks. You, you want to skip some things. I mean, I might be wrong about this. My whole take about this might be wrong. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. People can get paid 60 to 80k because video editing is pretty easy for me at least. People can get paid 60 k because it's easy. Wait, what? Th that does not make sense as a sentence. They can get paid 60 to 80k, which is a lot of money, because video editing is pretty easy. Or do you mean that 60 80k is not a lot of money? Do you mean that 60 80k is not a lot of money? Man, the disparity between the salaries and how much is a lot of money in your country and my country is... It's, it's very weird, man. It's, it's very weird. Like... I, it's unbelievable to me. First of all, it's unbelievable how much money you make, and it's also unbelievable to me how little of value you get from that money. That is the most weird thing. Like, it's sur it's surreal to me that somebody can make 60 to 80k a month, a, a year, okay? 60 to 80k a year with a job that does not need you to be in your house, like, uh, does not need you to be in an in a office, like editing, for example. You don't need to be in an office to do editing, okay? You can do it from anywhere. And you are still living in, in, in a country where you pay like a thousand for rent. Like, if you work for from home, just go to a country where your rent is cheap. Or, or I mean, friends and family still applies. 342k. Do we do 342k? Do we do 342k? Don't mind me, Sift. Autocorrect changes the name to died half the time. What? Autocorrect changes your name? Changes your name to died half the I don't know what you mean. By the way, rookie numbers, still got one shot. Whoopsie. Let's go unless. The longer you teach, the more responsibilities you get. All teachers in my department are 100% stressed all the time. Really? I didn't know. I do not know. I don't know, man. I think... You know what? I think the trick is that over here in Greece, you pretty much cannot really get fired. 
unless you do something extremely bad and you're, you know, ex uh, unless you do something that is practically, not practically, literally uh, illegal, unless you do something illegal and maybe something extremely bad like the whole universe hates you or something, if you are a teacher in Greece and you get government job teaching, like if the government actually accepts you as a teacher, you will never get fired, like ever, ever, ever. You will never, ever get fired. So most of the teachers over here in Greece just don't care. Like half the things we learn in school is borderline who cares type of deal. And uh, most of the people go to, um, most of people, me included, uh, like everybody does that. Here in Greece goes to additional schooling. I think, I don't know how it's called. Not, not homeschooling, but it's like a class where a bunch of people are learning the same thing. Like you go for there for physics, you go there for math, you go there for the quote unquote hard lessons, you know? hard subjects and uh yeah like that's what everybody does so that we can get the so that we can get a, a better understanding of things so like teaching and the school system in greece is very broken and uh, the teachers borderline don't care so once again come join greece and become a teacher here <laughs> come become an english teacher over here in greece you're gonna be super stressed out but everybody's gonna be like man that english teacher is very strict and you really realize that nobody is actually strict and nobody actually cares for what exactly happens. Hey, Sift, are you sure Queen Cleavers I, uh, can activate the tape? I don't know. It doesn't matter. 100k is very middle class in America. Lol. It's doing decent, but it's very far from upper class. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Let me tell you something. In Greece, minimum wage, 700. About 700. Okay. I have not one, not two, not three, not five. I have a bunch of friends, like maybe 10 friends. I mean, 10 is maybe a bit of a number. Maybe it's just six. Anyway, I have a bunch of friends that all of them go for season to, to um, islands, okay? Seasonal work. Seasonal work is not very easy. Like, it's 16, uh, 16 hours work per day, 20 hours, depending. I mean, not 20, but it is 16, 12 hours per day easily, okay? 12 to 16 hours per day in a random island that you have never seen you don't have time to go out to the island and just do your work okay you, you, you don't have time to live over there you are living in a in a 10 by 10 uh, little buckets of uh, a room that uh, two people are actually sleeping in because uh, that is what you got provided by the job provider okay and uh, and do you know how much you're making you're making two to three thousand per month okay it's two to three thousand per month and people do that people here in greece go for one and two months two islands work for 12 to 16 hour shifts sleep in a 10 by 10 room with a, with an, a second person in that room and get paid two to three thousand bucks and they go there because it's a lot of money and you're telling me a hundred k is upper middle class what are you talking about man over here this is this is rich it's rich territory 100k is upper class middle class is 50k still 50k is still godlike over here Okay, but when you rent for a single bedroom apartment, it's a thousand eight hundred. Well, imagine, imagine paying more than five hundred for an apartment. <laughs> hundred k is close. <laughs> gap between the fifty and the hundred k has a few enough people in to charge. What? But the gap between the fifty and the hundred k has few enough people in it to change much. I don't understand what you mean. Fun fact: Greek high school teachers stuff that are. Taught in universities in US. Ah, that might be true, by the way. That that might actually be true. Like for some reason, I I don't know why that happened, but we are very um, progressive in math and stuff. Like math, physics, especially when you are 17 or 18. You know, the last class you do in high school, which is borderline mandatory in Greece. So when you're 17 and 18, before you go to university, the very last class, you you are actually learning about uh, real numbers and uh, you, you're learning uh, man I, I don't I don't know how they are called in English like you're learning this little s sign you're learning the <laughs> the s sign <laughs> uh, the, you're learning a bunch of things I, I right now I can't really express them because I definitely don't know the English um, words for math uh, related stuff but uh, yeah, like uh, it, it is always weird to me the the math that people have are struggling with math because like as a Greek, it's always like, bro, bro, you should have learned this in school, and they're like, no, you you definitely should not have learned this in school, and we're like, do we learn too much or do you learn too little? Because somebody here is learning less than the other, or somebody's learning more than the other. 
I'm a math major in America. I could probably help you with that. <laughs> uh, thanks, uh, for F free me. But um, I'm gonna say something that I'm saying really often. I don't really care about it. Like, I don't think I really need those um, words, I guess. Integrals. I don't know, guys. Integers. <laughs> I learned fake math, not real math. Calculus. Integral is the S thing. The S thing is integral. Okay, I've never, ever, ever heard the integral as a word. So, do you guys learn integrals in uh, in school? Like in high school without going into a uni or anywhere and also the whole uh, X uh, like mm, uh, What is it called solve X and then it's like X times 2 plus X plus uh, uh, 7 or something like that, you know the class or X times uh, X in the power of 2 plus 5, you know And then it's like solve X or something like that, you know uh, these things I don't know, man. And then it's also like the I, the real and unreal numbers. I'm pretty sure it's not called unreal, but whatever. Fake numbers. Not gonna lie, we also had calculus in high school. I mean, calculus, yes, obviously. You can, but it's advanced classes that are probably college credit. Pre calculus 11th, basic calculus 12th. Deriv derivations. Yeah, derivations. And then like um, roots, square roots, and uh, also XYZ, solving to XYZ, and different transform. No, th yeah, th that's up to that point is pretty much all the math we do. And then obviously also trigonometry, right? Trigonometry is also very big in math over here. <laughs> we definitely have a bunch of trigonometry. And uh, I don't know what else, man. We we pretty much learn most of the things, I think. I don't think there is I don't think there is a symbol that I have ever never ever seen through high school. Okay, we're searching. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a curse, let's avoid it. I'm stupid, I'm so stupid. 215 damage. I wanted to test how much damage the curse does. Everything was planned and calculated. I wanted on purpose to show you that I remember that the curse is. The bot is trying to send something. Nightbot blocked it, but the live stream is still gonna show it. It is what it is. What can we do? Bro, I just realized this on stream is my first stream. I am late on. <laughs> it's okay. Algebra is like 45 ish grade in Canada. 10 year old or so. Yeah, here too. I mean, let's be serious. Like math and like simple math is also very early. Complex numbers. Ah, okay. Complex numbers are... What are you talking about? Okay, you mean the I and stuff. Okay, got it. Trigonometry is the crap stuff. Yeah, trigonometry is trash. It's uh, it's my worst uh, It's my worst uh, thing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm complete trash at trigonometry. I'm good at statistics. I'm good at... I'm good at anything that is really applica applicable in normal uh, in normal life. Like, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this S thing that I already forgot. Divorations, like divorations and stuff and all that. I'm not good at those because they need like complex math to solve them. But anything that does not need an actual solution and is just application of the math itself, like adding adding percentages, using percentages, and uh, realizing and understanding statistics, these things. Everything that has a practical application and, and often practical application, because obviously all the math has some kind of practical application somewhere. But I'm talking about things that you use often in your life for practical application. Those things I'm good at. Let's continue. Uh, let's go on. Man explaining advanced math in Greece sounds like nightmare fuel. Can't tell when the equation ends because the writing is all the same symbols. I mean, that's for you, but for us it's not. <laughs> like, we obviously uh, differentiate the letters because they're just letters. <laughs> and the school so boring. Switzerland, we learned a bunch of stuff really, really complex math. Okay, so wh why were you saying that... Uh, Skip killing quarterly enemies, so you don't have to sit through all the animations. I'm not gonna take any risks. I'm not even sitting through the animations, guys. You are the, you are sitting through the animations. The, everything here is happening pretty much on 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 self. Uh, this is gold. I, I could have had uh, a friend of mine come along and just click the buttons. <laughs> like uh, this is. I'm just watching the screen. This screen once in a while. I press this button and then I just go over to the uh, live stream and just watch the what you guys are saying. Today we got into logarithmic. And it's ridiculous how I didn't see a single number in 3D minutes for the class. <laughs> Logarithmic. Man, you know what I also hate? I hate like Fourier transforms and everything that has to do with transforming. The oh oh yo, you know what? Also, we were learning very early. This um this is more of a physics thing. The the little tone thing. The what is it called? When when you have like a little uh pip next to the letter, when the x pip is always one and any number pipped is always zero. I don't know how exactly to. I I don't know what the naming of this exact thing is. That thing is my worst. And then the opposite of that is I'm even worse at that. Like, th those are complete. Not. Is it limits? No, I, I don't mean limits. D limits, I think, is the S thing, right? 
Isn't limits the S thing and then you have like upper limit and lower limit? I don't, yeah, portents. I think it's portents. It's like, for example, over here, uh, let's 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 imagine I have my uh, yeah. Let's like it, it's like a little line next to the number. It's just a pip, and then it can also have. And then there is the opposite of that too, which I think is the the square root. No, it's not the square root. It's uh, what's the opposite of the pip thing? I don't remember what the opposite of the pip thing is. I feel like you should be a hot two streamer. <laughs> Uh, I have a... Okay, I live in a village. I live in a village. So, we do have... Um, what is it called? We do have a... A pool. But it's like an inflated pool. So... <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I don't mean X... Uh, I don't mean X times 2, X times X. No, I don't mean that. A log. No, not log. Not log. It's... You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna just show it in the... In the comment section because uh, th this is like not happening. It's this thing. Okay, it's this thing. I don't know what that is called. Uh, maybe derivatives. I have no idea. Over here, paragogy. Yeah, that, that should be the derivatives. I mean, the, the real translation is derivative. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because uh, th that is the translation. Yeah, that thing. That is... I'm, I'm so trash at that. I'm, I'm so trash at that. And the opposite. What's the opposite of that? Isn't that... Isn't there an opposite? Like, isn't there a thing that you do it op the opposite way? I, I don't remember. Anyway, um, that's a derivative, and the opposite is the S thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I remember it correctly. I remember it correctly. So, yeah, exactly. Derivatives and the S thing. Integrals. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, so that, 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 on those things, I'm complete trash at. Because I, it's like, I don't understand when you will actually apply that in actual, um, you know, real life scenario. And because of that, I can also not understand the math behind it. Like, if I don't understand how you apply it in a real scenario, and when I mean a real scenario, I don't mean uh, if you want to calculate the speed of something, uh, but if it's actually stop, if you want to calculate how fast something c becomes after that happens and this, no, 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 I don't mean that. Like, I mean a real application where I'm gonna have like an integral or something somehow like it's just math it's very helpful in physics yeah exactly these things do not help me like it is helpful for XYZ does not help me like at all like that that does not help me understand how it's supposed to be used yeah exactly like the, the, the whole idea of X on the with the dot uh, X derivative is always one is something that just it, it, it's something that you have to learn straight up it's like this is the solution you, you you just learn it as it is it's 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 just that you you don't you don't do the math behind it you don't do the you don't do the logic behind it. it's just that is it that's how you learn it that's what it's supposed to be no i, I can't do math like that that is not how i understand math uh hola <laughs> also helpful in some statistics Math is abstract. Yeah, math is, yeah, that, that is, yeah. Calculus, the volume of the water towel. <laughs> Calculate the volume of the water towel. Ah, yeah, very nice. I hate trigonometry with the relatives and circles. Exactly, exactly. Trigonometry is like my worst, by far. It's, it's because of the slope of the graph. C is Y is one in all the places. Yeah, yeah, I do get it. I do get it, okay? I do, I do understand. Like, that's always the answer that I get from math people. That you just need to memorize it, not understand it. Exactly. That you need to memorize, but you don't need to understand, is what makes my mind not tick. Like, I cannot fit it in my mind if I don't understand it. I'm not a person that remembers things. Okay, so I need to understand something because if I understand something, I can find the chain in my mind to get the understanding going, right? Uh, for example, I do understand how one plus one is two. Okay, I do understand that you get the one and then you get the second one and therefore this calculation is two, you know? But I do not understand how x derivative is one. Oh, by the way, I wanted to read this. Uh, for each empty space, to write. okay, good job, let's go. I just wanted to read that again, nothing else. Let's go, yep. So that, that's not how I can do math. Actual math, people understand it. You don't have to memorize it. Okay. I have talked with a bunch of math people about this thing. Like, this discussion has happened with a bunch of, of my friends, with a bunch of people in general. I always get the same answer. Like, I, I, I don't know how to translate the answer in, in, from Greek to English. Uh, what exactly derivative is. But whenever I ask how do derivatives work and what the derivative is, I always get the same explanation, which is correct. But the thing is that the explanation itself does not actually make sense. Like, um, how do you... For example, if you deriv derivate speed, I think you get... Uh, if you derivate acceleration, you get speed. Or if you uh, derivate speed, you get acceleration. Something like that. Or... I do understand that the derivative is if something is like a line 
I think. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. I don't understand. <laughs> Makes me feel pretty dumb most of the time. What do you think is heading? Uh, it's just a slope. Yeah, exactly. It's a slope, but it. <laughs> Why one plus five is two? Then can you prove it? I I don't need to prove it. I just need to understand how it works. X uh, uh, dot is one because your base graph increases y by one per x. X y is one because your base graph increases y by one per x. X. What? You see, that's the problem. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm an engineer, that math is understandable, but it's a lot more work to understand all the principles that just memorize it, and just reach a point where it's no longer helpful to understand. Yeah, I, you know, I do understand that there is a concept behind the derivatives. It means water time, water time, let's go. Okay, the potion drop seller. Let's drink water, everybody. The hydrate. So, I do understand and I do realize that there is, there is math and logic behind the derivatives. I do understand that. Okay? But I do not get it. I don't know how to say it, man. It's, it's a concept of math that if I don't understand the application, I can also not understand what it does. Like, I do get it. It's if you get the graph and then, like, uh, the thing you said, right? The thing you said. You said that it is always 1 because every time x improves, then y also in improves by 1. You know, you said that thing. Okay, but what is the practical application of that thing? Like, what is what is the use of that thing? Like, if I cannot easily apply it to an easily understand example, then I don't have a use for it because I don't understand it. I, th that's not how my mind works. I don't know how to say it, man. Uh, why, did, uh, why did Nightbot ban Mr. JLD? Did you say something bad? Oh, you said the uh, jerk. I'm sorry. You said jerk. Whoopsie. Uh, yeah, I I'm sorry. <laughs> that, uh, that That's what that was. The relation order position is position, velocity, acceleration, jerk, snap, crackle, pop. Okay, I, I don't understand any of these. Rate of change. I now again remember why I did not want to become a physics teacher anymore after studying it for... Yeah. The derivation of velocity is acceleration. The derivation of velocity is acceleration. Yeah, okay, get it. I got it. I got it. And I have been told this thing a, a bunch of times. Like, it's you're not the only person that said it. But I don't understand the concept of this. So, I I get it, okay? The derivation of velocity is acceleration. But why? And what does it mean? Like, what does it mean in a pragmatic manner? Like, where would I use it? Under which circumstance am I, am I ever going to use that? Like, I can easily use speed and acceleration to do the math I want to achieve, right? I can use the acceleration number on its own to understand something. I can use the speed on its own, but what will I use the derivation for? And why does it make sense, you know? I think I'm gonna stop this whole discussion here because I think I'm talking about the same thing a bit too much. I'm too stoned. I think we're having an argument about derivatives, getting co college flashbacks. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I think a bunch of people also left. Like, oh no, it's it's the bug again. Man, the, the bug is really weird. I can teach you in Discord call if you would like. As a person who barely passes maths, I'm falling for this stupid man. <laughs> it's okay. I'm I'm opening up myself. Uh, exp I'm exposing my own lack of knowledge so that everybody feels better. Okay, and as you see, my whole uh, style of talking has not changed. Like, I don't care about this thing. Like, I when when you, when you have something negative, I think you should either make your job to fix it or just own it up and don't care about it anymore. Uh, if you can't do anything about it, like, I tried so many times already, like, just measure the physics problem with a ruler. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, 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 <laughs> just, just, just slide the box on the ground and see how much it will get uh, affected by the, like, see how much of color of the ground is gonna get affected by it. I <laughs> uh, love first time writing in your chat while doing homework and I'm doing physics and math. <laughs> how far do you intend to take this run? Until I get bored, until I get tired, or until the time comes where I, I have to, um, you know, do my, my videos, my video shooting. Back to reorganizing cleavers. Yeah, forget it. The formula to calculate the position from acceleration and velocity as obtained from derivatives. The formula to calculate the position from accelerations and velocity is obtained from derivatives. 
Okay, but how do derivatives work? <laughs> these, these are not things that are useful. That's what I mean. This, as long as the example is just something abstract, as long as you cannot, as long as you don't ground the example into a real life scenario that is often happening. I will not be able to understand it because I don't care about it enough to uh, try to put in enough like it's you can explain to me that if you use the derivative then you find xyz or if you do this to the velocity then this happens if you use a derivative yes I do understand what you're saying but I still do not get the derivatives right? It's as if I'm trying to tell you, guys, I don't understand how a bike works, okay? And you start to explain to me, you ride on it, and then you just go down the hill, and it just goes. While my question is, I do not understand how the the chain works on the bike, how the, 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 what is it called? How the, how it's staying, what are the physics behind it? How exactly does it work? What's the concept of the bike? Why does the bike exist in general? Like, just telling me that you can use the bike to go to a place does not mean that I understand the bike, right? Just telling me that the derivatives are used to do this and this does not mean that I understand how the derivatives work or what their concept is. Like, wh why, why they, like, when do you use them? When do you apply them? I was only applying them in school. Like, the moment I stopped, like, the moment I ended school, I never, ever, 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 ever seen derivatives in my life. Like, in my whole life. Like, for 15 years now, or however many there were, I, I guess 12, uh, I never, ever used derivatives. Ever. The bike balances cause of its handle, I think. <laughs> oh, yes. But how does it work? <laughs> you see? I think you're pretty close to die on this run if the enemy scale a bit more. Or do you have another trump card? What are you talking about? We are doing 200, uh, more than 300k damage per hit. So how are we possibly close to death? Uh, starts explaining a bike by the vector magnets to play the ride, <laughs> to play in the rider's legs. Um, I mean, you know what? The explanation on the bike would be that... The explanation to the bike would be that... Uh, the... What is it called? The chain close to you has a diameter and then you would need to explain to me how the energy gets transferred from the slower, you know, uh, axis to the bigger axis and how exactly that happens. You know, a bunch of things have to be explained. Why don't you replace the shield with the king? <laughs> uh, so you want to model a ball in a program. What you do is have an initial velocity and acceleration and you want to relate that to 3D space. I think part of the problem is that the moment you start talking about acceleration, speed, position, you no longer are talking about math. Exactly. You're talking about physics and physics don't understand math. Exactly, 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 exactly. The, when you try to explain the example that you use derivatives on, you do not explain the derivatives anymore. You're just telling me where they are applied. But as long as I don't understand the derivatives, I can understand the math behind them. We need to pay Sift more than 300k to end it. <laughs> yep. Cleaver costs energy, shield costs one. Exactly. Hey Sift, all the math talk is over hopefully. I can ask if you've seen the Sift pack in the R channel, in the Discord possibly. It's my first piece of fun art. I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna look at it. Not right now, but I'm gonna look at it. You can use derivatives to predict on what level you will lose, given the ideal. <laughs> can you though? Balance, oots, what's grab decision. You use derivatives when you calculate what route to take down a ski slope to not end up standing still on a green slope. Is that true? Yeah, but how would you apply it though? Oi, 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 oi! And we go with rage. By the way, real question here. Real question. Physics is applied math. <laughs> we had the discussion previously. Real question. Has anybody used derivatives in their real life? After, like, real, real life. Like, no school, no, uh, no forced thing that you have to actually do it. Like, in real life, under no testing or specifically math-related assignment. Like, just life. Like, without math being involved as a main concept of the discussion or, like, just just applied derivatives 
somewhere uh, something happened in your life and uh, it was not a test it was not a it was not an example it was just you know what if i'm gonna apply the derivatives i'm gonna actually get the answer to this question that I'm, we're having right now you know it's on a discussion you know or or something happened that is real life and you just use derivatives as a solution <laughs> yes of course give me examples give me examples i want examples maybe that's a, a way that i can like uh we were trying to do this and we then uh, applied derivatives to that and we got this solution like something like that you know uh, we try to discuss if it's faster to go by foot there or if it's uh, faster to go by uh, by uh, bike and then we use derivatives on the maximum speed of walking in comparison to bikes and that gave us the numbers that are uh, the actual solution you know something like that Driving a car from room. <laughs> Most math I've seen used to know statistics gacha games. Well, yeah, but I'm... Yes, I'm talking about real life examples, okay? I'm not talking about, okay, bro, I need to I need to understand if this weapon is better than this weapon. So if I do the math behind the calculations of this and this and this, like, no, no, I don't mean application upon the same application. Like, I don't mean apply derivatives on a math problem. I mean, like, on a real life problem. Can you do that? But if derivatives are by definition only applied to math problems. Yes, but I think people understand what I meant with the question. We use derivatives when we calculated a magnetic flux influence inside a process chamber. We need those for iron targets. Okay, good example. Completely not uh, useful for the rest of the universe. I'm a telecommunication engineer, so I use derivatives a lot. Also not a real life example. I mean, it is, but yeah. I use derivatives to predict... Okay, I'm not going to read the whole sentence because, um, you know, the words are very key, keywords. I now understand why you're nowhere close to dying in this run. I forgot how the game worked exactly. I'm still following this button, by the way, when I'm reading. Maybe ignoring clueless. Engineering, when I calculate beam values for structural calculations <laughs> to calculate the code too, we can produce before we reach 1.5 degree. <laughs> uh, use the general... Your logic of if you can't apply it to real life, the 90% of all science is useless. Obviously. Obviously. Like, no, 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 you're wrong. Y you are right, but you you said you used wrong words. Uh, science is useless in 90% of the... Uh, of, of everything. Uh, of the application, of, of the time. I guess 90% of the time, I would say. And not even science. Like, science, maybe not science. But I would say uh, math. Like... Maybe 90% is a bit too much, okay? But I do believe that a lot of math is not needed uh, in real life applications. By the way, oi, 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 oi. I should. Oi, 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 I should always cut whatever I was saying whenever that guy pops up. It's useful for the rest of the universe. You use our products daily. If you ever wanted to know the fastest way to get from point A to point B and you looked it up in an app on your phone, your phone used the. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, but you don't use them. 90% of the science and math is useless in everyday life. Exactly, exactly. That, that, that is a better, that is a better wording of what I tried to say. You can use derivative to prove da erf. Da erf. Da erf is flat. <laughs> um, 20 bucks donation for that tool. I use derivatives to mute shift for one minute. Look my practical use of derivatives. Okay, I think we're Gucci. I'm not exactly sure if I covered the minute. I might have cheated a bit. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'm not needed, but to understand complex thing, you will use maybe your future engineering job. You have to know everything. Yeah, obviously. Uh, just because I use the product of science and math does not mean I need to learn it. You are playing on the f science machine and you are telling me that it's useless. <laughs> Ah, that 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 is a fair uh, that is a fair uh, assessment of the situation. Uh, gotta use derivatives to find the number of. Okay, I'm not gonna read that once again. 
David Casey does the same meme. Uh, Sift has a timeout. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the fact that I want to mention the number of the boss is gonna trump your timeout. Uh, 358k life. Let's see if we do more than 350k damage. And now I'm gonna do the timeout of David Casey. Okay, I think we're uh, I think we're done. Um, yeah, somebody said I think the rivets are kind of a thing that have no regular weekly daily use. Exactly. I think that is the main point of why I cannot actually understand how derivatives work, because all the examples were math related. <laughs> all the examples were wait, no more items to get. Uh, we are still missing one chef's hat, which we're gonna trade with this queen cleaver, but otherwise we're pretty much done. I just need one more chef's hat, and that's pretty much it. This isn't fact that the cleavers won't get nerfed into the ground. I mean, even if they get nerfed... Like, why would they get nerfed to the ground? You have 9 energy and 350k per 1 energy. Not per 1... Yeah, not per 1. 350k... The first attack. The first attack. We still don't know. We still have no idea. We have no even remotely idea how much damage my very last attack is doing. No belt of knives is this turn only. Yeah, but it's only one turn uh, move anyway, like the, the whole build is a one turn move. I think the next boss will... By the way, uh, do you guys enjoy me talking about random stuff, like skiing and then math and whatever? Or do you guys want me to um, not keep the, the discussion though this huge? Because in general, I, I enjoy... Use the roots <laughs> in general, I enjoy uh, like talking about whatever. I think it's... Yeah, okay, people I think enjoy. So um, yeah, I'll just continue. I think the problem is science tries to solve problems. And the general public wants to find ways. Yes, yes. Whoa, spam happening. Let's go. Yes, random is good. Sift has become the god of the backward universe. <laughs> math is... Well, not the math, but yeah. Okay, math is... I'm, we're not gonna stick to math. <laughs> the math thing, I think... The math thing, I think, happened because of the, the Osmogold thing. So, uh, I, I wanna do a video on math that has to do with Osmogold. Maybe he's gonna see us. Maybe we're gonna become super famous. I think the bot is gonna get muted in a bit. Yep. Nightbot does its job. Is here is is there an, an, a, at least one mod here? Is there a, like one mod over here? A bot attack, but Nightbot got it. I mean, the only bad thing with the bots is that they are shown in the live stream, but otherwise Nightbot got it. <laughs> I like how Nightbot, by the way, Nightbot is hitting these guys because it's checking their names. Like they they try to dodge the YouTube algorithm. By the way, it's so stupid that YouTube does not ban people based on names. Like, are you serious? It's like the easiest thing. I, I, is YouTube serious that uh, <laughs> somebody has? I mean, on the one hand, it's fair because somebody could name his channel like uh, I don't know, N Naked Monkey or something like that, and it wouldn't really be something bad. I enjoy random conversation. We actually get to know you. Oh, that's nice, David. I'm glad you enjoy. It's until the day where I'm gonna have a, a live cam and then everybody's gonna be like, what? That's what Sift looks like? Okay, we don't want to learn anymore. <laughs> or maybe I'm super pretty and I don't know about it. By the way, I, I never knew, I never ever in my whole life knew, up to up to six months ago, I did not know that I was speaking good English. Like, I thought I have the classic Greek accent. I thought, like, my English is borderline trash. And um, I thought that people who try to on purpose do a British accent are uh, pretentious. Like, for some reason over here in Greece, whoever talks with British accent is supposed to be the, the good, quote-unquote, good accent, and they know good English. Like, the, that is a given. If, if in Greece you speak as if you're Britain, as if you have British English, you're supposed to be, like, a, a person that talks good. Like, everybody, by the way, in the shadows, welcome as a dragoning. Like, everybody over here in Greece, uh, when they hear something, somebody talk like, um, it might be a bit offensive here, but I'm sorry, but when I hear people talk like, 
Oh yeah, when I hear people talk like this, I think they actually talk very better English than the rest of the people. Because honestly speaking, this accent of British always sounds awesome and fancy. And this is actually something you have to cultivate. And you have to be able to talk like a British man so that it makes more sense. Or something like that. I mean, I don't know. But I, I didn't even do a good accent. But for me, it was always like, what? Why would you do an accent on purpose? It sounds so... What? It, it sounds fake. I mean, if you... <laughs> Sift, you're madman. Oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> now you speak English. Pretty fluent English. Just being able to explain complex things in English uh, to English speakers and totally understandable. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I do. I'm glad I do. But I, that's terrible. <laughs> that sounds more American. Okay, let me try to do even, even, even harder of an accent. Absolutely never do a face reveal. The mystery makes you more interesting. Uh, that might actually be true. That might actually be true. Irish accent. Okay, let's let's try let's try uh, let's try maybe Britain again. Uh, how, how would Britain sound like? Uh, I I don't know. I really don't know. It, it feels like I'm bordering on the line between uh, being racist and offensive and not. But uh, I mean, I'm already adding my own accent to this anyway. Like uh, like <laughs> I don't know how British would sound like. Uh, I, I I don't know how British would sound. No, I can do it. I cannot do it. I cannot find it. I can really not find it right now. But people are actually speaking on purpose British here. And, and actually, I can guarantee you, Greek people think that talking on purpose like British, although you're not a British person, okay, you are a Greek, is the good accent. And because that thing is true here in Greece, I sounded like dumb few years old back in the day speaking Spanish. British be like, bo, bo, wala, bo, wala. Oh, honestly speaking, uh, you know what? You know what, my friend? I, I believe that in reality, I don't know, man, I can do it. So, yeah, because people over here believe that is true, that British accent it means you know good English, um, I always thought that that my English does not sound good, you know? Because, because you know, the people around me believe something different is the actually good English. So it's very weird. Sift, would you ever replace your gold with chef's hat? Your gold with chef's hat? No. Uh, Sift, when combat ends, why don't you just press? It doesn't work. Uh, can you do a Canadian accent? I, guys, I have no idea how to do accents. And I, I need to talk with people. I need to talk with people and actually try to copy the accent on the spot. Otherwise, I can't really do it. Like, if I have a British here and he tries to talk to me in his own language, I can try to copy it. In general, I'm good to, in copying things. And I, I don't understand how a bunch of other people are not. Like, if somebody gives me, tells me the numbers in, uh, I don't know a language, uh, Hungarian, or something that I don't know about, you know? I can just copy the words, like, I, I can just literally say exactly what you say. Without understanding what I say, by the way. And also, after an hour, I will forget whatever you ta taught me, but I will be able to copy your word one by one if you tell it to me. It's I don't think it's something hard. I might be wrong, by the way. Like, uh, people might listen to me and be like, Bro, no, you don't do it. You actually have an, a trash accent when you try to do this in English, in, in Hungarian or, you know, in, uh, in Japanese. You definitely have an accent, but everything is clear and understandable. Nice. How much do we need to donate to make you do a face reveal? <laughs> it's, the, it's the fight between don't face reveal because it's a mystery and the whole face, I guess, is the, the sift emoji. And then the other half is like, we want the face reveal. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see with the whole face reveal idea. So what we got, still nothing. I'm still searching for the for another chef's hat, by the way. Continue. Oh, so you're a good mimic. Yes, I am a good mimic. Oliaros. Etsy, Mangas, the Cosmos. And Canadians. Hey, you should try doing a Welsh accent. I Until somebody talks to me with the accent that I'm supposed to copy, I cannot create it out of the blue. You totally sound like you have a Swedish accent. Might be. Base reveal at 100k subs. May I, maybe. I, I I don't know. I don't know. The thing about the face reveal is that I'm a bit paranoid about people tracking or finding me or, or things like these. Like, I'm a bit paranoid about stuff like that. Uh, on the other hand, face reveal has some upsides. Like, um, you know, being more interactive and also being able to do other content that I'm not currently doing. Like, you can do reactionary content or in general, you can do a bunch of things with face reveal. And also in general, I can have more discussion streams, chat, you know, chilling. In general, you know, I'm doing some movements here while I'm talking that you don't see. So things like that are the upside of having a face reveal. Like, I can just, you know, move my hands when I'm talking. Just, just do, in general, different things with my hands. And right now I only have, like the mouse and i'm like over here and then over there 
two. <laughs> How many languages do you speak? Three. In Greek, English, and German. Let's go. How much for a hand reveal? <laughs> Speaking of mimics, is there already a mimic chest in Backpack Hero? There is no mimic chest, no. Uh, these reveal. Let's go. Wear sunglasses like Kate Borgs. Ah, I like my sunglasses on my head. I would have put my money on German. Sift absorbs the life essence of anyone who talks to him and that's why he's a good mimic. <laughs> Maybe. Absorbs the life essence. Honestly speaking, I had a discussion one day about the fact that whenever I'm with people, it always feels like... Uh, it always feels like... I siphon energy from them, but not because I actually siphon them. I mean, I, I mean it with that I'm, I'm I'm getting empowered when I'm with people and just talking about stuff. I can talk forever until the other person is dead or I'm dead. Like we can just talk forever. I I always I always gain energy by the fact of somebody being next to me and talking with me. You know, I I, I never get tired. I mean, obviously, if I if I need to sleep, then it's a different discussion. But in general, I can just talk about anything forever with anybody. Uh, yeah, I would guess Swedish accent too, but I have no reference point to hearing me Greeks. I heard Swedish. Ah, okay. Probably five bucks. A left pinky reveal at one million subs. <laughs> da -na -na. <laughs> I will help you learn English. I am a national speaker. Help me speak English. Do I need to learn English? I think I'm good with English. When I first watch. At one of your videos back when you uploaded five per day, <laughs> the moment I heard you say hello, guys, I knew you were green. <laughs> you kind of sound a bit drunk, though. Okay. <laughs> hello, everybody. Drunk. I'm always, and I'm never drunk. I don't drink, by the way, at all. I uh, I think the downside of, I mean, no, that's a lie. I do drink, but in uh, I, I never get drunk. Yeah, I never get drunk. I think the downside of getting drunk is so much more steep than the upside of getting drunk. So, um, yeah, there's that, I guess. I do drink, though, you know, friend, friend and friendly drink, you know, with friends outside. And I do get tipsy, but I do not get drunk. I think getting drunk, like the downside of maybe, you know, you know, you know, the downsides. I'm not going to say it because maybe some people might get triggered, you know, but the downsides of drinking are so bad to me that I'm like, no, I might, I will get tipsy for, for the friends, for the company, for, for the people that are with us, but I'm not going to get drunk. And also, I'm, I'm, I'm like driving all the time because I live in a village and I have to go with a, with a car to the city, so I'm, I can not drink in the first place. So does everyone in Greece have a body of Spartan from 300? That's how Americans all imagine everybody looking. I mean, if you go to a beach that is well known to have, um, I guess, 15-year-olds uh, up to 30-year-olds, you know, if you go to a beach that is known of having, uh, you know, a younger audience, then yeah, everybody's rich, ripped over there. But if you go to a beach that is just a normal, classic, uh, everybody goes their beach and it's not really something awesome or anything, yeah, like you're gonna find uh, every single different person that exists. And I'm, uh, and I'm, uh, hi. If that joke was bad, ignore me. Ho ho ho. I read it. I read it. You are dead tool. Let's go chill in Discord and just talk about random stuff. Leave a reveal at floor a thousand. By the way, people have also told me that I sound high in the recording and because I'm like going off in tandems, like th people are telling me like, Yo, Sift, are you actually high? Because I like you're talking about random stuff and you're talking about it for 15 minutes. People don't normally do that. <laughs> Same, I like getting a good buzz. Hate getting drunk. Exactly, drunk is too much. Drunk always, like, I, I have gotten drunk maybe two times. I have never, ever gotten a blackout, ever. In my whole life, I have I never, ever gotten a blackout. Like, I have never, ever missed memory. But uh, th those one or two times that I got actually pretty drunk, man, it's it's super, you, you feel, like, super happy for the first, I don't know, hour? Maybe two hours? But when you start getting, uh, like, winding down, when you start going into the transition of, okay, we have to go f from the from the restaurant we are at it's not called restaurant it's called uh Chipuradigo or whatever uh but uh, <laughs> when we go when we decide to go away from you know the drinking place i, I guess it would be called a bar in in england and in, in, in everywhere else uh then then the downsides start to kick in and then it's like complete trash and i don't want to deal with that like at all and then sometimes the next day too shield on duct tape helps the cleaver triggers I don't care. Can't turn it off or take it back. Just have to wait it out. 
What? Can you turn it off or take it out? Just uh, yeah, exactly. You're you're talking about being drunk. The truth shift is just a green cleaver exposing the virtue of cleavers, and none knows it. <laughs> da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na. But sift, but sift. Do you think you will be the first to reach floor 1K? Depending on if uh, if there is competition, you talk a bit fast. I think that's good, right? I think talking fast is good. Although I know people are watching my videos at times too, so I don't know how fast I talk. You could maybe disconnect some of the cleavers. You are doing way too many hits. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Bar, pub, club. I think you don't have that there. I don't think you have... Uh, I miss Tsipura. Yeah, I don't think you have uh, Tsipuradega and uh, Krasadega and... Uh, um, what's the other one? Rakomela. I mean, no, nobody says that. Uh, what, what is that? Uh, Retsines? Retsinadega, that, that, that doesn't exist. Yeah, Krasadega and Tsipuradega, I guess. I don't think there is a one-to-one -one translation. It's a, okay. Let me explain what the shop looks like and how it operates, and you tell me if it exists over there at you. Uh, by the way, hydra time. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Everybody, join. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> Guten Abend, and here the Germans join. Guten Abend. Hello, hello, we get. Um, you're impossible at times too. I just sound like a squeaking mouse. I'm happy I'm impossible at times too. That means that people don't. <laughs> I mean, am I happy? Just watch your two cleaver videos from yesterday and you're still going. Holy moly, yep. I'm still going. <laughs> wait, wait. If you only have king cleavers on all your space expected cleans at the corners and one buff jack. I mean, we, we aren't even gaining any cleavers anymore. We're still waiting for the last uh, chef's hat. I'm drinking a beer, does that count? Not really, but YOLO it. Doesn't the buckler use clear? Nope, we're gonna skip that. Um, more haste, Lumao. Hello, we get... Euch heute. Hello, we get euch heute, I guess. German, I also... I, I, You know what? In English, I never ever thought I had a good accent until I, until I started live streaming. In German, I always knew I had a good accent. Like, in German, I was like, I know how to speak German. I was always proud about it. Like, I was always like... That is how German is supposed to sound, and I'm sure about it. I'm 100% sure about it. And I'm proud about that, you know. <laughs> I see many Germans here. I just want to say, Grüße aus Berlin. Okay, moin moin. <laughs> moin. <laughs> how does he have so much energy? It is, is it Constantinople or Istanbul? I don't know, I don't care. Mir geht's gut. Und dir, Sift? Ja, mir geht's auch gut. Let's continue. Uh, I'm too young, by the way, the, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying uh, hello, how are you, and I'm good, I'm fine, so that, that's what we're saying here in German. I'm too young to drink in the US, but not in Germany, like what? <laughs> Wait, what? Is Germany 21? Uh, you know where you are actually, uh, you, 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 uh, you say, you say you are young to drink in the US, but you are not in Germany. You know where you are young enough to drink, uh, guaranteed? In Greece. Because in Greece, you can drink when you're 15. I mean, not not legally, but I can guarantee you they're gonna give you the drink and you're also gonna go ahead and drink it wherever you want. Like, nobody cares. Especially in islands. Like, if you go to an island, oh man, you can be whatever. Like, nobody cares. Like, nobody cares. Although it's illegal, by the way. It is illegal to drink if you're less than 18. And it's also illegal to sell you the drink if you're less than 18. But do you really think anybody cares over here? I mean, we are a bit of a corrupt country. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's continue. <laughs> let's go more than Cleaver God. Let's go. Smoking, drinking, 21 and over in USA. Germany. Germany is like 14, I think. <laughs> I don't think so, but still. Let me describe the place. Instantly distract. Okay, okay, okay. Good job. Good job reminding me. So let me describe the place of the, the, the Chipuradico or the Krasadico. So... Uh, it is it is like a restaurant, okay? It is like a restaurant. It has uh, smaller tables, okay? And so that you can fit more, uh, you know, you can fit more tables inside and also have more uh, more chairs. But that does not matter. That's just uh, what it looks like. And you get served only drinks. Like, you sit in a table as if it is a restaurant, but your main course is gonna be some kind of drink, okay? And the drink is for the whole, uh, for for everybody. Like, it's, it's like sake, you know? You take it and you, or like wine from a bottle, but it's not actually wine. It's, uh, it's something else, okay? It's either Uzo or Tsipuro or, uh, 
Rakomelo or uh, I mean Rakomelo, yeah, or it could be Retsina or like it's a bunch of other things that are it's like a satya. So you have something in the middle and everybody has his own little uh, cup and you know you give everybody a glass bottle, I guess, a gla glass, and then you just pour to everybody and then all drink. And then they also give you like small uh, food platelets, like um, I don't know, you know, you can take a you can take a little just I don't know, uh, you can either get fish. Or you can get like just straight up meat, or you can get potatoes, or you can get like um, I don't know chicken wings, like you can, not chicken wings, like chicken nuggets, or uh, you can get like just a plate that has a bunch of things inside of it, like um, you know every little different type of meat that exists, and then you can just eat here and there. But not everybody buy goes there and buys food. Like if you go there mainly to drink. But it's like it's it's the layout is like a restaurant, but it's mainly selling drinks. Okay, it's it's not like a bar. It's not like a bar at all. So it has its own cuisine in the back. It has like the 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 whole the whole thing that the shop is in a completely different area. You're not even there. They're like a garçon comes next to you. They tell you what do you want to buy, and you're like, we want one cola, one sprite, two retinas, uh, and uh, like give us uh, ten uh, ten cups, and that's it. Like that's that's the whole thing you buy, and they then go away. They they don't even ask you if you want to buy food or anything. That does that exist. Does that exist in other countries? What is it called in English, actually? What is this whole concept as a shop called in English? And does it exist? Let's uh, start reading. Let's continue. Stop reading. Nope. <laughs> nope. Straight up nope. <laughs> By the way, we will get one shot if anything attacks us. A cafe? Mm, nope. Not a thing in America. A beer garden you, uh, you know what yeah it, it looks like a beer um a, a brewery you know like a brewery uh, where you uh, like a, a beer cafe not like a beer bar where you where you don't actually like i don't know does that even exist even then there is a bar though while in retsinadika there is no bar like there is no bar there is no bar to sit and drink at the bar it's it's all oh, everything looks like a restaurant in general like it looks like a general it, it looks like a restaurant you do not have access to the bar, but an, a garçon comes and you just buy drinks, and they bring you drinks. You can also buy food to to eat here and there, but the food is not. You don't go there to mainly eat. You go there mainly to drink. Close to pub, but bar covers it as well. But it's not a bar. It's it, you. You do not have access to the bar. Like you do not go. Um, the drinks are coming from a fridge. It's not like you don't buy cocktails. You buy bottles. And when I say you buy bottles, the bottle costs five buck. Okay, it's like. Uh, you you pay five or six bucks and it's like a 700 ml bottle and it's like retina and you just drink it and, and that's it and you buy another one and then another one and then another one like you just buy bottle after bottle and all of them cost like five to six bucks or sometimes the the shop has its own uh, drink like sometimes it's not even selling a, a bottle it's like um it's 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 free form how do you say like they have free form um uh, wine and they're like we want one of your uh, your uh, your wine and it's like three bucks, three bucks, 500 milliliters of wine. And you're like, okay, bring it. And then it's like the worst thing you have ever drunk, but it doesn't matter. It's called a tap house. Ah, that makes sense. Brew pub, wine bar, something like that, something like that, something like that. Exactly, something like that. Tap house, okay, okay, okay. Tap house, moonshine, and it's not moonshine, but uh, I, I guess it's considered moonshine. Uh, here we call it Hima, and it means... Uh, that it's a free form, I guess. It, it's not in a bottle. That's what it means. It's it, a free form wine. Because it comes in like a cup. They bring you like a huge cup. And it has wine in it. And you just pour tappers. Yeah, tap house. And they're called convenience stores. <laughs> good job. Good good one. Sounds like a pub, but more specialized. Uh, it's it's uh, dark and how What are you going to do? All this gold. Bottle shop and tap room. You know what? You guys can come over here when you join Greece. You go to you go to one of those. Dude, replace zeros with letters. What? <laughs> replace zeros with letters. What does that even mean? What's the max on gold in the game? Is there a max? We're gonna learn out. We're gonna see if the gold is actually max. The bar part is just naming, like saying I'm going to the store. Just go to a petrol station. Ah, but you go to a petrol station. Ah. Um. But it's not a store. It's not a store. Like, you don't go there and buy the bottle and leave. Okay? It it, it functions like a restaurant. It, it does not have takeaway at all. Like, there is no takeaway at the shop. And they also don't do deliveries. It's it's literally... It literally functions like a restaurant. But the main course is drinks. 
Like they came, they come and take your like most of the time if you go to one of those and you give a you give an order, the order is going to be like one or two different drinks. Okay, uh, whatever you drink with a drink, for example, if you drink Retina, it's most likely going to be plus uh, Coca-Cola or it's going to be plus uh, plus Sprite, you know, depending on how you drink it. You know, it's it's you you get a fizzy drink, you get the, the bottle, you get two or three bottles, and then you might pick up, I don't know, a, a plate of cheese or a plate of meat or, you know, something like that, a, a menu item. And that's it. And then when you're done with that, you drink them, half an hour passes, you order again, another bottle of drink. After half an hour, another one, another one. And when I say half an hour, I mean 10 minutes, like every 10 minutes and another one. And like you're I, I don't know, you're like if especially if you're like six to eight people like friends and family. Oh, man, it's like every 10 minutes and our bottles coming in. Everybody's drinking all the time. Everybody's dead. Half of the table is dead. The other half of the table are the drivers. <laughs> Let's continue. Bro, three hundred seventy-three people are listening to you right now. I'm glad. I mean, uh, I am. I'm pretty much killing the live stream right now because I'm talking about random stuff. But uh, the people that are here, I enjoy it. So I'm gonna continue with this, like just chilling. It's literally got just big red dot above the door. <laughs> we have no idea. We don't even know how much the first hit does because I'm just like, yeah, exactly. We have no idea how it's actually do. Uh, water time. Water time. Water time. Let's go. Let's go. Water time. It doesn't always have an actual bar, but it's still called a bar just because we name things badly. Might be. Might be. H2O. I think they added legendary skeleton key that didn't get consumed. It would be cool, but they shouldn't let key stacks. Shouldn't let key stacks. Wait, have they made key stacks? What if you swap? It doesn't matter. The moment I read, what if you swap X, Y, Z? What if whatever in the run? It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Guys, and no suggestion that have to do with run matter. Uh, we don't even know how much damage we do right now. Uh, also, the healing does not slow it down. Actually, I'm playing Peglin in the background, not even looking at Backpack Hero. as it just clicking and waiting? Yeah, I mean, honestly, this is a, this is a, like the thumbnail suggests. This is a just chatting uh, stream. We are having the meme run. We are doing the thing, yes. But in general, we are just chatting, chilling, answering questions, thinking about stuff that has to do with real life, you know, applications. And I'm promoting Greece, you know, because it's awesome here and don't understand how people don't come over here while they know it's awesome. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how we roll over here right now. We haven't been able to measure this first attack in over 100 floors. <laughs> yeah, that's true. A key ring item. A key ring item would be interesting. The more keys are on the key ring, the more a certain buff. I mean, there is a key blade. Nothing matters until something survives two hits. Two hits, yeah, exactly. Two hits, not even one. Like, something is allowed to survive one hit, but until something survives two hits, we're still going. Yeah, it's quite nice how you talk about things. You should make a podcast or something. Yeah, I was, th I was thinking about doing a podcast. I was really thinking about doing a podcast, but uh, the thing is... Uh, with who would I do the podcast? That is the main issue on the podcast idea. So, um, yeah, that, that's like literally the main issue. I need to have somebody that is similarly minded to me and... Um, I don't know. You eat yet? Don't wait till hunger pangs again. I have not eaten for the night food yet. Uh, that's a good idea. I'm thinking about ending the stream in about half an hour. Uh, may yeah, about half an hour should be enough. Because I, 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 this time I don't want to butcher my own schedule. I want to have enough time to record then other videos and also to do a bit of editing because, you know, most of this run needs editing. And um, I mean, at this point, this run is most likely not going to get uploaded on the live stream uh, on the on YouTube. Like, I will just edit in the, the parts where we actually change weapons and stuff because, yeah, there is... I don't think I need to explain that much. I didn't wrote this end it now. Why? 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 Why are people negative? Why are people negative? <laughs> Just upload the audio of your streams and upload it as a podcast. That, uh, that that's expanding, <laughs> expanding around. I bet people listen to you stream as a podcast. Ah, uh, maybe that that might actually be true. <clears throat> that might actually be true. So you believe that more people would come in and watch a podcast? I mean, this is a podcast at this point. At this point, this is almost a podcast. Like the background doesn't even matter. And by the way, Konope, thanks for the super chat. I completely forgot to, to announce that. <laughs> like, I just read it and I was like, okay. I'm, I'm really sorry if I missed any donation or super chat, but I think I'm onto it. Hima? 
J. G. O. D. coming in from uh, a random discussion that happened like five <laughs> about 20 minutes ago. Ne, yeah, Himak, yeah, Krasimir, I'm about to do something. Um, yo, yo, how are we growing? ASMR Sift podcast, maybe, maybe. I'm gonna be like, <clears throat> if you want me to tell something in the this voice, or if you want to, <clears throat> let's actually go the the very deep, heavy uh, ASMR voice. I'm not even sure if this voice is good, by the way. Okay, so if people would like to listen to this voice say something like, I don't know, Dead Tool, I really enjoy all the support you have provided, then donate. I mean, no, 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 just don't, just don't. I'm not, I'm not sure if that is uh, even a good. Uh... By the way, uh, a fair announcement right now. I'm not good at repeating my own accents. So there is a good chance I will never be able to repeat the thing I just said in the same voice and the same tone. So uh, please avoid uh, doing something, uh, you know, hoping for the perfect copy. Then, um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the text. Sift, it's make things faster. Swap, not min-max swap. I don't want to make things faster. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Have you considered me doing this? I'm, I'm uh, no bad voice. <laughs> okay. That voice is far worse, lol. Okay, we're not gonna do that again then. Americans like to hear clear accents. It's refreshing. I'm happy. Okay, we got another DPS check. Here we go. 374,000. Obviously, this these are rookie numbers. But is it gonna be enough to survive? Do we do less or more than 374,000 damage on literally our first attack? This is only our first attack. Let's see. First attack, 374,000. Is it possible? No, he's dead. We still don't know how much damage we do. We have no idea how much damage we do. Let's continue. <laughs> oh, let's continue. I know you're not min-maxing, but King's Trigger more. What do you mean, King's Trigger more? Uh, thanks for the super chat donation, by the way, Conope, but I don't know what you mean. Americans like to hear clear voice. I read that. Is It's like girls liking British accents. Ah, your basic voice is nice. I hate how people try to make slow voice vibe when it's not their actual voice. Ah, yeah. By the way, uh, I am I can talk really fast in Greek. I mean, I think everybody can talk really fast in their own language, right? Uh, I think. Is that a thing? I'm not sure if it's a thing. Maybe there's a thing. Who knows? But I remember one time I tried to um, I tried to say something really quickly to a person just to not sound like I'm talking Greek uh, because we were like uh, we were like it, it, there were like two Germans and two Greeks and me and I knew both of these things. Okay, I knew both of the languages and uh, I was trying to intercept what the German saying and translating it to Greek to the Greeks. Um, and I was talking very quick Greek just to do the translation quickly. And instead of achieving the fact of, you know, they're going to ignore us, the opposite happened because it sounded so gibberish. But at least the Greek people understood what I was saying. Uh, probably you are doing 420,000, 69 damage. Yeah, that, that, that is most likely the damage I'm doing. That, that is uh, very true. Or, or I might... Ooh! Ding 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 We got it. Okay, let's throw away the Queen Cleaver and let's see how much damage we do now. Let's continue. Uh if I find the Queen Cleaver later, I might pick it up again. Am I missing something that I should throw away? I mean we're definitely gonna keep the money for the max life. Okay, we're gonna go here and let's see how this was gonna go. And if this is gonna go well, then there is a good chance I'm gonna also throw no there there is no other room. Okay, let's go. Uh let, let's go and see how much damage we do now. Oh, let's, go, let's go to the shop too. Imagine if this guy's like Queen Cleaver and then we're like, no, now I cannot reverse. Okay, let's attack. And now here I'm gonna see if this thing is gonna have more damage or not. People can talk fast, but they just normally don't, because brains can't keep it up some people. Yeah, that, that's fair. More adjacent cleavers using King Cleavers. Uh, they, they, th that, that is not a thing. I'm gonna tell you right now, Konope, that's not a thing. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna showcase why. Okay, first of all, we do 3,000 damage. We were doing 2,000... Weren't we doing like 2,700 or something? I think we were doing 2,700 or something. So uh, now we do more. Now we do 3,000. So uh, the the part of what triggers more. Do you see that everything like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hmm. 
how how okay so uh, give me a sec one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and these have how many stopwatches 17 17 17 17 17 17 17 17 so that means that this thing also triggered once yeah that is and this also triggered once triggered once why do we have 17 stopwatches on all of these this should be how oh this has 18 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 okay so i think this is going to be used as proof so this thing has 18 stopwatches okay this thing gets triggered by everything once that means that the queen cleavers and the king cleavers are irrelevant of if things trigger or not because otherwise this would not have 18 stacks because it triggers once from the shield okay once from the queen cleaver and uh, I, I mean, actually, once from the shield, and then eight, 18 other times from everything else, like 17 other times. I, I mean, I really don't care about this, man. I, I really don't care about the math about this. Like uh, when we get to the point where opponents survive, I don't know, my fifth hit, then we're gonna recalculate. We need a dingy mode. <laughs> the hat. Damn, son, energy out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Why does this run? Super fast kill. Yep. Not enough duct tapes. Devs watching this run. Where <laughs> we made a mistake? <laughs> what did we do wrong? <laughs> Remember when you said naked monkey? Yes. Did they get banned? Banned? They might get banned, by the way. They might actually get banned by um, by the bot. I do have a bot that uh, that bans the word naked. But the reason I'm banning the word naked is because the the bots that are spamming always have that word inside of their name. Okay. Like, I'm sorry if you say the word while you're trying to do something. You know. Oh, Sift, I saw a man naked one time, you know? Then, uh, can't do anything about that. It's it's fighting the, the bots. Ah, okay, nice. JGO'd. Nice, nice. Uh, he just said that, he or she said that, uh, it doesn't, uh, they, they don't speak Greek. Still learning. Ikos. Ikos is house. <laughs> but nobody used that word. You can try clicking just the jack, and if the number of stopwatches is, is the same, you can safely throw away the shield spirit. Obviously not. I still want to maintain the meme of I can attack 10 times. Why would I reduce my attack of time I can attack by 5? This costs 1, this costs 2. Every cleaver heading any duct tape activates all Jason cleavers. I could theoretically increase my damage even further, but uh, uh, I, can, I could reduce my first hit damage further, okay? But not my normal damage. So I could throw away the little buckler. And I could also throw away the um, this thing, the shield spirit, and put in both of those spots a queen cleaver, right? And then also a few hats. I mean, I don't have room for hats, but yeah, it would be a queen cleaver. Man, that, that it has been a long time since we found the archery, stupid guy. So yeah, I could throw this away for a queen cleaver, and I could also throw this away for a queen cleaver. But would it even... It would, like, add 300 damage, but it would definitely not add 5... Man, it doesn't matter. Sift, when did you see... Uh, never. Um, ever. In my whole life. I, I wasn't going. I, I never went uh, football in my life. No, never. Nobody has ever seen. Um, never. <laughs> That's what I got. Do you even need heal if you are dead after one shot? Uh, yes, because I will die from spikes. Uh, you should try narrating what is happening in Greek for a moment. Never heard the language. Now that your channel has grown more, have you? You know what? I'm gonna talk. You know what? Let me explain something. Le le you know what? Let's make it a meme. Let's make it a meme. And uh, le let's make it a meme. Okay? Right now, the meme that is happening is for 20 bucks, people are muting me. Okay? We can also make it for uh, for a minute. And we can also make this that I can speak in, in, in Greek for a minute or something, you know? Why, why why stop at the muting when we can do something more fancy and more weird and more very weird? You know? Th that's like a very simple solution. Let me lie in the car. You steal us. I guess. You don't speak English. You don't speak Greek. But you're just a, a funny, a funny dude. Uh, <laughs> by the way, you never say yourself, Malagas. Like you, you never, you never say yourself. You say to the other one. Uh, it's, 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 yeah. It's as if you said. It's as, it's as weird as saying I'm a cool dude or I'm a funny dude. Like you don't actually. You can use it. Like the, the sentence makes sense, but it's not. It doesn't. It, it's not used like that. You don't say I'm a cool dude or uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a awesome dude. Like. You don't say you don't use the word dude like that. What a plan for your next items. Where do you put the hat? Blame Google Translate. 
Water time. Okay, water time it is. Let's go. Man, I'm gonna hydrate more than I hydrate in my real life. That's really good. Okay, drunk. Let's go. <laughs> None of that was my knowledge. Maybe I should do a, a drunk stream. Or you know what I could do? I could... Uh, uh, you know what? I could invest some of the YouTube money and do like... Uh, go, go over to... You know, that, that's like... I, I could... Instead of doing drunk stream... Drunk stream because everybody does drunk stream. I can go ahead and go over to Switzerland or something. Shift speak German for a minute. Oh, that's very bad. Ugh. Okay, guys, German time, so everybody please explain in the chat that what's happening when they join. Okay, yeah, my 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 Dutch is not really nicht that nicht sehr gut. That's just sehr hard, man. That's just sehr hard. Uh, kannst du Deutsch or just 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 einfach so? Du wolltest einfach, dass ich mal Deutsch spreche. Was 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 hast du es? Warum warum musste ich mal Deutsch sprechen? Warum? Ich konnte Griechisch sprechen. Warum hast du das gemacht? Ähm... <lacht> Na, let them be confused. Warum soll ich nicht wissen, was passiert? Keine Idee, Mann. Deutschland, ja! Gehen wir mal. I can't understand here from the Netherlands. Ich, ich weiß nicht, warum du nicht understandst. Du kannst nicht... Du kannst nicht... Du kannst nicht understand? Nein. Whatever. I'm gonna say that it's done, okay? I mean, German is a lot harder than Greek. I'm sorry. Speed up attacks, no. Was it okay? Does anyone speak German? How is he doing? Das ist nun unser Chat. Yeah, the chat is German, Deutschland now. Now? 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 This is now. Wie viel Uhr ist es now? Now? Ich glaube, ich glaube, mein Deutsch ist die good. Richtig war gut. Aber sehr gut. Yes. War gut, man. Du, ha du hast den Mitch. Mitch? Mitch? Du hast den Mitch? Ist das... Ist das Deutsch? Fun fact, German is the seventh hardest language. Ist das wahr? Ich dachte, Deutsch ist nicht sehr hart. Keine Idee. Anyway, that's it. Okay, that's it. I, I did like two splits. I didn't make it one minute. I did like... Uh, du hast mich. Ja, du hast mich ist... Uh, du hast... Du hast, du hast mich. By, by the way, by the way, my German is like, ja, wie geht's? Uh, ich bin, uh, ich bin Sift, ich, ich mache einen YouTube-Channel, uh, alles ist gut, ja. Yeah. Uh, th that's German, right? And when people mock German, they're like, oh, German? That's a language that sounds like schwachten, 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 schwachten. And it's like, that is not how German sounds. Like, where did you listen that thing? If anything, German sounds a lot lighter, like a lot lighter than schwachten, schwachten, schwachten. No, that's not how German sounds. Like what? Why do people do hast? Maybe Rammstein is the reason why people think that German is extremely uh, heavy. Like uh, oh, oh I, I, ich spreche Deutsch und Deutsch ist für ich eine sehr uh, ich, ich, ich Sprache. Und no. <laughs> if you want to lose and you win, do you win or do you lose? <laughs> nech, 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 so geht's nicht. Ne, 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 no, that, that geht's nicht. How many languages can you speak? Three: German, Greek, and English. Is the three I can, but it does sound angrier than many others. Does it? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Like if you see two people speak a, a normal discussion, like a very normal discussion, I don't think it is. Like, um, wo warst du gestern, man? Uh, ich understand. Ich habe nicht. Ich understand nicht, weil, weil warum warst du nicht hier? Ich ich warte. Ich hatte. Ich ich warte auf dich. I'm, I I don't know, man. I'm 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 butchering my grammar right now, but I don't think it sounds heavy. I don't know. I don't know. No idea. We're gonna stop the German for a moment. German doesn't sound angry. Yeah, exactly. Like not angry and also not heavy. I don't know why the why the how the heavy shwa 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 thing happened for Germany. German has hard dialects, but the language as a whole surprisingly soft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I do agree with that. I also remember that uh, where I was living in Germany, uh, there was Plattdeutsch. That's how it's called. I, I don't know what the English uh, I, I don't know what the English word for Plattdeutsch is, but uh, it's like uh, an, a dialect, and they, they def you don't understand what they're saying, man. The only thing that I want know from that dialect is like what mut dat mut, something like that. I don't even know how to do the accent of the dialect. What mut dat mut. Something like that. That's the only thing I remember, like, repressed memories, you know? Like, the only uh, combination of words that I remember. 
Possibly it sounds angrier to English ears. Maybe. You're speaking German reminds me a lot of someone I met that learned German. Haha. <laughs> I didn't learn German. I was born in it. I was uh, molded by it. I mean, yeah, I learned German. <laughs> Uh, it's just the consortium sound being close together that makes it sound angry to me. Ah, maybe. It's called Lower German. Plattdeutsch is Lower German, although it's spoken at the very height of Germany. Wenn ich mich Akzente rede, könnte mich Deutsch nicht verstehen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Man, in Germany, the accents in different areas are so heavy that even Germans don't understand them. Give me a sec here, give me a sec. Okay, back. A free five, se five seconds mute. Uh -huh. There is Hochdeutsch also. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Alpine Stock. What area is that accent? My German? My German... Uh, I don't know. No idea. I've been, I, I don't want to give away data of where I have lived uh, in my life because I'm, I'm a bit uh, paranoid still. I'm a bit paranoid about this stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Is this the final log of this build? Um, yes. I think yes. Do is there any improvement to this? Like, I think this is literally the best this can get. I don't see any way of this getting improved whatsoever. Like, the only thing we could do to maybe improve it would be to throw away this duct tape, pull the jack lever, uh, pull the jack lever down, and uh, put another chef's hat, chef's, chef's hat in. Like, I, I don't see any other way of this improving. And even then, I think it's not even going to improve. I think it's going to be worse. So, uh, yeah. Maybe more duct tapes is going to be more damage, by the way. Like, maybe one more duct tape is going to do the difference. But I need to get a duct tape to test it. Let's go. Don't worry, Sift. I already know where you live. I won't tell them. Uh-oh. Din, din, din. Diddle, din. <clears throat> I mean, with all that money that you donated that tool, I can fly away with a plane. <laughs> A drink. What's the drink? Oh, would you ever drink hot sauce for donos? No, I'm a super anti-hot. I cannot eat hot at all. I'm one of those people that say, "Is this hot?" And then the and then the you know the garçon or whatever they're called. By the way, what are the people? I I want to talk, stop saying garçon. How how are people called that are working the the, the food industry? Um, that give you the food. Jack, King, Queen. Yeah, it doesn't matter, though. Like, the difference is small. As the more age we get, the more infinite... Uh, waiter, yeah, waiter. Yeah, yeah, waiter, waiter servers. Yeah, wait, wait, waiter, waiter, thanks. So, I'm one of those people, when you ask the waiter, is this hot? And they tell you, slightly. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna take it because I don't trust you slightly. It's gonna be too hot for me, for sure. So, yeah, I'm not eating, like, uh, hot things and stuff at all. Have you watched Star Wars in German? No. <laughs> I have watched a bunch of shows in German, though. You know what I've watched in German? I have watched Battlestar Galactica in German, and specifically in German channels. So if you are a German and ever saw Battlestar Galactica in TV, then I was also watching it, most likely. A and Heroes, too. Uh, Battlestar Galactica and Heroes, uh, those two I have seen in German, in, in TV. Waiter. Bedino. <laughs> have a good sleep. Wait stuff. Was... <laughs> Yeah, uh, waiter, okay, got it, waiter. No, no, it was for English. <laughs> Where did you live in Germany? Are you close to the border of Dutch? I was in an area that were, they were speaking Plattdeutsch. I mean, not exactly in that city, but it was uh, that, that if somebody had an accent, it would be Plattdeutsch. Okay, that is the, the best I can give you for the general area of where I was. Maybe for an extra hat swap, the cat does not matter. Are you gonna go live tomorrow? I don't know. I want to go a bit out with my friends and stuff. I want to do some stuff tomorrow and the day after too. So there is a good chance that tomorrow and the day after I will be doing um, just the classics, you know. Uh, the classics triple upload or something like that. Maybe even a double upload, depending on my bad schedule. Garçon makes me think of boy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's a very good like boy. Like, garçon, garçon, excuse me. Like no, <laughs> uh, but I I'm like when I'm mixing the words up, I, I don't even know what to say. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely not the person that would eat the a hot sauce for the question that this whole discussion opened up with. Waiter, waitress, have you watched Star Wars? Yeah, it's uh, still thinking. Kings are playing. Uh, that's pretty more important. Am I invited to hang out with your friend Sift? If you come over to Greece, yeah, why not? Why not?
I mean, we we would. Oh, sorry, I clicked on uh, I clicked on the chat and the, the we stopped this thing to hang out with Freya. As I said, why not? If you want to join Greece uh, under specific circumstances, right? Like, uh, you, you will have to do something on your own, and then you're like, Oh, yo, Sift, I'm in Greece. Do you want to... Uh, could you maybe... I, I don't know. Honestly speaking, on the one hand, this is opening, like, the door to people to come visit me on purpose, and that might become a bit creepy. Uh, although, I do understand the, the move. Like, it's... It, it's fair. I do understand, but uh, it feels creepy, too. But, uh, I don't know, man. On the one hand, I'm like, wouldn't it be awesome if I went somewhere and people would be like, Yo, is this... Is, uh, are you Sift? And then we just open a discussion about whatever they decide to. You're, yeah, I'm Sift. And then we talk or whatever. On the other hand, if I'm, like, out with friends and if I'm doing something... So, if I'm not actually doing videos and I'm doing something specific, like I go out with friends to eat or drink or just party in general or, you know, board games or whatever, and then people just interrupt us and be like, uh, Yo, are you Sift? Blah, 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 blah. And then, then it's maybe a bit... I don't know. It's a bit weird so i i really don't know how to handle this like i really want to you know be even more part of the community on the one hand on the other hand i don't want to open myself up to uh I, you know some crazy stuff let's continue let's now read what uh server is the newest term okay, we're gonna skip that uh is the shadow server sounds so sub sub -bibian though why not wait <laughs> i think it sh would have to be a very person specific to be very person specific. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Sift is not publicized. Hey, Sift, how many buffs have you gotten in total rage and haste? Uh, that's a good question. Let's see. A rage is 13 rage per attack, and this is 7 haste per block. And then I also have a rage on one of those cleavers, but it doesn't really matter. So I guess more than 17. Uh, 14 rage and uh, 7 haste. Whetstone. Was there a whetstone? Oopsie. Oopsie. Was there a whetstone? No. Was there really a whetstone? I didn't realize. If there was a whetstone, I'm sorry, guys. It is what it is. Oh, I, I didn't even need to go this fight. Well, whatever. Storm. In the shadows. I mean, yes, I know their weight stuff does what they can, both singular and plural. Oh, you mean... Oh, you mean uh, instead of going with um, waiters, you go with, instead of going with um, uh, servers, it's waiters. Eh. Does it really matter? I, I guess it does for the people that are working in the industry. I don't know, man. When, when I'm in a restaurant or whatever, I, I never like call them. I never call them anything. Like they just come to your table. Are you ready? No, please come in a bit again. And then you see what you're what if you're ready or not. Like by the way, the culture here on eating and drinking and going out in general is a lot different. So you go to a table, for example, and you are totally vent puffs and two hundred thirty. So, so you go, for example, to um, you go. You know, to a restaurant, you just sit down, you watch the menu, they come next to your table, are you ready to order? No, I'm not. Can you come in a bit again? No, we're not. Can you come in a bit? Or, or you're ready because you might know it. If you're ready and you know what you take, you just take what you take, right? But if you're not ready, they just leave. You just uh, see your order, you see what you want to take, then you close the books, you leave them on the table, and then you just wait. You never call them. You're not like, yo, yo, we're ready to order. I mean, you can do that, and a lot of people do that, and yes, it's like... You, you do that, okay? You do say you're ready to order, but you're not forced to. You can just sit there and just talk with your friends or talk with whoever you are there, you know, with your woman or whatever, or your man or, or whatever. And uh, and then you just wait for the waiter to come and then you're like, okay, we, we want to buy this and this and this. Uh, is this spicy? Yes, okay, not that. Let's do this, okay? Okay, and done. And then you're like, yep, now we can eat, now we can drink, now we can, like, wait. And then you sit on the table and just talk. You know, they never ever, like, it was so surreal when I, when me and, like, about 10 people with a program, with, like, a European program, went over to Berlin. And, um, not Berlin, not Berlin. Uh, what is it called? What is it called? Uh, uh, how can I explain this now? Um, it's okay. Okay, it's it's the city where uh, a very famous little trade food for cleaver. I don't have true food. I don't even care about cleaver. It's a city where th there is a very famous little um, statue with a person that um, I would say goes to the VC, but he doesn't go to the VC. He is a fountain statue. Okay. I don't know, I, I don't remember the country, but I remember that that was the very known statue. It's like a little person, so it's like a kid, that is a fountain, you know, and you can imagine how the fountain functions, you know? Brussels, okay. 
Most likely that. Most likely Brussels. Bruxelles. Exactly. Okay, you guys found it. I was there. And, uh, like... Belgium, 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 Belgium. It's Belgium. It's Belgium. It's Belgium. It's Belgium. Okay, it's Belgium. Th that is the answer. So, I was in Belgium. And, uh, like, we were sitting, you know, 10 people, a whole company, you know, a bunch of friends. Or everybody, like, being like, okay, let's... Uh, you know, it wasn't an Erasmus program. It was, like, an our program. It was uh, some kind of European uh, one week go over there and talk about something program. I, I, I don't even remember what it was about. But it was, like, uh, it had to do with the government. Like, uh, not the government. Uh, I guess, yeah, the government. It, it was, like, we need seven people to go there. It's like a program. And you, you have to join the program and you have to be there, etc., etc. So we were there and we were sitting and we were just, you know... We, we took food, we took drinks, we were just chilling, we were waiting for a plane to go. Um, and then, like, we, we ate our food, we ate our drinks, and then we were like, okay, now we're gonna chill one hour here in the restaurant. Uh, it wasn't a restaurant, by the way, it was like an outside place that, that had food and drinks. It, it, it was a restaurant, but it wasn't like a super fancy thing. And there weren't that many people there, right? It, it, it was just a restaurant in the middle of the... In the, middle of the 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 what is it called the um, the place there i don't know how to say it it, it, it was like a huge place that has like, that had like huge buildings and uh very famous uh, was it the church i don't even know man it was like the biggest what is it called the biggest um what is it called when you man my, my it's so hard to me to use english for words that i'm not using in my real life that often uh, not a marketplace just a place like like a huge open area something like that okay we, we were just waiting in the in the biggest open area in 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 the city in belgium yeah plaza exactly we were we are plaza uh, thank you everybody thank you plaza perfect perfect plaza perfect square plaza exactly exactly those words um so we were in a huge plaza i think the most famous plaza and uh, over there in uh, what, what what did you call it? in belgium and we were chilling. It was like a cafe slash... Yeah, it was a cafe pretty much. Yeah, it was a cafe. It was a cafe. We were sitting at a cafe in the in, a, in the most famous plaza in uh, Belgium, okay? And uh, it was empty, okay? It, it didn't have a lot of people. It was pretty empty. We sat down. We got our coffees. We got somebody, called, got like a toast or something, you know, just, just to eat. And then... Like, after an hour, after we all drank our coffee, so we were like, okay, we're, we need to, like, wait for another hour because, you know, our plane is gonna go, so we're just gonna chill here, we're chilling on the coffee, you know, some of us were still drinking a bit here and there, you know, we were, you know, more relaxed, and then at some point after an hour, um, the waiter just came along and was like, you gotta order something else or you, or you have to leave, or you have to pay, you know, and, um, we were like, uh, like, it's empty, Right now, the the, 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 the the shop is completely empty. We haven't seen a new customer. I mean, one customer joins every, I, I don't know, 15 minutes. So it still will maintain its emptiness after an hour. And we're like, what? Like, why? Why, why do we have to leave? I mean, we were okay with paying, obviously. But why, why would we have to leave right now? Like, you do not need to be next to us. We, we will not destroy the table. We will just sit here and don't do anything and in about half an hour or an hour or 40 minutes there is a chance if you would not come to our table that we would buy something more like we were just chilling there right we were just chilling in the cafe and we were just waiting for the time to pass uh, we had all of us had bought, bought something by the way all of us had bought something it, it, it wasn't that we, we were freelancing we did buy something but they said to us you either buy now something else or you will have to pay and leave and the like the cafe was empty so yeah we were like Okay, we're gonna buy a bottle of water. Happy? And then, like, obviously, they were like, okay, if you were playing with us, then we were playing with you too. And they brought us the water. And then five minutes later, they came again and said to us, you need to buy something else. And then we were like, okay, man, how much is the... How much is the... Um, the, the money? How much? Let us just pay and leave. Come on, let's go. And for some reason, all of that happened in Belgium. And we did not know Belgium. Like the the main shop owner or, or the garçon i don't know somebody came along and they were talking belgian to us by the way 390k thousand let's see let's see if we do that much damage they were talking to us belgian and they were like you got to leave in their language we did not understand what they were talking about is it france i don't even know what they're talking over there and we, we how much was the tab is the tab uh i don't know i, I have no idea how much it was i remember only the water being 2.5 uh, two and a half bucks by the way, a water of bottle, 500 ml, like um, a, a solo bottle, I guess, uh, an atomic bottle, 
in Greece costs 50 cents. So paying 2.5 2, 2 for a bottle in, is very weird for us Greeks. Should try explaining the metric system to all the Americans here. Just ditch you? How rude. Warum sind hier so viele Deutsche? Have you ever been to Netherlands? Mm, is Netherlands Amsterdam? If Netherlands is Amsterdam, it's literally the, the country I want to go to. Like, I want to go to Netherlands, if Netherlands is where Amsterdam is, because Netherlands is called Hollandia over here, so it's really mixing me up if that is actually that, because, you know, Holland exists, and Greeks has decided that Netherlands is called Hollandia, okay, while Holland exists. This is so stupid. Amsterdam is the capital of Netherlands, exactly. Yeah, this is so stupid, man. Like, Greek, the Greek language has the, the name of... Like, if you would listen to somebody saying Greek, Thapos Nolandia, what country do you think he mentioned? When he says, I'm gonna go to Olandia. Like, this is extremely stupid. And this made me mix up what... Like, I don't know. Like, in my mind, I don't remember that Netherlands is Olandia. And right now, like, we're talking about it. But uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm... Like, in a month, I'm gonna forget it again. In a month, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna go to Holland. <laughs> Holland is just part of the OG Netherlands. Ah, uh, maybe that's the reason. Holland is... Ah, uh, yeah, maybe that's the reason. Yo, uh... Guys, I know German, but... Maybe don't spam German in the, in the chat. I mean, don't don't time them out. Don't don't uh, don't ban them. They are allowed to do that. But if possible, you know, uh, Americans do know the metric system. They also know the imperial system. Oh yeah. <laughs> so they do know the good system, and they also know a useless system. That's what I understand. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I mean, it's not useless. The, the word useless was just used for uh, for fun. It's obviously not useless because people use it by definition. Uh, I'm having fun and they speak Dutch in Belgium. Holland does not mean Netherlands. Holland does not mean Netherlands. Exactly. <laughs> Netherlands in German is Holland. Netherlands in German is also Holland. Okay, you see? Holland and Netherlands are slightly different historical construction of the region. Okay. Well, now we're getting into the... Ne ne oh! What are we doing now? What are we doing now? Do we throw something away? I don't think this fits. I don't think this fits. If I take this... I will need to throw away two things to make this work, right? Because if I put this here, for example, uh, let's say I put it here, okay? Uh, then I will need one room, like, no, it's just not happening then. It, it just doesn't, it just, I, I cannot fit it somehow. I, I don't know how to fix this, uh, to fit this. Like, if, if I, for example, uh, this is like the only good spot, because here it's gonna hit the crystals. So this is literally the only good spot. Wait a minute, if I throw this away, is this better? It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. I don't think it works. Like, I have to put it here, and then I have to get uh, two more cleavers. One from, um, like, one here, and then one here, and then I also have to throw something out also away, because, no, no, it, it just doesn't. It just doesn't work. It, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. The build is done. Like, this is the build. Until we find opponents that actually survive, this is the build. Let's make sure I didn't make a huge mistake, throw something out. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Let's go. Doesn't fit exactly. The Imperial system feels better for... Estimations, but nothing more. Doesn't, does it? Because, does it? Like, is it easy to understand how much uh, three inches, are, uh, three, three foot feet are? I mean, I, I don't even know the exact numbers. I have no idea, man. I think that I think that both of the systems are just uh, if if you get used to them. If you get used to them, then you can easily say, okay, this is one meter. Okay, this is two feet. Like it's 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 just it's just the same thing. Like you, you just uh, have to get used to it at the end of the day. Like uh, you mean to tell me that the metric system, the you mean to tell me that the metrics, the imperial system is better to just randomly avoid just. Um, you know what? I I know a person. I know a person like from my from my what is it called? When I was going to the uni. I had a teacher that was able, with his eyes, to differentiate between uh, centimeters. He, he could just say, this is not 17 centimeters. I can guarantee you that this is not 17 centimeters. And, that was, that, and he was right. Like, it was 17.6. Or it was uh, 18, you know? So, uh, Konope, two bucks. Use the duct tape for the cursed amulets. Use the duct tape for the cursed amulets. Is that a thing? But what would that help? For what would that help? I don't think that would help somehow. I don't see how it would help. Because this is adjacent. 
Which adjacent curse? Yeah, I don't think we'll have the... Wow, this is still going. Kaful compliments. Would you switch hard? What was I talking about, by the way? I don't even remember what I was talking about. By the way, this is like the last uh, loop we're gonna go through. Uh, because I already overshot my time. Classic Sift, man. Classic Sift. He talks about random stuff and he always forgets it. I think I think the best play right now, by the way, is uh, what we're doing. We're skipping fights. I think skipping fights is the fastest way to actually improve this. Other than, you know, rearranging that people are suggesting, which is not gonna happen. But I think skipping fights is a good idea. We arrange now and give a test duct tape on a down inlet. Have you ever been to Romania? No. Why don't you use a cleaver? Not the booklet. Does not matter. Try to pronounce Noi. I need to read the word first. Noi hundred nine. Ah, ah, no, nine hundred nine nine hundred nine hundred and nine ninety. Nine hundred and nine ninety. I know German, man. I hope I, I hit it. Could you switch hard jam? It doesn't matter. Uh, would you, uh, you were talking about what you like to eat for breakfast? No way. No, that is not what I said. <laughs> there is no way I was talking about that. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> I got the got here. Like spot not like spot. Not, damn, you pronounced it correctly. Like spot on. Not gonna lie. I know German. <clears throat> Now try f fünf fünf thousand. Why, why why do you have an end there? Shouldn't it be and ah and and und? Shouldn't it be und? Fünf thousand und fünf hundert fünf und fünfzig. Fünf thousand und fünf thousand fünf hundert und fünf und fünfzig. Ich glaube. Ach, whatever, man. Whatever. Are you trying to make me do stupid stuff? Will you make a shorter video of this build? Um, yeah, hello White Fang, hello Sift, I made it. You made it at the final loop, just so you know. Like, uh, when we hit the final boss here, it's gonna be the end. Archery kid, useless. Without the und. 500, Guys, it's like, what, why? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Infinite healing, without the USD. Without the UND. Guys, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Volume. At least I made it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. What do you like to eat for breakfast, by the way? For breakfast? I don't know. Whatever whatever comes along. Whatever. I literally just... I'm like, yep. Whatever we have for food. Laughing. The game doesn't think you can get here. So you can't even see the floor number, probably. <laughs> exactly. Was it so hard to have the levels in a different area than what the floors are at? Like, why are the levels literally next to the floors? Or why are they in the same line, even? They could be one below the other. Like, this was a failed, uh, a failed, uh, yeah, this a fail, straight up. Have you tried German beer? Uh, not in a, not in a year. Not, not, uh, not in the, not after being above 15 years old. So I would say I, I will take it as a no. Um, yeah, about the German beer. I would say no. Obviously, in uh, kitty numbers, like when I was five or six, I wasn't drinking beer. So, that tool, 20, 20 bucks, super chat. Let's hear one minute of Greed Shift. Okay, let's go. Elin Kalibon, Tinapo, Xerova. Anagiskatha, Yavazo, Staglika. Try saving any numbers that's over three digits in France. Tienois, Napo number, Napo number three, Staglika. Γαλλικά, χάμισε τα ανάγκα. Νομίζω τα γαλλικά νούμερα είναι ό,τι χειρότερο από ό,τι έχω μάθει. Το έχω δει. You must be dreaming of cleavers. Α, η αλήθεια είναι όχι τόσο. Αλλά εντάξει, τι να πω, δεν ξέρω, πραγματικά δεν ξέρω να πω. Μόνο οι Έλληνε εδώ πέρα αυτή τη στιγμή καταλαβαίνουν. Και πραγματικά πιστεύω, μιλάω τόσο γρήγορα που ακόμα και αυτοί που δεν ξέρουν ελληνικά καλά, πα να μην καταλαβαίνουν χρηστό. Πραγματικά πα να μην καταλαβαίνουν τίποτα. Και ναι, νομίζω. Α, κάνα τέταρτο ακόμα το κάνω αυτό. Και πάνω κάτω τελειώσει όλη η φάση. Shop White Fang. Νομίζω. Νομίζω φτάνει τόσο. Οκ, okay, that was Greek. That was Greek. For... Oh, no! 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 What? What? We almost died. Ελληνικό για το πάμε ρο μαλάκις. Dead tool, go sh. I'm hoping back out. Hey, Lonnie Spartan, hello. I almost died. 
Lonely Spartan once again with five bucks. Again, double one. What? Why double one? What? Cray? You're crazy, man. Thanks for the donation. It will go shi. And I'm hoping back out by. <laughs> um, 10 bucks, Malak. Malchate. When you end the run, can you show the stats? I'm not gonna end the run. I'm gonna end the live stream. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna end the run. The, the run's gonna stay. The live stream's gonna go. Oh, look at this. Do you see how the Gleavers go? Did you see the Gleavers go back and forth? The, the, the run is gonna get saved. I'm gonna save the run. I have like a backup save. I'm gonna save the backup save and then I'm gonna do all the runs. Mini heart attack right there. Yeah, exactly. Rick almost made you lose. Exactly. <laughs> Classic Greeks. <laughs> you all that. I'm currently learning ancient Greek. Why? Why? Guys, learning ancient Greek is as if you're learning la Latin. Uh, not Latin. Um, is it called Latin? In my mind, Latin is the dance. Is it called Latin? Is the language called Latin? Ancient Latin? I think yes. So yeah, why? It's like a dead language. Nobody uses it. And it's also like... People saying that it's gonna help you to learn Greek or something. I, I don't know, man. I'm... I'm... I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm against I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I don't think people should just try to learn Latin. Yeah, okay, it is. Latin is the language. Okay, got it. Thanks everybody. Uh, and it's also the dance, right? I'm going Latin dancing. I'm going Latin dances. I think it's also the dance. Just Latin fight. Last fight from. I don't know why people learn ancient Greek. Greek go brr. Michalis Leos is the cosmos, laddie. Should I learn Dutch or Swedish as a third language? Ancient Greek either for Bible studies or for literature tour. Ah, okay, that's fair. That's fair. If you if you are in, if if like if it's for literature studies or if because you want to learn uh, Homer, you know whatever. Yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. But still, it's pretty. I mean, you know what? Sometimes I disregard people having, uh, you know, uh, what is it called hobbies as useless which is obviously stupid and bad and wrong right like somebody might be like i'm gonna read the iliad or i'm gonna read the odyssey uh, in its own actual language because i want to learn ancient greek and learn the iliad and read it in its actually created language and i'm like why would you do that like what is the purpose of that but in reality everybody's allowed to do whatever they want everybody can do whatever they want as a hobby everybody can just decide what they want so i'm wrong about this but i still believe it like i don't know how to explain it i do believe that it's useless but i also believe that whoever can do it it's power to you man do what you want in general just do what you want as long as you're not impeding in anybody else's freedom you know as long as you're not doing something that makes somebody else not be able to do something um which, by the way, can mean that you break his leg or something. Uh, then, yeah, don't... Just do whatever you want, man. Just just do whatever you want. That's totally different Latin, but yes. <laughs> Let's go. Greek different than ancient Greek. Yeah, Greek and ancient Greek is not the same. Uh, brah, the damage was like 90k. Can we go higher? The, this is 4k. <laughs> ancient German is brain pain, even for German. Is there ancient German? Does that exist? I like how when a bot comes in, it's like, it pushes, it, look at this, bots getting banned all the time. Bots getting banned, but they will appear on the live stream because that is not really preventable. Surprise, this hasn't caused a stack overflow exception. Why would it do a stack overflow exception? Every cleaver has its own number, and I don't think any of these cleavers uh, number is above 5 million or whatever the, the number is. Five, it, it isn't even million, isn't it billion? I think it's billion or even trillion, the stack overflow, so we're not even remotely close to that. Damage 90k. What about Maltese? 90k, you think? We, we do more than 400k, that's for sure. Uh, more than 395k. Well, Wolf Gear, I guess. You should probably learn Swedish because in the Netherlands it's already very easy to get around with knowing English, so Dutch isn't really that needed. Ah, to move from million, 2.1 billion. 2.1 billion, okay. For the, I guess for the overflow is that number. Uh, dinner time, you'll keep getting distracted if you don't stop soon. Guys, the moment I end this loop, we're in one loop, okay? I want to f beat the final boss. When I beat the final boss, I'm gonna stop doing loops. I'm gonna just chat for two, three more minutes. You know, whoever wants to ask something, you know, the last minute questions and stuff. And then if I don't see anything important happen, I will most likely end the read. I mean, not most likely, I will guarantee close the video. I'm already half an hour more than what I wanted to be. I already missed the mark because, you know, classic sift can't stop talking. That's me. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Likely to... Okay. Don't know. Swedish. Swedish. Oh, by the way. Is anybody here from Sweden? 
I uh, when I get to Sweden, not Sweden, Netherlands. Is anybody here from Netherlands? Because when I when I go over to the Netherlands, I will need some tips and tricks about some specific stuff. You know, you know, you know, and uh, yeah, uh, th that thing. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, man, I, I think if you're gonna go there, you should try to do the best you can. Yup, <laughs> I'm from Sweden. Okay, uh, not Sweden, Netherlands. Guys, uh, the, the question asked <laughs> mid mid flight. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> I like how, because I, I, I sentenced the question like that, I like how it's like, is anybody from Netherlands? And then somebody comes in and is like, I'm from Sweden. <laughs> the good green stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. Um... You do more than just games like vlogs, and I was thinking about doing a stream over like that. That could be that. that, that I wanted to say this. Like, I wanted to say this like about an hour ago, um, when I was talking about drunk streams. I was thinking going over to Sweden, uh, going to an internet cafe or something, or booking a PC, or I don't know. Somehow I would make it. I don't know. And instead of doing a drunk stream, uh, drunk stream, I could do a something else stream, which would be fun, and it also would be legal, I think. So uh, although YouTube would be like, no, bro, <laughs> YouTube would be like the. Um, f f the meme from the commercial uh, for for Gillette, who, who's like stopping you at the door. He's like, no, <laughs> uh, you, it might be legal, but the, you're not gonna get. Uh, we're gonna strike you down, bro. The Netherlands, like 90 percent of the people know English. Okay, then that means I can go around. For anyone that doesn't understand Greek, his accent is basically the equivalent of hillbilly from Texas. That's such a lie. That's such a lie. Adere, adere, adere puini hillbilly. That's the, the most lie I have ever heard. Dimitris the third. You, he isn't even the second or the first. He's the third. <laughs> I'm from Netherlands. And in your Discord, glad to provide any of you need. I will ask. I will ask. I will ask when the time comes. When the time comes and I come over to the Netherlands, I will ask around. You know, I want to make sure that. Um, you know, I'm not gonna get scammed, I'm not gonna get swindled, you know, I'm not gonna go to places that have bad reputation, because you can't really trust, I mean, you can trust TripAdvisor and stuff, but it's always better to have TripAdvisor alongside a person, right? You can be like, uh, is the, I don't know, uh, let's say the shop is called uh, the Huge Backpack. Is the Huge Backpack uh, a good place to buy stuff? Like, you can go to TripAdvisor, and TripAdvisor is gonna be like, yeah, it has uh, 50,000 ratings, and it's uh, 4.9 stars. At that point, you're gonna be like, yeah, okay, it's a good place for sure. But, isn't it better when you also ask a local, yo, is this the ba the, the big backpack shop? Is it a good shop? I saw I saw TripAdvisor says it is insane. Is it actually good, or is it just, uh, you know, a place where people... Is it a tourist trap? Is it a tourist spot? You know, that, that's the thing. Because who do you think put those 50,000 reviews up? Do you think the reviews got over there because of Netherlands people? I don't think so. Like, I don't think so. Maybe from those 50,000 reviews, the 2,000 2, of them, maybe the 5,000 of them, but most likely the rest of them is going to be like all the tourists that are going there. I'm from Utrecht. Utrecht? I have a person in Utrecht. I have a person in Utrecht that's living there, like a friend. I can't unhear it. I'm not putting a hillbilly accent on him. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. <laughs> He's wrong. It's a lie. It's a definitive lie. Just because I've said that I live in a village. Now, I, you know what it is? Th that Dimitris over there is biased. He's biased because I live in a village. He's biased that I'm talking like uh, something weird or something. By the way, I, I, th I think like hillbilly accent is in specific areas in Greece. Gouda, I like the cheese. Kalispera, pome. At this point, you're just making enemies have a seizure with the shield. Yeah, they're glitching out of existence. <laughs> Planning on going to Amsterdam when you go to Netherlands? Yes. The plan is to go to Amsterdam. I mean, not that we're chasing, like, not, not that we're gonna go specifically to Amsterdam. By the way, how much damage do we do? <laughs> this cleaver, 8,387. And it gets triggered minimum 17 times. 18 times, actually. It, this thing gets triggered minimum eight, 18 times, and it does 9,000 damage, man. Wow, I don't believe you just turned down a lucky ring. <laughs> there is no room, man. Are you a cowboy? No. Are you going to drop stopwatch if you get on our chef's hat? No. Why would I do that? The the stopwatch gives us, like, plus 40 damage. Ah, honestly, that might be true, though. Is that a good idea? That sounds like a good idea now. I start slowly to believe that the stopwatch is losing its purpose. 
It's losing its uh, its potency. Is it true though? I don't know, man. I'm chilling with what we have. This is the year. This is the year. <laughs> I don't know what the Danny everyone else is saying. For anyone new to the stream, welcome to Waiting Simulator. Waiting? No, it's a welcome to a, a podcast simulator is what you mean. How do you play version 17a when people are 16 to b Because, do you, uh, like, is that the only thing you are seeing? Don't, don't you see that this is full screen? <laughs> I, I guess you don't realize that this is full screen, right? Like, uh, I, I have the Steam version. Which uh, you can get if you are uh, a Kickstarter. I think it's no longer possible for you to get it right now, so... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Steam version. Uryatka! <laughs> yeah, that's that's like full on hillbilly, hillbilly accent. But still, if if somebody has the accent, and you can uh, talk with friends and family, and it doesn't affect you in your life, it doesn't matter. Not no dot judging. You are allowed to have whatever accent you you want. You know, as long as you're able to speak with people, your accent can be whatever it is. If you don't, if you're not able to speak with people, like if people are coming along and are like, what? Like if you're saying like. Um, yo man, what's up, what's up, what's up uh? for what reason will you do that, man? Like, if you're talking extremely weird and people don't understand what you're saying, then yes, you should try to fix your accent. But if if, if it's a normal accent and people understand you, like, it doesn't matter how heavy it is, just, just, good job. Still going well. Welcome to Cleaver Annihilator. Uh, we are closing in to the, to the, uh, we are in the last loop right now, for the live stream, by the way. I think Cleaver is the most busted build. <laughs> you think? Uh, rapid chopping simulator. Let's see this. Glitch out of existence. Glitch out of existence. Glitch out of existence. Glitch out of existence. <laughs> Honestly. There will be ways to support and get the bigger backpack in the future. Devs wish the for patience and it will all come eventually yeah i trust these devs man i trust these devs i believe these devs are one of the good ones <laughs> i had a dream and everything was perfect I had a dream where you were comically large spoon i think uh the 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 sort the magic of me not showing my face I'm not even watching the stream for Backpack Hero. The stories are so interesting and fun to listen to. Yeah, but I need another, st I need another story to talk about. Another hardship. Okay, we're not gonna talk about the game. Both times I got here in about the end, and I haven't understood how the duct tapes contribute. <laughs> um, how the duct tapes contribute? So they just connect everything. When something says adjacent cleaver gets used, all of them are adjacent. This is how they. Do you see this? When I when I when I float over this, it shows what is adjacent. Do you see what is adjacent to this cleaver? Everything. Do you see what is adjacent to this cleaver? Almost everything. Do you see what is adjacent to this cleaver? Everything. Th that's how the deductives work. I hope it it answers the question. The chef's hat in this space where the candle used to be. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna throw away the candle. Let's be honest. You mean I throw away the stopwatch and put the candle over to the left and put another chef's hat over here? Is that gonna increase or decrease my DPS though? Because this 50 damage that the stopwatch does is in reality 300 damage, maybe even more. Stopwatch damage. Oh, 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 Okay. Stopwatch damage about 17. Stopwatch frogs times 16 cleavers times 3.5 hats 1200 times 10 energy. Yeah, exactly. I think the stopwatches might not be crazy right now, but I think the stopwatches will come into play later. Like when I, when an opponent survives the fifth and sixth and seventh hit, then then the the, the stopwatches are gonna come into play. Everything gets hit 15 times. That's why there's so much damage. You know, I only see Tangerine comment unless a dev or the Kickstarter is mentioned. Hidden dev watching for ideas, maybe? You know, I only see Tangerine. Who's Tangerine? Wait a minute, do we have a dev in here? Is there a dev in here that I don't realize? I mean, it's not like I can do something to remember it, other than the fact I'm gonna read the name and maybe remember it then. Stopwatch definitely getting outscaled. Stopwatch is getting outscaled, but this is gonna get outscaled more than the another chef, ha a chef sat. Like... Okay, I do get that on the first attack, the chef's hat is better. 
But is the chef's hat better in the fifth attack or the sixth attack when uh, the stopwatch is going to provide 150, 200 damage to all of the cleavers and then those get multiplied? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And I also don't think it matters. Everything gets hit. Yeah, under that. Oi, oi, oi. Hello, dev. High base damage numbers, multipliers at scale, added flat damage. At high base damage numbers. But do we have a high base damage number? I mean, the belt of knives is the high base damage. Like, the belt of knives adds 400 times, and the stopwatch adds 27. As you see, 480, 60 times, and the stopwatch only plus 32. Wow, actually, times. Wow, the damage is 1,400. Whoa, whoa, what? I just realized, yeah, I think the stopwatch has to go. Like, this thing does... This thing gets 1,500 damage from this thing, and it gets 30 from this thing. I think another... I think another chef sets is the play. I think people are actually correct. You still have 18 block with the slow. <laughs> That's true. Because I gain haste first. I mean, look at this. It says add zero block. Oop. I lied. It happened second. But after the fact, if I attack the second attack, now it's going to give me nine block. And then the third attack is going to give me more. Do you think the game will have a modding community similar to Peglin? If, if the game is made in a way where you can mod it, then yes. Because being able to mod it, uh, for you to be able to mod it, the game has to not have spaghetti code and it has to be made in a way where modding is possible. At least as far as I know, right? I still have 18 block with 6 low. Uh, Chef Sat will multiply belt of knives, which is where your damage comes from. Yeah, I do agree, I do agree. Chef Sat's gonna be the next pickup. What's the game plan for more blue blobs? Blue blobs? What is blue bloops? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Guys, can we get like a discussion about something? <laughs> Can we talk about something? Any any good vacation spots? Anything we should know about? It's 30 times 20 clear is still 600. Tangerine Eden said there will be ways to support and get the bigger backpack in the future. Devs wish for patience and it will come eventually. Sounds sounds dev adjacent or dev. Ah, okay. Ah, I get it. I got it. I, got it. I understand what you mean. So the devs might be watching us once in a while. You know, honestly, I don't think a dev is in this chat right now because obviously the chat has become I'm just talking about whatever. So the, the chance of devs being here is very slim. But um, yeah, I mean, at some point they definitely were here. Like when I had a thousand viewers plus, I'm pretty sure they were here, honestly speaking. <laughs> What's the weather like there? The weather here is godlike. Like nothing bad is happening. It's always sunny um, in general. You always open up, like, all the windows uh, in the morning. You know, it, it's a god weather, as always. Do you think the Peglin devs have anything they need to learn from the Backpack Hero devs? The Peglin... Okay, the Peglin devs need to do something very specific and very simple. Okay? Add more relics, orbs, stages... Like, first of all, like, they need to do three things. Add more relics and orbs. Improve the stages, on average. And uh, make the fights, instead of having uh, 50,000 opponents, have only 3 opponents. Increase the life of the opponents for those fights, okay? You, they should increase the life of the opponents. They should still try to keep the DPS the same. But every single fight should have 3, maximum 4 opponents. Because the way the game is right now, if you don't have Overhammer or anything, uh, any type of AoE, you will have problems. You might still win the game if you're a god, but still, you will have problems if you don't have any type of AoE or Overhammer. So... They, they, it seems like they don't even realize their, their own issues of the system they have made. That's what it feels like. It's not true, obviously. I'm pretty sure the devs are capable people that do understand, you know, stuff. I, I do think, actually, they are capable people. But I do think they miss a mark here and there. I'm stopping the live stream soon, about 40 minutes ago. The next boss, like, literally the next floor is the last floor we're gonna do. Like, literally. Literally the next floor. And get rid of X times zero. Yeah, and get rid of X times zero. The back here devs are <laughs> good chats. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And get rid of the... Yeah, exactly. Like, you know... I have said this already about three to four times, but it, it really got stuck to me. Like, it's like such a meme slash such a, a, a quote-unquote joke. I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. So, when I said to them that 
the chip relic feels bad because it has the time zero and the time zero really feels bad and i think they should improve it to at least time 0.1 you know just so it does not uh, make your fight invalid one of the answers from a dev was that it's one of the few relics that allows you to do 50,000 damage as if as if the upside somehow counteracts how bad the downside is like what even if it did a million damage i don't care i don't want the time zero like what are you talking about i'm talking i'm not talking about what you're talking about like i'm saying that the downside is the most feel bad thing in the game and you're answering to me that the upside is just a big number like th that is irrelevant by the way like fifty thousand damages in that game is irrelevant completely like it's, it's as if you're saying uh, it's like this damage right now like if you would tell me that <laughs> Like, it's irrelevant, man. It should be 2-2, two, two, 0 0.5, 1, 1. Uh, it should be 2-2, two, two, 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. You know what? Honestly, uh, I, this is also something I said. Uh, they should... You know what? If you want to keep the times zero in, then make the more multipliers more uh, important. You know what? I would be okay. I would really be okay. No joke. I would really, really be okay if the chip was four times zero. So, zero, 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 zero. And then the last one is times 100. Okay, if they did that, I would be okay with it. Because then it would actually be gambling that would have some kind of way of being useful. You would be like, okay, I need to hit that specific spot, but it's gonna be awesome. If I don't hit it, then it's down the drain. Then okay. But if it's like times two, times two, times one, times zero, like, are you serious? I'm risking not doing anything for a times two just because there is an orb that can do 5,000, 50,000 damage. Like, are you serious? Come on. Water time, water time. Okay, this is our last attack. So I want the chat to spam. Do we think you got time until this thing dies? Do we think that we do more than 406,000 damage or not? Do we do more than 406,000 damage? Let us go. Let's see. We got it! More than 400,000 damage! We have no idea how much damage we do still. We have still no idea how much damage we do. Was the singing good? Was the music good? <laughs> Was the music even remotely close to what it actually sounds like? Or was it really cringy and uh, not well sung? <laughs> Damn, wow. Love the Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Let's go. More, and I don't even get the game again. <laughs> we definitely do more. We have no idea how much damage we do. We have no idea how much damage we do. <laughs> um, okay, this is going to be the end of the runs. How it happens that another 50 people joined exactly when I decided to slowly end this. Spotify player is worthy, <laughs> but the heal did stop quickly. The heal did stop quickly, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, everything is connected to healing. The only thing that's not connected to healing is uh, this and this. And it doesn't even matter, these get used like once. I love the shift effects. I'm glad you enjoy. Only a couple heals after some around 20 to 30k. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Only three hits after the enemy died, so slightly above 400k. Ah, that's what you meant. Ah, that's what you meant. Okay, okay, okay. So we're very close to it. So if the opponent gets like 450k damage, then uh, we will not one-shot him. I calculate and you do over 3,000 bloop bloops per energy. Uh, I don't know what bloop bloop means. Anyway, the time has come to end the live stream because I have to record. And I even went one hour longer than what I wanted to. So um, yeah, that's a, a classic case of Sif not being able to stop his own live stream. But on the upside, we ended in a nice number, 235. So 235 and a pretty decent number. It's fun and all. We definitely do millions of damage. Buff, buff cleavers now. Yeah, they definitely need to buff the cleavers, man. Bloop bloop is the healing sound. Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for knowing. But if, what time is in your time zone? It is about to become 11 p.m. It's about to become 11 p.m. And I have not shot a single video for tomorrow. So uh, yeah, we got some problems. Tomorrow I will leave live stream again. But there is a, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There is a good chance, okay? There is a good chance that the next game I'm going to live stream is not going to be this one. There is a good chance. Now, that means that a lot of people might not join. It's okay. Everybody can do whatever they want. But I will keep this alive. So if you want to continue, like, this is going to be my podcast just chatting. 
game okay whenever i don't know what to live stream whenever i you know have a day free whenever i have my schedule time done you know whenever everything is ready i'm gonna just come back to this and be like yo guys let's continue the run we are at level 235 you know i'm gonna have a secondary save file just to make sure that uh, you know we can just have fun here what are you gonna record i'm gonna record one backpack hero run because i don't want to continue uploading the same run again and again and again and again okay i'm gonna record most likely one peglin run most likely and uh, I will most likely record uh, some kind of, I don't know, some kind of uh, Vampire Survivors uh, derivative, something like that. I've seen a few more. Ah, you know what? I found a new Vampire Survivors derivative. There is a good chance I'm not going to actually do the Peglin run. There is a good chance I'm going to do one Backpack Hero and two Vampire Survivors derivatives, something like that. Um, I I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. We're going to see. No, I'm too late. Yeah, you're a bit too late. Angel, he's in Greece. Hey, okay, bye. Have a good day. It's only 2 p.m. Yep. Peglin is lovely. Peglin is lovely. I know, I just hate what the devs did with it. I mean, I'm... I'm. Oh, by the way, by the way, I'm about to launch a Peglin run that I'm doing with mods. So if any of you guys actually enjoy Peglin, or if any of you guys want to see what the game could have been, then uh, you are in a, in a nice time here because I'm about to upload it. So let me actually launch the video right now, like this exact moment. So you guys literally transfer over there. By the way, there is like a thing over here in um, in the live streaming where you can redirect the whole stream instantly to something else. But uh, as far as I know, that does not actually work. Allows redirects. Yeah, redirect does not work with videos for some reason, which uh, would be obviously awesome because I could be like, okay, guys, I'm sending you to the video in three, two, one, boom, and everybody gets sent over to the other video, which would be insane. <laughs> Ask queers to other uh, uh, community settings. I don't know. I don't know. Can you send the video right away? I don't know. I can. I, I don't think you can. I don't think you can. I don't find it. Um, live, like YouTube redirect to a new video. Yeah, that's how we do. Here we go. New video. How do you do this? YouTube redirect to YouTube video. Uh, how do I um, replace YouTube? How do you do this? Can you replace YouTube video with no? How do you replace video? No. Live redirect. Let's uh, let's watch this video. If you are redirecting, you probably don't want people to continue watching the old video instead. Instead, you rather jump automatically to the new video. So I would just having uh, guys. I have no idea how you do this, and also now you're gonna start listening to another person's talk. Oh, I have it. Let's mute it. Uh, you know what? It's it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. I'm gonna search it up another time. Okay. Instead of saying boring stuff, let me actually just straight up upload the other video and uh, you know just just save here the file, save this thing. Okay, this is saved. Okay, now I'm just going to upload the other video. I'm going to send you the link over here and whoever wants to watch it is going to watch it. And maybe tomorrow or later today, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, search up how do you redirect uh, within your own videos because I don't find it right now. So this is the newest video. Uh, best Paglin mod uh, video. Okay, this just just launched. And um, yeah, this is just, just literally launched. So if you enjoy Peglin, and if you want to see a mod that literally changes the things exactly like I wanted them to, like literally, it's, it's as if the mod creator listened to me and said, you know what? This guy is right. And this mod has armor system. This mod has the chip be awesome. Like it, it, it has the chip be more fun and different. The mod has uh, a few more different things that I don't really recall right now. It has like a, it has a curse system that you can do infinite runs on. Like it has so many things. Like it's such a good mod, man. Such a good mod. And um, yeah, I mean, you can go and watch it. The Dream of Sift mod, exactly. And if you watch the thumbnail of that video, it's literally what feels like it happened. <laughs> so yeah, I really enjoy my new uh, thumbnail uh, helper, editor, friend, or whatever. <laughs> So yeah, the dream of the, it, it is a god. We'll find it nice. Sift, you should do a stream or your program a script to play this run for you. I mean, I can just get an auto clicker. It isn't really that hard. I can have an auto clicker here, press this button again and again. And then, uh, yeah, just press this button again and again. Like, that's it. Just have an auto clicker, press this button. And, and then one button down here. Or just, or only this one. And then I do that like this and go to the next fight. And then it just continues doing this, like, click this thing once every, I don't know, once every minute, once every two minutes, uh, not two minutes, once every 30 seconds, just presses this button, and just go boop, and then we just continue. Something like that can happen. Dr. Dzele. I was here at 5 o'clock, and now it's 10. You're still alive, but the time has come to sleep. Uh, the time has come to leave, though. Guys, uh, the time has come for me to leave. If you want to support me further... 
Uh, I would really appreciate it if you went to the new Peglin video and just dropped the like like instantly. Like you go to the video and just drop a like instantly. And then if you enjoy Peglin, you watch it. If you don't enjoy Peglin, you put it on mute. You let it play as much as it can. And then you stop watching it, I don't know, after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I don't know. If you have a PC specifically, you just leave it in the top lane in the background. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way, don't do all that. It's pretty much illegal, so don't do all that. It's a joke, okay? But if you enjoy the video, then do drop a like, okay? Go watch the video, and if you do enjoy it, just drop a like, you know, as uh, simple as that. And if you do it specifically now, it's going to definitely propel the algorithm higher and higher. And so, yeah, that's it. Anyway, that's going to be it. Hope you guys did enjoy. I don't think anybody... Uh, asked anything or something weird so uh, i think the time has happened exit the stage right so i'm gonna do the exit the stage move which is we're gonna pop the donators over here i mean the patreons so as always thanks for patreon support and also all the membership supporters now i think uh, we are doing something with pure stone where the membership supporters will get a unique role in the discord so i'm not sure if we have already set this up i will look into it in a moment uh, but there is a chance you might also have roles in the Discord. I'm not exactly sure, as I said, but there is a chance that's happening. And um, yeah, just saying that. Uh, you still will not get the the, the 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 names on the screen is a Patreon exclusive thing, okay? <laughs> I mean, they have to also get something. The Patreons have to have something that you guys don't. So yeah, that is going to be it. Once again, have you saved again just to be sure? Here you go. Here, saved again just to be sure. Like a good old Pokemon game. Do you stream every day? I'm trying to, but I'm not gonna do it because I want to go out and, you know, do stuff with friends and stuff. So, yeah, not not actually every single day. I ask to see the stats. Uh, you do not, uh, Malkate, you do not see the stats. Ah, the stats. Oh, here, get them. I didn't even realize that you can see the stats. I didn't even realize that this is a thing. Wow. Uh, damage dealt. 1 to 3. 1 to 3. 28 million. 28 million? I can guarantee you that if I get all my energy done, we do more than 20 million. So, uh, some, something is wrong here. Uh, these numbers are... I mean, because opponents have kidding number of life, that's the problem. Because enemies have rookie number of life, that, that's that's the main reason. Player armor lost, 540, okay. Player health healed, 191k. Okay, broke the game too much, lol. Bot. <laughs> What is a bot? I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave you here. Uh, please go watch the video. There is a link at the top here. It is a pin right now. I have to leave, guys. I'm never gonna stop talking. That's not what I do as a human, so I need to stop right now on purpose because it's never gonna stop. So, as always, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being here. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.